Advertisement. See Circle Calendar 1501. Three years ago, the words of One Piece G.O.L. D. Roger before his execution made people flock to the sea. Do you want my treasure? If you want it, I can give it to you. Go find it. I put all the treasure there. In order to compete for One Piece, many pirates began to establish hegemony and compete vigorously, thus forming the era of great pirates. Today, three years later, all kinds of young people who longed for One Piece or villains and heroes who took this as a reason embarked on the journey. The entire sea situation has become extremely chaotic. Grand Line. Come Belt. An isolated island full of wild beasts of all kinds. A red huge ship dragged by two giant snakes docked beside the island. A woman steps down from above, wearing a white shongsam with a main tone and a red outer robe. Long hair like ink. Fair skin, slim figure, beautiful face. Name. Mysel. The current emperor of the Amazon Lily of Hydra Island. At this time, she was heading towards a shaking place on the island. As she walked forward, even if there were passing beasts, they would not dare to be presumptuous towards her. Minutes passed. What came into view was a scene like a battlefield. The huge beasts that fell to the ground and their bodies piled up in the center were like the top of a tower. A boy who looks very sunny and handsome, about 14 years old, sitting cross-legged on it. Mel, long time no see. That's when Maisel saw him. The original iceberg beauty on her face melted instantly, showing a beautiful smile. Advertisement. Ah, it's Sister Maisha. Did you come here so early this time? Mel, chin resting, contemplating life. He looked back after hearing the voice, then jumped off the stacked beast tower, and Melsa looked at Mel who came to her, hands outstretched. All of a sudden, he hugged his head. Mel just felt two huge balls of soft cake sticking to his face. Feel out of breath. Woo, woo, woo. It took a while. He was let go. At the same time, he could clearly smell the alluring body fragrance of the beautiful woman in front of him. Really, Sister Misha, don't do this every time? I almost can't breathe. Since the fight with the woman in front of me a month ago, her attitude towards him, which was not very intimate, had changed a lot. Now, gradually it developed to the point where I had to do this to him when I met him. Although, it's really nice and soft to the touch, but it will really suffocate if it is covered for a long time. Hey, sorry, I can't help it. Hearing the complaint from the boy in front of her, Meshalil immediately apologized softly. At the same time, he reached out to help him straighten his messy hair. He didn't move either, just looking at her quietly. In this atmosphere, her face also slowly turned rosy under his gaze. A little flustered and shifted his gaze. Missile shifted her focus. Untied a small box tied around her waist. Advertisement. Then he held it and handed it to him like a treasure offering. Look, what is this? This is. Mel took the box with some doubts and opened it. Eyes lit up. Devil fruit. It turned out to be devil fruit. What a help. Thank you so much, Sister Maisel. He smiled brightly at her. Before. Although he raised his mouth, he didn't hold out much hope. After all, as the treasure of the sea, devil fruit is quite difficult to find in a short time. Originally, he planned to go out and find it by himself after this practice, but he didn't expect that she would give him such a surprise. Is that all? What? Hearing Mel's words in front of her, Mel was a little puzzled. Feel. The atmosphere is a bit wrong. Meshal didn't say much. Instead, she reached out and hugged him tightly. The wind blew gently, blowing her ink like long wind. The picture seems to freeze at this moment. After a while. Stay on Nine Snakes Island from now on. Stay by my side. I can help you get whatever you want. Her gentle voice rang in his ears. So, don't think about going out to sea. If you leave, I will be very painful here. Mel listened to the whisper of the beautiful woman in his ear. It also changed his face. Pain? No way. Advertisement. Could it be that? He is obviously only 14 years old? How can it be? Lovesickness? A disease that all successive emperors of Nine Snake Island may suffer from. This kind of lovesickness is very difficult to cure, unless the symptoms can be relieved by seeing the lovesickness, otherwise it will be unbearable after a period of time. Mel's eyes were a little complicated. All the time. He also thought that Mesha ER started to treat him well because she developed a sister-in-law relationship with him. Did not expect. It turned out to be lovesickness. After all, he is really not that old now, so he didn't look in that direction to think. Take a deep breath. He patted her on the back to comfort her. Sister Mice Hair, this is my first shelter in this world. You took me in at the time, and I will come back even if I go out in the future. This is my home, and I don't want to leave you for too long. So, rest assured. Hearing his words, she let go of her arms. Looking directly into his serious eyes, she showed a beautiful smile. Mel, this is so kind. After she said this, Mel just felt like he was suffocating again. Time passed quietly. Seeing off Melsha's perfect figure, Mel also heaved a sigh of relief. I almost suffocated just now, after that figure disappeared completely. Mel made a serious expression. Take out the small box on one side and open it. Devil fruit, it's finally time to start. Mel's heart slowly echoed. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 2 It's up to you. Advertisement. He is a time traveler? There is no need to elaborate on the reason for the time travel. A year ago, after being selected by the system, he came to this era of great pirates. Then entered a magical space. My own body is directly rejuvenated and genetically optimized and endowed with a template for ordinary people in this world. Not only that, but you can also choose two of the several talents given by the system. Finally, he chose the strongest conqueror's hacky, two talents of steel balloon. Then it fell from the sky after leaving that dimension. Seriously? At that time, he didn't feel his body getting stronger in midair. I just feel that the system is a fake, and I want a dog to bring it, but fortunately, the moment it hit a ship at the end, Iron Balloon and the strongest conqueror's hacky arrive at the same time. A big hole was smashed into the boat at once, and at the same time, the conqueror's hacky that was excited for the first time exploded directly. The people on the two ships fighting at sea at that time were stunned a lot, and one of the boats is the boat of Juice Snake Island. Just in that situation, he meets Maisel. It may be the aptitude he showed at a young age, or the state he told of being homeless and ready to wander. In the end he was taken in by her. 
and the system disappeared immediately after that time, and before disappearing, it was also known as replenishing energy. This supplement lasted for one year. It was only launched suddenly half a month ago, but to activate it, you need the special product Devil Fruit of this world. This is no different from recharging and activating. So he raised his eyebrows when Mazel came to see him later. He didn't expect too much, if he couldn't find it, he would go to sea to find it by himself. Advertisement. Unexpectedly, Messel gave him a surprise this time. System, activate with this devil fruit. At this moment Mel was sitting cross-legged on a boulder, thinking silently. Ding dong, it is detected that the devil fruit smashed the fruit, whether to activate the system. A somewhat mechanically cold voice echoed in his mind. Crush fruit? This ability should be paramecia. Feel the development potential is great. Meshayer must have spent a lot of effort for this fruit, but now it is more important to activate the system? Thinking of this, Mel no longer hesitated. Confirm. Command execution, system activation. As the system starts to activate, the devil fruit in Mel's hand also disappears. After a while, a reminder that the activation was successful came to my mind. Activation is successful, the god level avatar system will serve you wholeheartedly. With a mechanical click in his head, the last basic usage information of the system was instilled into Mel's mind. God level avatar system? Mel felt the message in his head and began to grope. The function of the system is simple. You can outline a clone image in your mind, and then give him a personality. Then the system will create it. This avatar will have the characteristic of full loyalty. The current quota is 1. Create directly now. Of course, the avatar created directly in this way is the template of ordinary people in this world. So at this time, the clone store of the system is needed. The avatar store can purchase ability skills for the avatar. It can be said to greatly expand the upper limit of the avatar. But the currency in the avatar mall needs to be recharged, and the recharge item in this world is devil fruit. Advertisement. System, open the avatar store. With Mel's silent recitation, a virtual blue panel tens of centimeters appeared in front of his eyes. There are six grids in the panel. Each grid has a simple image and name on it. There are also prices. Just click on the respective images to see a detailed description of the capabilities above. The balance of 10,000 is displayed on the lower left of the avatar mall, which is obviously transformed by the devil fruit just now. Strength, 2,000. Son of the wind, 2,000. Ultimate balance, 3,000. Fu emo royal cook, 20,000. Reversal spell, 3,000. Observation hacky, 2,000. Looking at the abilities on the avatar shop, Mel narrowed his eyes. He clicked back and forth to observe the effect inside. Finally, I set my sights on that extremely iconic ability. There is also an immediate decision in my heart, and the first avatar really has to be him. That's right, people with his personality are prone to trouble. That being the case, it's up to you, the two-faced Nyo. After making a decision, Mel immediately prepared to create the first clone. As for the ability to match, at present, it seems that the speed flow is the main one. If you have a balance of 10,000, you can choose Sonda, Ultimate Balance, Reversal, and Observation Hacky. Such words just run out. As for the other two, you can only wait for the two sides to find the new devil fruit. Then recharge and buy it for him. Make decisions with Mel. He started to use the quota for building clones. The system also starts prompting whether to start building. Advertisement. After confirming, Mel directly entered a virtual blue space. Looking at the surrounding environment, he was also a little curious. But he didn't care that much anymore. Entry is time limited. Time to hurry up. According to the information sent by the system, start to build the avatar image mindfully. And the system also began to help correct it according to his wishes. The service is very attentive. Soon a lifelike two-faced Nyo began to appear in front of his eyes. There are black lines on the body, and a feminine white kimono. The image constructed by Mel is based on the image of the two-faced Sunyo in the soul space of Polygonum Cuspidatum Yorin in the original work of the previous life. Of course, those lines are decorations, and there are no extra small mouths or eyes on the face. As he builds, the next step starts character input. This character input does not directly define a character. Instead, it is derived from the experience of remembering scenes one by one, and then the personality. Based on these experiences, the system will enter detailed simulation input of personality. Only such a character can be supported by charm, and it will not appear pale and empty. Human character itself is a collection of experiences. Through this aggregate a similar mental model is constructed. This is exactly the principle of the second step character simulation. Of course, the memory of the avatar does not have these experiences. It's just with the help of a model. At this time, Mel entered the general experience of the two-faced Neo in his previous life. It doesn't matter if you don't have specific experience. The system can also perform auxiliary simulations. Guaranteed to fit the image of the person in Mel's mind. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 3 Not Bad, Add Fire to the Era. Advertisement. As time goes by, the two-faced Sunyo in front of him also began to have a charm. It seems to be full of powerful malice. Soon the second step is over. System, open the panel of Sunyo on both sides. As he shouted, a panel appeared in front of him. Doppelganger, two-faced Sunyo. Strength, D. Physique, D. Agile, D. Spirit, D+. Plus. Ability, none. Skills, none. Reputation, zero. Note, D, attributes of ordinary people in the current world. At present, the god level avatar system uses the common letter attribute division. In the attribute division of the system, the D attribute is the attribute of ordinary people in the current world. Then D plus C, C plus, A plus S. In the system's information, S is the admiral for emperors, the world's top combat power. Of course, all letters are an interval, not a fixed value. Even if two people with the same letter attributes, they are strong and weak in this range. Now, although the two-faced Nyo is the attribute of the whiteboard, the spirit is unexpectedly at D+, which is much stronger than normal people. This, it is the background that character simulation brings to him. But if you want to use character simulation, such as setting up a very cowhide experience to squeeze the wool of the system, you don't have to think about it. This benefit is only available to a certain extent. If the character simulation is done too hard, the build will fail directly. Advertisement. Looking at the ordinary attributes of Sunyo on both sides, Mel's eyes flickered. Then start to add abilities to him. Follow Mel to call the Avatar Mall. The Avatar Mall also emerged. 
Click the purchase button under each grid. After the purchase is successful, the system pulls out a clone that can be matched with. There is no doubt that there are only two places in it. Put all the purchasing power on Liang Mian Sunyo. In the next second, his panel began to update. Doppelganger, two-faced Sunyo. Strength, D. Physique, D. Dexterity, D+. Plus. Spirit, C. Abilities, Ultimate Balance, Level C. Reverse Spell, Level C. Son of the Wind, Level C. Skills, Observation Hacky, Level C. Reputation, Zero. Note, D. Attributes of ordinary people in the current world. I saw that his attributes were somewhat affected by his abilities and skills. Ultimate Balance has a high degree of control over the body. This kind of mastery does not come out of thin air, it is a potential manifestation of spirit. It is possible to let the two-faced Sun Yo display strength and agility beyond the simple attributes of the panel by relying on the force technique. Because he can control the muscle force of his body in detail, it can burst out with high power, and the reaction can increase the speed, and the careful control makes it easier to manipulate the body to avoid attacks. The reverse spell is not a simple original effect, but an ability to become like a devil fruit. It can consume stamina to restore the body's injuries. The same is true for the Son of the Wind. It seems that the ability can consume physical strength to move quickly, even if it is not activated, it passively increases the sensitivity of the body. Not to mention observation hacky, it requires a certain spiritual foundation to activate. Advertisement. Just like this, the spiritual attribute has been raised a lot due to ultimate balance and observation hacky. At present, although the attributes of the two-faced Nyo are still very stretched, but rely on multiple abilities and skills. Combat power is much stronger than pure attributes. After the ability is loaded, Mel ends this double edit. Get out of that space right away. Then back to reality. And the two-faced Sunyo also appeared in front of him out of thin air. Started to wake up slowly. The eyes of Sunyo on both sides opened suddenly, and the corners of his mouth curled up wantonly. Are you my creator? It looks very strong. Mel looked at the evil man in front of him, and smiled. He holds out his hand. Welcome to this world, two-faced Nyo. And Sunyo on both sides also stretched out his hand to hold it. Ah, uh, it seems that my creator is not bad. This is good news. The clones created by the system are all living people. They have different personalities and have a high degree of self-thinking ability. Although they have full loyalty to Mel. But it would be naive to dismiss them as robots for that reason. If there is no corresponding charm, it will not be so easy to fully control them. Even if it is a full value of loyalty, the way of expression will be different. But Mel didn't hate it. After all, these people who should have been lawless are respectful. Instead, he will feel disobedient. And such a person has the active observability that he wants. Advertisement. For Mel. Loyal enough is enough. It's off to a good start. If such a start can lead to collapse, then how bad it must be to achieve that level. Although Mel doesn't think he's outstanding, it's not so corrupt. After a few days, Grand Line, a remote part of a bustling island called Gat Island, the perfume snake pulled by the snake stayed nearby. Mel watched the man leave. Brother Mel, who is that person? It's wrapped tightly and mysteriously. At this moment, a black-haired lowly ran to Mel's side. Pulling Mel's loose sleeves, he looked at the figure curiously. Next to her are two lowly, one with green hair and one with yellow hair. He's my friend, Hancock. Mel patted Hancock's head and said with a smile. Then he turned around and said to a female warrior on board. Sister Mylan, we can arrange for people to set sail, we should go back early, otherwise Sister Maisha E.R. should complain. Yes, Lord Mel. A blonde female warrior also responded seriously. The boy in front of him was highly valued by the king, and he even gave an order that his words were equivalent to hers. And even though he is still so young, his strength is extremely strong. Just like that, they are also very odd. As the order was communicated, the ship began to move away. Mel watched the ship set sail. He looked at the floating clouds in the sky and murmured in his heart. Go and add fire to this era? Two-faced Nyo. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 4 The First Surprise. Madman. Advertisement. The Other Side. Two-Faced Sunyo began to walk slowly, and gradually came to the bustling area. The cloak on his body also began to fall off, and he randomly pulled it up and threw it into the trash can next to him. I seem to smell the sweet smell of blood. Will you give me a surprise when it comes up? Hehe, <laughs> let me see what happened. As he goes, soon, he came to the bustling port on this island. Shot. Shot. At this time, gun battles and fighting are going on at the port on the island. A group of pirates are fighting marine. The sound of fighting is also deafening. In a complex of buildings not far from the port, many people hid in it and watched the battle between the two sides. From time to time there are still flashes of light. It was a reporter in the crowd filming with a phone bug. Mad Dog Pirates, a new pirate group. Captain Jija, nicknamed Mad Dog, behaves like a mad dog. At the same time he is the demon fruit power of the Zoan Hound, with a bounty of 51 million baileys. Marine is now intercepted by naval headquarters Commodore Dokman. Such a battle is already rare news for reporters on this island. At this time, Dokman Commodore raised his fist and collided with Jija who had already turned into a beast. The two sides are not giving in, although the two seem to be evenly matched. But the people under him are different. Obviously the pirate side has the upper hand. Because the Mad Dog Pirates have a deputy captain who offers a reward of more than 20 million after the captain. Marine is weaker in advanced combat power. Advertisement. While the fight is still gelatinous, keep going. Marine has a high probability of being the loser. Ha ha ha, Dokman, you are still chasing after him, but this time you are dead. Take your head, and Lao Zi's bounty will increase again. While the two collided, Jija was still talking trash. Seeing that Jija's words affected the morale of the surrounding Marines, Dokman Commodore also said loudly, Stop talking nonsense, our reinforcements will arrive soon, and then you will spend your entire life in impel down. Hearing Dokman Commodore's words, the morale of the Marine next to him was also raised, and Jija's face darkened. He didn't say a word, but the attack frequency was higher. At the same time, he took the time to wink to his deputy captain, telling him to quickly get rid of other Marines. As long as you can defeat the Marine in front of you, then they will not be able to pursue them for a long time. After all, in comparison, replenishment of Marine troops will be more troublesome. As long as the pirate group is well known and their backbone is intact, they can immediately attract a group of minions and even masters. So compared to consumption, Jija is not afraid at all. Mad Dog Punch. Iron Body. 
Just when the trump cards of both sides are fighting to their heart's content, the third-party crowd watching from a distance quickly noticed something was wrong. A pink-haired man in loose white clothes walked towards the battlefield. What's the matter with that person? Why did he run over? It doesn't look like a marine, and it doesn't match up with the mad dog pirates. You can't be a fool. Go to death. Maybe I'm blind. The crowd in the distance looked at the man and couldn't help but start discussing. Advertisement. But the few reporters inside were sensitively aware that something was wrong. That man's look and that calmness. Either a stunt young man, or a strong man. Maybe there is new news. At this time, they took the camera phone bugs hanging around their necks and began to take pictures non-stop. Even if it's just a stunt young man, the level is just a waste of a few photos. It's no price to them. And on the battlefield, over time, marine pirates began to notice something was wrong. A person is killing wildly, whether it is a marine or a pirate. As long as he is in front of him, he will be killed or maimed. You guy, who the hell? Where did you come from? A vicious three meter tall pirate directly raised his sword and rushed towards the careless man. He is also a small cotter in the Mad Dog Pirates, and he also has a bounty of 5 million baileys. Although there are not many, it is already a figure in this pirate group. When he saw that pink-haired dwarf running over to kill at will, he was also furious. So coming to this kid with a big knife is a hack. He wanted to split the kid's head open. It's just that Sunyo on both sides flashed slightly sideways. The broadsword flew across the air and slashed to the ground. A crack was cut out on the ground and extended out. The flaw is too big. At this time, the two-faced Sunyo had come to the pirate. Just stretch out your hand lightly, an acceleration. Under the skyrocketing eyes of this pirate. Advertisement. An afterimage streaked across his neck. He couldn't help but let go of the handle of the knife, holding his neck with both hands. Cluck. A stream of blood spurted from his neck. He couldn't help but tremble when he touched the blood, and then he walked a few steps tremblingly and fell down. The marine pirates around him were also in an uproar. How can it be? That guy actually killed Captain Gamayi with one move. Who the hell is he? And the reporters who were shooting in the distance were also excited. Very good. This new character actually instantly killed that Gamayi pirate. Although the pirates with a reward of 5 million on the Grand Line are not considered strong. But it is also a good strength to be able to kill it in seconds. How will the next event develop? Can new news be developed? Now they can't wait. On the battlefield, the uproar over there also attracted the attention of Dokman Commodore and Captain Jija who were fighting. They saw the pirate Gamayi who fell to the ground next to the pink-haired man. The mind flashed at the same time. Our reinforcements. Marines reinforcements. The two separated with a single blow. I just learned a few words from the surrounding marines or pirates. I know this third party who came with bad intentions. It's like a lunatic to come here to slaughter the subordinates of both sides. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 5. Acquisition of Reputation Points Agile Flow. Advertisement. Since the leaders of both sides stopped fighting, the people next to them also stopped and stood behind them. The entire battlefield caused a chain reaction. Slowly the fighting stopped. As the fighting ceased on both sides began to build up. The incompatible double-faced Sunyo suddenly became conspicuous. Ross, go and kill that guy. How dare you be so arrogant. Don't give him any color and see how I can mess around in the future. Jija was angry. He doesn't have a good temper for this kind of guy who puts eye drops on him as soon as he comes up. Okay, Captain. A swordsman with a knife nodded when he heard Jija's words. He is the vice captain of the Mad Dog Pirates. With a bounty of 28 million baileys, if placed in East Blue, he could already be called the number one character. As for Marine, Colonel Dokman was also angry because the pink-haired man killed Marine. But he persuaded the other angry Marines. At present, their combat power is already lower than that of pirates. Now it would be best for the pirates to test that person's strength. Now their most important task is to delay time. Wait for reinforcements to show up. At that time, these pirates will be wiped out in one go. So under the attention of pirates and Marine. Pirate Rose walked up to the man. Where did you come from? You dare to touch our bad luck? But it doesn't matter. Advertisement. Remember my name? Swordsman Rose? This is the one who killed you. Rose clenched the knife in his hand and was ready to attack. The opponent's ability to kill GMI has already proved his strength. He won't be too big. The pirates were also excited when they saw Ross make a move. It's Deputy Captain Ross. He's the man with a bounty of 28 million baileys. That's right. Not only that, but he can easily cut through a boulder the size of a person with a knife. He is much stronger than Captain Gamai. This guy is dead. This person doesn't know how to live or die. He dares to mess around with a little strength. He killed a lot of our people just now. It will depend on how he dies. From the perspective of the pirates, with Deputy Captain Ross taking action, there is basically no surprise. Swordsman? Interesting. At this time, facing Rose's two-faced Neo is also fresh. He was just born in this world. Feeling fresh about everything. The other side. The perfume snake, which has left the island. In a room. Mel sat on the couch inside. Heard the prompt of the system. It also opened up information about the two-faced Nyo. You can see the screen swiping from the blue virtual log that appears. Two-faced Sunyo enters a fighting state. Two-faced Sunyo kills a pirate. Two-faced Sunyo killed a pirate. Two-faced Nyo prestige plus five. Two-faced Sunyo kills a marine. Advertisement. Two-faced Nyo prestige plus seven. Have you clashed with others so quickly? As expected of him. Mel couldn't help but smile inwardly. Since the freshman two-faced Sunyo was still too weak, he also set some conditions. This includes asking the system to remind him if the two-faced Sunyo enters the combat state for a certain period of time. In this way, he can add points to the two-faced Nyo in time. The first way for the avatar to become stronger is to self-cultivate and fight beyond the limit to become stronger. This first one is completely the way of ordinary people. It takes a lot of time. As for the avatar created by the system, there is a more convenient second rule. That is to rely on reputation points to become stronger. If you want to gain reputation, you need to increase your influence in the hearts of others. The criteria for its acquisition include emotional ups and downs, strength, world weight, etc. The most significant increase in influence in this world is combat. Showing your fists to other people is easy to get in your way. In other words, you have to do your best to get reputation points. And the person who was first on the scene during the incident was the first eyewitness. It has the highest efficiency in harvesting reputation points. The subsequent spread after the event is fermented is an indirect impact, although the unit reputation value will drop a lot. But it can't stand the crowd. 
In the early stage, even if there were not many people watching, the prestige provided is not much, but the prestige of each promotion is not high when the clone is weak. So there is still the possibility of adding points in real time. Mel clicks on the red in battle button in the upper left corner of this log. Advertisement. Then, a screen is displayed. From the angle of view, it can be seen that the image centered on the two-faced Nyo. Mel can even adjust the angle of the picture. After clearly seeing the surrounding environment of the two-faced Sunyo, I happen to see a scene where a swordsman was about to attack Sunyo on both sides. Swordsman? The compatibility with the two-faced Sunyo is not very good. When Liangmi and Sunyo was born, the nine snake pirates had just returned from their expedition. So, Mel was not in a hurry to send the two-faced Sunyo out. Instead, give him special training. After a few days of beatings and eating high-calorie beast sea kings, and it assisted the other abilities of the two-faced Sunyo. In particular, extreme balance and reversal techniques have the greatest effect. The physique of the two-faced Sunyo has been raised by one level, from D to D+. The strength has also improved a lot, but it has not reached the point of raising the level, it is still D. Maybe staying a few more days will allow his power to level up. In addition, the two-faced Sunyo also acquired a new D-level physical skill. Today's two-faced Sunyo can be said to be moving quickly. Relying on extreme balance can achieve high burst damage. Take the knowledge and color as the perception, and take the ultimate balance and the sun of the wind as the guidance. Finally, use the reverse technique as a base. High explosiveness, high agility, and milk are his positioning. However, if you meet a swordsman, it is still a little troublesome. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 6 Bloody Carnival, Not Reconciled. Advertisement. On both sides of the new side. At this time, he was dueling with the swordsman in front of him. The two attacked each other. Rose's knife slashed at every fatal part of the double-faced Sunyo. Two-faced Sunyo relies on observation hacky to perceive attacks. Dodge the attack with the smallest margin. Without using the ability of the Son of the Wind. His speed was slower than the swordsman in front of him. But the most convenient thing about being knowledgeable is that you can feel the opponent's attack intention. In this way, he can dodge with the shortest distance. Therefore, even if the speed is not as fast as the opponent, the two-faced Sunyo can still calmly face the opponent's attack and even counter-attack. For the two-faced Nyo with extreme balance. This operation. It is not difficult to achieve. After dodging the attack, he quickly cut Rose's neck with one hand like a knife. If this move hits the target, the swordsman in front of him will also die. Ordinary people can burst out tons of strength if their muscles can exert force towards one place. The two-faced Sunyo possesses more power than ordinary people. Relying on the ability of extreme balance, which has a very high degree of control over the body. This blow also has a high lethality. In particular, he still attacked the weak places of the human body. Of course, bursting out too much strength must have a strong load on the muscular physique. If you are not careful, you will be broken and injured. Therefore, when the two-faced Sunyo attacks, they attack at the limit that the body can bear. Anyway, this level of lethality is enough for the neck. Rose's pupils could not help shrinking sharply at this moment. The handle of the knife in his hand quickly retreated, bumped into the hand knife that was aimed at his neck. Although he didn't meet him and was dodged by the other party, it was considered a crisis resolved. Advertisement. He didn't dare to neglect, and attack again, but the rhythm was more cautious. The two sides seemed to be engaged in a silent offensive and defensive battle. Attack back and forth. But the attack never fell on the opponent. In the eyes of everyone at the scene, the two figures quickly attacked each other. Due to the two-faced Sunyo's attack style and movements are slower, it looked like Rose was playing on him. It's unbelievable that that guy survived the attack of Deputy Captain Ross. That's right. But now that the opponent is being suppressed and beaten, he won't be able to hold on for long. The surrounding pirates looked at the pink-haired guy in surprise, but they still have a high level of confidence in Rose. And Ross on the court thought so too. Although the enemy in front of him seemed to be able to predict his attack for some reason. But the opponent's speed is still much slower than his. Even a counter-attack can be cracked by him. He could sense that the other party's breath was not that strong. In other words, the opponent's physical strength cannot support him to do this kind of high-speed dodge for a long time. As long as you continue to show your flaws and get hit by him, it's over. And when Ross was thinking about the protracted war, the two-faced Sunyo showed a wanton smile. That's great. Hurry up. Hurry up. Make me more excited. Is this guy a lunatic? Listening to the words chanted by the person in front of him, Rose thought to himself. Then I will do as you wish. I saw that Ross's attack frequency was even faster. There was no chance for Sunyo on both sides to counterattack, and he just kept dodging. Looking at both sides, Sunyo could no longer continue to counterattack. Can only dodge in embarrassment, Jija also laughed heartily. It's just that he didn't finish laughing. Advertisement. A scream was heard. Ah, uh, my eyes. Rose's eyes were blood red at the scene, but it wasn't his blood. There was a wound on one arm of Sunyo on both sides, and blood was dripping out. At this time Rose's eyes were a little hazy and blood red. In just a moment, the guy in front of him didn't dodge his blade. Instead, let the arm be slashed by the blade and swing the arm. Splashed blood into his eyes. Now all he could feel was bloodshot eyes. Quickly used the blade to make a defensive posture, and did not act rashly again. And the two-faced Sunyo standing opposite him opened the corners of his mouth wantonly. You had a great time attacking just now? Now, it's my turn, right now. With his last words fell. He suddenly rushed towards Rose. And Rose also hurriedly defended carefully. But because the blood in the eyes is not removed. I just feel that the figure in front of me is hazy, plus the opponent's attack frequency. After a while, blood stains appeared on his body. It was all caused by defensive mistakes and being attacked by the opponent. Wait a little longer? Wait a little longer? Under the attack of the violent storm on both sides. Rose is like a lonely boat in the rough sea. He could feel his eyes gradually recovering their sight. As long as he recovers well, he can suppress the person in front of him again. This time he will not be careless. Why didn't you fight back? Ah, uh, do you want to wait for your eyes to heal? The man in front of him said. Then let me give you new despair. As the other party's words fell, the speed that was still within his handling range suddenly skyrocketed. Advertisement. This speed? How can it be? He, was he hiding just now? Don't wait for Ross to think too much. 
He only felt a part of the muscle in his right hand holding the handle of the knife was suddenly hammered. The handle of the knife in my hand began to feel unsteady. Then he kicked hard at the handle of the knife with one foot. His knife flew out directly. Now, let's enter the bloody carnival together. Rose only heard the murmur of the person in front of him. Immediately, I feel like my body is constantly being attacked. Joints, body, neck, head. Body torn, circling pain, the whole body is screaming. He wanted to resist the pain and fight back, but he felt that he couldn't exert all his strength. Listen to the other party's wickedly carefree laughter, the touch of liquid flowing on the skin. That's his blood, is he dying? Ross felt as if his memory was circulating. Did not expect. Unexpectedly, it ended like this, at last. Have you become a swordsman who can't even hold a sword? Really? Not reconciled? Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 7 Everyone's Shock, Attribute Improvement. Advertisement. Asshole, do you think Laozi doesn't exist? An angry shout came over. Gigi broke through the blockade of the Marine Commodore, and jumped up with a quick sprint. Swinging his fist as big as a sandbag, he slammed at the two-faced Sunyo who was still attacking Ross. His speed was extremely fast, at this moment Sunyo on both sides saw a human dog flying towards him, so Sing Chi punched him. Immediately burst out. The powerful impact force made him rely on unloading skills to retreat and delay the impact. Even so, the two-faced Sunyo's arm was still broken and hanging down, and his flesh and blood were also severely sprained. This attack power is not bad. He looked at the big dog walking upright in front of him, and also showed interest. Is this the Zoan ability user? It's really interesting. Immediately, without changing expression, the broken arm turned back to its original position like a toy. Reversing the operation of the operation, a force began to heal the arm, and the arm that was originally drooping scratched and returned to the level of fighting. At this time, Gigi had also finished watching his deputy captain. Although he was not dead, he was almost there. The upper body suffered many lacerations, including the fatal part. Even if such a serious injury is treated, it is not known whether it can be saved. He arranged for the surrounding men to move Ross into the ship for simple treatment. Such a good combat power can't just die casually. After the arrangements were made, I turned around and saw this scene. Jija's eyes were also widened. His attack just now clearly felt that the opponent's arm could no longer fight. Now it seems that the ability to move has been regained, and this healing speed is not at the level of ordinary people. Boy, it seems that you are capable, but this is not the reason for you to provoke Laozi. Gigi looked fiercely at Sunyo on both sides. When he realized something was wrong at the first moment, he wanted to go to the rescue, but was intercepted by the Marine Commodore on the opposite side. In the end, he was able to break through his interception because Rose seemed to be dying and let him come over. What is the plan of that guy, if Jija knows very well? At this moment, he looked at the pink-haired kid in front of him and continued. However, your strength is good. You can even defeat my vice captain. Join my pirate group. The vice captain can let you do it in the future. Advertisement. Looking at the interested expression of the person in front of him, he waved his fist and threatened. Otherwise, prepare to be buried here. He had an absolute advantage in the fight just now. Even if the opponent is an ability user and can recover some injuries, it is really a dream to defeat him by this. When Jija and Liang Mian Sunyo were talking, the surrounding marine pirates also looked incredible. The man who appeared suddenly defeated Rose who was known as the Broken Rock Swordsman. How powerful Rock Broken Swordsman Rose is, the marine pirates present have a say. Needless to say, the pirates, as the vice captain of the pirate group, how could they convince the crowd without showing their strong strength? And Marine was killed by the pirate Ross. The powerless posture shown during the battle is also reflected in the hearts of many Marines. It's just that I didn't expect to be defeated by a man who seemed to have no impression at all. The figure of wantonly swaying tyrannical attacks on Rose deeply reflected in the hearts of those present. Therefore, even if the deputy captain is intercepted, the pirates dare not go up to rescue easily. And the same is true for the crowd hiding in the distance. They were also very shocked. The bounty offered by that Ross was 28 million baileys, which is also a big shot for the people here. He didn't expect to be brutally killed by that adult. That's right, in their eyes it was torture. The blood seemed to be soaring several meters away, and that crazy look made people feel sorry for him from such a distance. People can't help but sigh, how cruel. A few people who questioned before were also glad that they didn't talk too close at that time. Otherwise, such a cruel person might run over and give them a few claws after hearing it, which their small bodies can't bear. In the crowd, there are other outliers, that is, a few reporters. As journalists, they are also familiar with all kinds of powerful figures in this area. This kind of cruelty is nothing to them. What they are thinking about now is to make big news. The pink-haired man did not appear in their memory at all at this time. With this appearance, 28 million broken rock swordsmen were killed. Now it looks like it's still on PAR with that mad dog. Advertisement. Now they can only pray that the other party will not die so easily. Otherwise, no matter how strong it is, the dead will not have much spread. On the other side, Mel also looked at the image in front of him. Mad dog. He has a little impression of this pirate, after all, he still reads a lot of newspapers. Pirates with more than 50 million baileys, especially Zoan ability users with thick skin and thick flesh. It is still a bit reluctant for the two-faced Sunyo. His attack is still a bit weak, even if he can fully mobilize the strength of most of the muscles in his body. But it doesn't work if the foundation is too poor, and physical strength is also a problem. And in general, the stronger the person, the higher the degree of control over the body. It is too good to want to try to dominate the other party in this respect. Besides, besides this pirate, there are other pirates and marine around. Those marines obviously want to enjoy the benefits of fishing, and they don't even rule out the possibility of other support. However, these two-faced Neo probably won't consider that much. Extreme challenges are like breathing to him, that guy probably enjoys it, but Mel couldn't ignore it. At present, the dead clone can indeed be resurrected. But it takes a year. Unless there are special circumstances, Mel can't ignore the clone and die. Therefore, he could only hang up on him. He opened the two panels of Sunyo. The above prestige value is worth more than 700. This prestige is already quite a lot. Prestige is the most important way to increase the combat power of clones. Among them, attribute D needs 100 to increase D+, D plus needs 500 to increase C, C needs 1000 to increase C+, C plus needs 5000 to increase B, and so on, simple and clear. 
As for the ability skill, it is 1000 when D is upgraded to C, and 10,000 when C is upgraded to B, and so on. It is worth mentioning that there is no D+, C+, or the like in ability skills. Currently, these 700 odd prestige points are not enough for abilities and skills. You can only upgrade attributes. Advertisement. It costs 100 to increase the power of the two-faced Nyo from D to D+. Then upgrade the agility D plus to C and spend 500. After one operation is done, the panel of the two-sided Sunyo also looks a little bit. Doppelganger, two-faced Sunyo. Strength, D+. Plus. Physique, D+. Plus. Agile, C. Spirit, C. Abilities, Ultimate Balance, Level C, Reverse Spell, Level C, Son of the Wind, Level C, Skills, Observation Hacky, Class C, Physique, Class D, Reputation, 102, Note, D, Attributes of Ordinary People in the Current World, Looking at the panels of Sunyo on both sides, it is no problem to defeat that mad dog with such a panel, it's just that everything is not going well, and his physique is still a problem, physique contains physical strength, fighting requires physical strength, and the use of abilities and skills also requires physical strength, if there are too many Nyo waves on both sides, there are also many crises, Garter Island Harbor Scene, Facing Rose's double-faced, ignoring his chatter. He felt the strength of his body muscles soar, and at the same time, his body's flexibility also improved a lot. It's like letting go of a heavy burden. This feeling, the corners of Sunyo's mouth curled up, and he thought of a better idea. Without saying a word, he sprinted towards Rose. And Ross was also very angry, it seemed that the other party didn't listen to him at all. Then let him teach him what is the law of the jungle and the strong respect. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 8 The Pirate Nova is born, and the blood killer has two faces. Advertisement. Two days later. A newspaper and bounty began to be circulated around the world. The front page has an extremely bright red title. Big shock. A new pirate star is born. The blood killer has two faces. It roughly tells about a pink-haired man who made his debut for the first time. His name is Two-Faced Sunyo. The Mad Dog Pirates confronted him, and all members were defeated. With his bloody fighting style, he earned the nickname Blood Killer. The first appearance was rewarded by Marine, and the reward amount was as high as 48 million Baileys. Blood Killer? This nickname is really ugly. On Nine Snake Island, Mel took the newspaper and saw the conspicuous nicknamed Blood Killer at a glance. After taking down the newspaper, Mel touched the head of the newsbird in front of him and said, Thank you, little guy. Then he took out 1,000 Baileys and handed it to him. At the same time, take jerky from a bag on a rack and feed it. Seeing its happy appearance, Mel also smiled. Newsbirds generally do not deliver newspapers to islands in the calm belt. It's not just that calm belt's islands are sparsely populated. At the same time, it is very strenuous for the newsbirds to fly in calm belt, even if they are tired, they dare not rest casually on the sea surface. At the beginning, Mel wanted to keep abreast of the information of the outside world. It is also going out to sea to leave calm belt and come to the nearest island to Hydra Island, then bribe the newsbird who delivered the newspaper there. As long as you come to him to sell newspapers, the price can be increased by 10 times, not only that, but you can also enjoy various delicacies. For this reason, Mel also set up a newspaper corner on Nine Snake Island. They can sell newspapers exclusively there. Under normal circumstances, the person in charge there will buy a few copies and send a copy to several groups on Juice Snake Island and archive one copy. Newsbirds are a group of birds with extremely high spirituality. Naturally, it can also be bought. Especially the people I see every day are of all kinds, among them there are many with bad faces and sometimes even bird hunting. Compared with those other people, Mel's approach seems to treat them as human beings. Advertisement. So many of these newsbirds are willing to come to Nine Snakes Island. And these current emperors of Nine Snake Island, Meshare, also agreed. After all, Nine Snake Island is located in the calm belt and is closed to outside information. Now it is easy to get news and only consume negligible money and food. This is a very cost-effective deal for the countries on Nine Snake Island. Mel continued to focus on the newspaper in his hand. Has the news about Marine's defeat been erased? It's really the style of Marine or world government. He meditated silently. He also watched the whole follow-up battle of Sunyo two days ago. In subsequent battles, sure enough, the two-faced Sunyo started to make trouble. After using the Son of the Wind and the Color of Knowledge to play with Ross, just let Marine Commodore, who was watching not far away, go together. Obviously, one person can no longer make him enjoy himself. But pirates and Marine team up to deal with one person, especially when there are reporters not far away. That Marine Commodore is equally unacceptable. Even if he is attacking two people at the same time, it is impossible to join forces with the pirates. But in the end he gave in. Two-faced Sunyo threatened with his men, and that Marine Commodore was obviously not a cold-blooded person. Of course this is the case. Naval headquarters will certainly not allow it to be made public. Marine actually teamed up with the pirates to deal with the same person. In the end, it was a disastrous defeat, and the bloodthirsty man's reputation was achieved through the sacrifices of both parties. Such news will certainly strike at Marine's justice. I am afraid that the world government will not ignore this situation. So under the influence of these two behemoths, it is understandable for the world economic news to sell face. Mel shook his head and didn't think so much, he opened the panels on both sides. The reputation of the two-faced Nyo is rising. Now it has reached more than 36,000. Advertisement. And the follow-up prestige is still rising, although the indirect spread prestige acquisition efficiency of non-first witnessed scenes is indeed very low. But, can't stand the large amount. There are still many people in this world who like to read newspapers, especially pirates, marines, underground world, and other forces are very concerned about the issue of reward orders. Therefore, the prestige value obtained is indeed very high. Now 36,000 prestige points are enough for the two-faced Nyo to be reborn. Mel opened the two-sided Sun Nyo panel. He was going to give him another boost in combat power. With the release of this reward, maybe Marine will send people to hunt down Liangmi and Sunyo. With the double-faced style of Sunyo, he certainly won't back down so easily. At least go up and touch it. It's hard to tell if it's really a fight. If there is a vice-admiral, he may not even be able to run. The basic gap is too big, no matter how tricky the operation is, you have to kneel. 
And the two-faced Sunyo is just one person, not even the pirates. With his personality, I am afraid that he will not form a pirate group, and he can only rely on himself for everything. Therefore, it is enough to continuously improve the combat power of the two-faced Sunyo to exceed Marine's expectations. Mel studied the attributes of the two-faced Sunyo. First, he raised the skill of ultimate balance to level B, which cost 10,000 reputation points. Seeing that the spiritual attributes remained unchanged, Mel raised Observation Haki to be level again, spending another 10,000 reputation points. This time the mental attribute has changed, from C to C+. This time Mel nodded. By improving skills and abilities to indirectly improve attributes, you can save some reputation points. Although the savings are not much, but you can save as much as you can, Mel raised the remaining reputation to Zonda again. This time the agility of the attribute has also changed from C to C+. Advertisement. There are more than 6,000 reputations left, and 1,000 was spent on physical skills to upgrade it to C level. Immediately, he spent 3,000 to improve his strength and physique from D plus to C plus. And the rest of the prestige could not continue to improve, and at this time the panel of the two-faced Sunyo also took on a new look. Doppelganger, two-faced Sunyo. Strength, C plus. Physique, C plus. Agile, C plus. Spirit, C plus. Abilities, Ultimate Balance, Class B, Zonda, Class B, Reversal of Spells, Class C. Skills, Observation Hacky, Class B, Physique, Class C. Reputation, 2125. Note, D, Attributes of Ordinary People in the Current World. This attribute matches his skill ability, so it is still possible to compete with Ordinary Marine Vice Admiral. The Marine Vice Admiral attributes of Ordinary Physique Experts are probably in the B-level range. He is also proficient in two-color hacky, six forms of body art, and swordsmanship is excellent for those who use swords. It's not bad to be able to fight against them. At that level, fighting is no longer a small fight. Attacks such as cutting off hills and smashing warships are common has been completely out of the category of normal people. In the eyes of ordinary people, it is no different from a monster, and the two-faced Sunyo has reached the level where he can compete with them only a few days after his birth. It can be said that it is just like hanging up, and the future will follow him to do things. His power will continue to rise rapidly. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 9 Sora's Premonition. The Shock of the World. Advertisement. The first half of the Grand Line. Naval Headquarters. Marine Ford. Marshal Marine holds a freshly baked newspaper in his empty hand. His expression was a little dignified. Mew on both sides? Look at the ferocious appearance of the wanton smile on the photo. Just the face in the picture? Sora can feel this man's lawless character and special temperament. Such people are often not simple? It reminded him of a man. Originally, pirates, which offered a bounty of tens of millions, would not have paid much attention to it. But this time the nature is quite special. The dignified headquarters Marine Commodore was coerced to fight him with the pirates. In the end, he was still defeated. Not only that, all the Marine pirates present were not spared, and there were countless casualties. This time, naval headquarters and world government used manpower to falsify the news, especially the involvement of world government. So Sora paid attention to this new pirate. At this time and space, he looked at the newspaper and pondered for a moment, then called the adjutant. He is going to let a powerful force send Marine Rear Admiral to hunt down this two-faced Nyo. Advertisement. As a space that has experienced three eras, from the era when pirates were not very difficult to the era of rocks and today's era of great pirates, he has experienced various storms along the way. He has seen all kinds of people, and his eyesight is extremely vicious. He knew very well that many big pirates often had their first clues when they were young, and the behavior of the man in this reward order and a certain characteristic in the reward order are very in line with his intuition. He had a hunch that if he couldn't stop it in time, this man might become a difficult big pirate in the future. So if you can, it's better to hunt him down and send him to impel down as soon as possible. The first half of the Grand Line, Sabayati Archipelago, Shaki's Drum Barbar. The right hand of One Piece, the big man known as Pluton lives in seclusion here, and his name is Silver Rayleigh. At this moment Rayleigh held the newspaper and read it with relish. The era of great pirates has come, and now the pirates may have a new supernova. Rayleigh put the newspaper down and took a drink from the bar table. I can feel that this boy is not simple. Shucky next to her held a lady's cigarette in her right hand, she took a puff of the cigarette gracefully, and then smiled. The initial bounty of 48 million baileys is really high, and he actually coerced marine and pirates to join forces. He seems to be a fighting maniac. Rayleigh nodded, a small smile on his lips. No matter what, the seedlings of the new era are starting to grow, which is worth celebrating. He filled his glass, toasted Shucky, and drank it down again. The second half of the Grand Line, all areas of New World. In this stormy sea, the strong pirates walk everywhere. Advertisement. The news and rewards of the two-faced Sunyo did not cause any waves. For residents of New World countries, other sea areas outside the New World are often too far away, and even a giant like Marine is somewhat powerless for this place. So a pirate in the first half of the Grand Line is still a bit far away for them. Nothing real. And for the pirates of New World, even the first half of the Grand Line is dubbed a paradise by them. It's here. Haki is the unimpeded pass, and they naturally have a sense of superiority to the pirates outside the New World. Think it's just a joke. Even those supernovas who have hundreds of millions of rewards and have not yet grown up, they look down on them. Not to mention a kid who suddenly appeared with a reward of tens of millions. Alone, without even a decent pirate flag, they also don't care about this kind of single pirate. Most of them just glanced at the reward and passed it, and then it was just for laughs. However, in the first half of Four Seas and Grand Line, many people who followed the newspapers began to be shocked by the appearance of the two-faced Sunyo. The reward of tens of millions of Baileys may not be much for Grand Line, but for Four Seas, it was already a very high reward amount. Thankfully the man showed up directly at the Grand Line as soon as he showed up. Many people began to rejoice. It's because his reward order looks too vicious. Advertisement. At the same time, his reputation as a blood killer began to spread. The first half of the Grand Line, in a sea area. On a pirate ship, more than 40 pirates are working with trepidation. Work hard to get to the next island. 
They are the remnants of the Lido Pirates and some other pirates. The captain of the Lido Pirates offers a bounty of 38 million Baileys, but the current captain Lido is gone. Killed directly by a cruel guy. If it wasn't for that man who needed to sail the boat, I'm afraid everyone else would have to go to hell with him. So they can't help but not be afraid. In the room of the pirate ship, a man with pink hair was leaning on a chair. The newspaper and the reward order spread out on the table. The photo inside is exactly the man named Liang Mian Sunyo. Blood killer. The marines in this world are so boring. They even have such ugly nicknames. Sunyo on both sides put his right hand on his chin casually, and the corner of his mouth cracked. At this moment, he felt the power in his body far surpassing before. Now he wished that marine would send some strong men over to fight him. Hope, the next marine won't disappoint me too much. The two-faced Sunyu's face was hidden in the shadows. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 10 Auction. The man who captured the palace. Advertisement. Two weeks later. A prosperous island in the first half of the Grand Line. In an auction on a commercial street. Auctions of various luxury items are in progress at this time. The items to be auctioned next will shock everyone's attention. A man with the appearance of a profiteer held a microphone and raised the atmosphere loudly. I saw a maid bring up a wooden tray covered with a red cloth and put it on the auction stage. Under the curious eyes of everyone in the auditorium of the auction venue, the auction host pulled the red cloth away. I saw a strange fruit with a strange pattern lying quietly in it. That is the rare treasure in the sea, devil fruit. Following the auction host's voice, it fell. All the audience is also boiling up. It turned out to be devil fruit. That's right. I didn't quite believe the rumors that there will be treasures like devil fruit in this auction, but I didn't expect it to be true. This is a treasure worth more than 100 million berries? I didn't expect to see it in my lifetime. The host on the auction stage saw that everyone in the auditorium was looking at the devil fruit on the stage eagerly. He also smiled very proudly. Advertisement. This auction is run by a big force in the underground world. And the auction has just been completed. In order to be famous, the owner spent a lot of effort to get this devil fruit. It's unclear what type of fruit this devil fruit is. It may be zoan, it may be paramecia, or even, it may be logia. Following the host's guidance, everyone's hearts became hotter. Compared with four seas, people in the first half of the Grand Line have a clearer understanding of Devil Fruit. This is the area where Naval Headquarters' power projection is strongest. Rumor has it that the three marine monsters, Vice Admiral, are all Logia capable. So people here generally equate Logia with superpowers. If you can buy Logia here, your status will rise to the sky in one step. The host is also very happy to see the eyes of the people under the stage flicker. In fact, this devil fruit has already been identified, and it is an ordinary Zoan golden monkey fruit. Although it can't be said to be bad, it is almost meaningless to want to arouse the enthusiasm of everyone. After all, devil fruit also has side effects. Side effects such as inability to swim and inability to touch the sea, if the fruit ability is not so outstanding. Those who can afford it may not be so enthusiastic. So if it is said that it has not been identified, then everyone will have hope. Let's not talk nonsense. The starting price of this devil fruit is 100 million baileys, and each time the bid is increased by no less than 1 million baileys. Start now. As his voice fell. The people in the audience were silent for a moment, and then began to bid enthusiastically. Advertisement. 110 million baileys. 120 million baileys. 123 million baileys. 220 million baileys. As the price climbed to this point, it gradually stagnated. After all, for those who don't know, it's hard to say what ability this unknown fruit has. If you really spend a lot of money to buy it back and find out that it is a tasteless ability, I'm afraid you will vomit blood. And there are pirates in the auditorium showing their majestic faces. The people here are really rich. There are many nobles and rich people in the country on this island to attend this auction. Even Marine came over because of this. As pirates, the money they plunder has always been spent lavishly. Even the captains of these pirates have difficulty storing so many baileys. If it weren't for the strong background of this auction house, Marine was even invited to the scene. These lawless pirates have already started to rob. 300 million baileys. A voice came from the corner of the auditorium. Everyone looked over when they heard the price. He is. At this moment, cold sweat flowed from someone's forehead. Pirate supernova blood killer double-faced Sunyo, offering a reward of 310 million baileys? He, he is here. A pirate purred the saliva in his throat, and whispered in shock. Advertisement. Those who kill with blood will live on both sides. The newspapers published two weeks ago made him known to the world for the first time. But that's not all. In just two weeks, he directly captured the palaces of the two kingdoms by himself. Even the naval headquarters rear admiral and its fleet that went to rescue were easily defeated. The amount of the reward directly increased twice. From 48 million baileys to 85 million baileys. Then it quickly increased to 310 million pele. It was quickly spread by News Economic Daily in an expedited manner. In the world's impression, he is an extremely vicious and lawless representative of pirates. This kind of continuous capture of the royal palaces of allied countries is rare. The world government is hindered by the demands of joining the king's family, and they themselves will not allow the pirates to be so lawless. After all, if it is not contained in time, it will undoubtedly set an example for other pirates. This is something that the world government will never allow. As long as someone dares to do this, there will be an extremely powerful counterattack. But the man in front of him did just that. Whether it is due to arrogance or viciousness of character is unknown to others. She could only look up at him in awe. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 11 Be Quiet. Idiots. Advertisement. Double-faced Sunyo. He is a double-faced Sunyo. As someone yelled, many people panicked. Especially those nobles, the man captured the palace of a kingdom in the last two appearances. This time he appeared in the country. Maybe it's just the attention of coming to fight the palace. Marine, Marine, arrest him quickly. A nobleman in a seat saw Marine not far away as if grasping at straws. And his shout also made many people's eyes focus on the Marines in the audience seats. Marine, who was called out at this time, saw the people around him turn their eyes towards them. He also looked bitter. 
His name is Kaga, and he is a Commodore from Naval Headquarters. He can't wait to strangle that nobleman to death right now. How could he not know about that newly rising vicious pirate? As Commodore of Naval Headquarters, he knows better. Nearly a thousand Marines were led by a veteran Rear Admiral three days ago with several Marine ships. Still easily defeated. Now he is only leading two or three hundred people to maintain law and order here. And his strength is no better than Rear Admiral, which makes him take the lead. He winked at the adjutant next to him. The adjutant immediately nodded and left the auction. For now, we can only call rescue. Feeling the complexity of the surrounding area, Sunyo slightly frowned. Advertisement. Be quiet, fools. As the words fell, a bloody and terrifying aura enveloped the auditorium. Everyone looked at him in horror as if he was being strangled by the neck. They seemed to see a bloody demon. At this moment, there was a thought circling in their hearts, and it really deserved their reputation. Just feeling his breath, a very terrifying feeling came to my heart. It's no wonder that he was a powerful thug who captured the palace alone. Seeing the surroundings quiet down, Liang Mi and Sun Yu stood up from his seat, walked towards the auction stage. Clatter, 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 there were crisp footsteps on the smooth floor. Everyone stared at the figure anxiously. The auction host felt the man's shadow hanging over him, getting closer and closer to myself. His throat swallowed. Hastily picked up the box with devil fruit next to it. Pass it to the two-faced Sunyo who came to him. At the same time, with a flattering smile on his face. Master Liang, Liang Sunyo, this is your devil fruit. Without saying a word, Sunyo closed the box handed over and accepted it. Then walked towards the passage leading to the door. Advertisement. Seeing his back as he was about to leave, the host couldn't help but stop. Master Liang Sunyo, well, the 300 million baileys you mentioned haven't been paid yet. The auction organized by Red Coffin, a well-known organization in the underground world. Its impact is huge, but that's what it is, and losing a devil fruit like that screwed up the auction. Then his fate probably won't be much better. So he could only remind the man in front of him with trepidation. Hopefully the man will live up to his stated bid price. The back figure was stopped by the host's voice. Everyone's heart couldn't help but lift up. The man turned his head slowly. Pay with your lives? Do you think that's enough? Hearing this, the host's cold sweat flowed directly from his forehead. He felt bitter in his heart, but he could only nod wildly like a chicken nodding. Ah ha ha ha, you are joking, Mr. Two-Faced Sunyo. You continue, you continue, it was just a joke just now, I won't bother you here. What a joke? There is a difference between dying now and dying later. At this moment, he couldn't say anything more in this situation. He suspected that if he said a few more words, this ruthless man who dared to keep attacking the king's palace could make his head move. Following the host's words, Sunyo sneered a few times. Then, under the watchful eyes of everyone, he walked outside, until the man has completely walked out. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. The person who spoke just now was the life of everyone present. Advertisement. Such arrogance but still no one dares to question that person will know the oppressive power of that person. At this time, as the person left, the entire venue began to boil. Haha, <laughs> it's a good show now, Two-Faced Sunyo actually appeared in this country, maybe we can see him capture the palace. Yeah, maybe you can follow in and grab some treasures. Some pirates in the auditorium were also gloating. Today they saw how rich these nobles and rich men are. If only he could follow in and get a share of the chaos. You might get rich. What should I do? What should I do? That murderous guy actually appeared here, you marines should hurry up and stop it. Our country's gold is not paid for nothing. At this time, a nobleman came to marine immediately after the man left and yelled at marine. He is one of the royal families in this country, and he has been quiet just now, for fear of attracting that man's attention. Now that guy leaves, he's pointing at Marine Commodore's nose on the field and yelling right away. You can't do anything close to this, what's the use of your Marine? Marine Commodore looked at the obese nobleman in front of him, wearing gold and silver. There is also a fire in my heart, the pirate didn't even dare to fart here just now. Now as soon as people leave, they dare to show off in front of him. Really, an unspeakable emotion filled his heart. P.S. The new book sets sail, I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 12 Sora's Determination, Kizura Dispatched. Advertisement. Understood, I'll apply for support right away. Marine Commodore endured the anger in his heart, and said without changing his face. Then he ignored him and led the people away to a quieter corner. Then he started to call Naval Headquarters phone bug, and only put down the phone bug after clarifying the specific situation. Immediately, he led his men to follow the man. If that man planned to capture the palace again, even if the enemy was strong, they, as Marines, would not be able to turn a blind eye. The other side. Naval Headquarters Marine Ford. Marine Admiral Sora also received the report from the adjutant. Marshal Sora, Gavro Vice Admiral, who is currently on mission near the Kingdom of Ginny, has gone to support him. Should be able to intercept that man in time. Gavro, that guy is now 58 years old. Strength is at its peak. I didn't expect that the kid who was still running behind was already this age. Time flies. In a blink of an eye, we came to the present. Sora felt a little dazed. After a moment he nodded and waved the adjutant away. As the room fell silent. At this time and space, a reward order was drawn from a grid. A pink-haired man smiled wantonly, his fingers still stained with blood. It is the reward order of the two-faced Sunyo. Looking at the portrait on the table, Sora was speechless for a long time. Advertisement. He didn't expect that there were only tens of millions of pirates two weeks ago to make such a commotion in a short period of time. So much so that the world government was alarmed. Let him deal with this person as soon as possible to appease the franchise countries. If this man keeps attacking the royal palace of the franchise country, the chain reaction will be huge and the consequences will be disastrous. Of course, these can only show the lawlessness of this man at best. For empty terms. What surprised him the most about this person was the speed at which his strength improved. Report on him two weeks ago. Let Kong stay close to naval headquarters rear admiral's level against him. Because judging from the report, that man was able to defeat the combination of Marine Commodore and the pirates with a bounty of more than 50 million. It's all about tenacity. It is not necessarily true that he is much stronger than them. That's why he sent a powerful rear admiral to hunt him down. It's just that the rear admiral sent was completely defeated a few days ago. According to the intelligence at the scene, that battle can already be described as crushing. Even if that rear admiral has mastered knowledge color and armament hacky, and is also proficient in six styles. But, 
still being ruthlessly defeated. The armed color just made him more resistant to beatings and persisted for a little longer. Together with the nearly 1,000 marines who were besieged, they also suffered heavy losses. Undoubtedly, that man has already possessed a very strong strength, and I am afraid that the ordinary vice admiral will not be able to deal with him or even be defeated by him. Although Gavro is already considered very elite in the current vice admiral. Advertisement. At the same time, his physical fitness is at his final peak, and he should be able to arrest him with other marines. But he is still a little worried. Those powerful big pirates always have a unique quality that can save them from danger. At this moment, his eyes flickered, and he made up his mind. So to phone bug on the table. After a while, the phone bug was connected. Moses, Moses, is it Marshall Kong? Is there something important to call me at this time? I saw the phone bug imitating a man in yellow sunglasses vividly, with a slow tone of voice. Horace Alano, there is an urgent task for you to complete now. Sora rushed to the phone and said. Then explain the basic situation. Marshall Kong, it's not that I don't want to go there, but now I'm also chasing a tricky pirate, a pirate with hundreds of millions of baileys, it's very tricky. Now it's time for a quick net, you can't just leave like this. Listening to the task given to him by Marshall Sora, Kizaru replied slowly. On the other side, the adjutant next to Kizaru listened to Kizaru's reply. I can't help complaining in my heart, if it weren't for you always taking it easy, that pirate has already been sent to impel down. What's tricky? No matter how tricky it is, it's not about your one or two flashes. In naval headquarters, Sora couldn't help but feel a black thread when he heard Kizaru's reply. How could he not know what kind of sex this guy is? Let's put down your current task for now, and complete this new task first, and I will give you a first class credit. Hearing Marshal Sora's promise, Kizaru gained a little motivation, but still said, Advertisement. But the mission location is very far away, thousands of kilometers away. It will be a few days before I drive the warship there, I can't catch up at all. That's why I called you on this mission. Sora said seriously, This time you go directly by yourself, and there is no problem in arriving in a short time at your speed. Hearing Sora's reply, Kizaru also frowned a little, although he is a sparkling fruit capable user, but at his speed. Under normal conditions, if he really wants to fly, it will take him an hour for thousands of kilometers. If possible, he didn't want to hang in the sky and fly for so long. Kong looked at the phone bug in silence for a while, feeling tired. It would be nice if this guy Polis Alino had half the enthusiasm of Sakazuki. If it's Sakazuki, I'm afraid he will take orders without saying a word. Poor Salino, this task is complete, and your application for paid leave will be granted for one week. At this time, Kong could only say helplessly, Marshal Kong, I am obliged to do this mission, let's go right away. Hearing Sora's promise, Kizaru responded extraordinarily neatly this time. Soon, the phone bug hangs up. Sora looked at the phone bug and shook his head, but he finally felt relieved. Although the process was a bit tortuous, but with Polis Alino's participation, the operation was safe. Even if that man has wings, he won't be able to escape. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 13 Sacrificial Space. The improvement of the combat power of the two-faced Nyo. Advertisement. When Zakong arranged for Polis Alino to go to support. Come Belt, Hydra Island. Mel is walking in the jungle with Miss Hall. Sudden. Mel heard the queuing voice in his head. He stopped and smiled at Maisel. Sister Mice Hair, let's do it this time. You can go back. I remembered that there is something I haven't finished yet. Hearing Mel's words, Melsa was stunned. Immediately, he reached out and brushed the windblown hair behind his ears. Nodding her head, a beautiful smile appeared on her beautiful face. These days Mel no longer focuses on exercising, but spends more and more time on Hydra Island. At the same time, I spent more and more time with her. She is very satisfied with such days. How can it be willful? The two walked side by side silently towards the palace on Nine Snake Island. Mel's getting closer and closer to Mel as she goes forward. Fingers also touched his hand intentionally or unintentionally, and finally she took his hand. Looking at Maisel beside her, whose face was more rosy than before, and who appeared to be more feminine, Mel also smiled. Holding her hand backhand, it feels very good, very soft, and tender, as if there is no bone. Feeling his response, Messel turned to look at him in surprise. The palms of the hands are also held tightly. The sunlight intertwined the two of them so that the shadows stretched very long. After returning to the palace, Mel bids farewell to Meshal, and then goes to a separate room. Sitting on the luxurious sofa, a devil fruit appeared in his hand. Zoan Golden Monkey Fruit. That's right, this fruit was sacrificed by Liangmi and Sunyo just now. Advertisement. The god level avatar system has a sacrificial space. The items obtained by the avatar can enter the sacrifice space through sacrifice. And Mel can also take out the sacrificial items again. In the past two weeks, Sunyo on both sides was looking for trouble besides rushing. And Mel will basically not interfere with his behavior, except asking him to find more devil fruit. Everything else is up to you. Two-faced Sunyo's own character is doomed that he will not settle down. It's just that Mel didn't expect that he would keep attacking the palace of the kingdom in order to find the devil fruit. In other words, the two-faced Sunyo himself was on his way and then took the palace by the way. What he has done is nothing but the treasury of the kingdom. In the past two weeks, he captured the two-faced Sunyo twice in the palace and indeed got a devil fruit for it. In addition, many treasures and a good sharp knife were sacrificed. Mel doesn't have too many treasures. Liang Kuideo is also a surprise. But these are of little importance for now. Mel opened the two-sided Sunyo panel. Now after two promotions of rewards, Liangmi and Sunyo became famous. The prestige value rose very quickly, and Mel also gave him two attribute upgrades. Now his attributes are all B+, and he spent a total of 60,000. At this time, Mel opens the two panels. Looking at the balance of prestige points on the panel, I was a little surprised. Has the prestige value exceeded 100,000? Rare? At this point Mel is also a little happy. When the last upgrade was carried out yesterday, there were still 80,000 left. It seems that after a day, the news fermented a little more. But now it's better to buy that signature ability for the two-faced Sunyo. With Mel's thought, the devil fruit in his hand was recharged into the system, also worth 10,000 points. He found that the selling price of devil fruit is 10,000 no matter it is good or bad. Advertisement. Now there are exactly 20,000 mall points in the Avatar Mall. 
Mel opened the Avatar Mall, and then directly purchased the Crouching Demon Chef on it. The 20,000 yuan just happened to be spent, and then it was directly loaded on Liang Mi and Sunyo. It can be seen that this ability also appears in the ability column of the two-sided Sunyo panel, and the initial level has reached a level. And the spiritual attribute has also been increased, directly changing from B plus to A. It can be regarded as saving a fortune. Looking at the two panels of Sunyo, Mel thought for a while and finally added 100,000 reputation points to the ultimate balance. The ability of extreme balance is quite special, it improves the control over the body. As the strong become stronger, the degree of control over the body becomes higher and higher, but the extreme balance makes this characteristic to a very high level. This ability can improve the efficiency of the use of physical strength, whether it is used to crush people who are weaker than oneself or to fight against people who are stronger than oneself. They are all excellent abilities. Simply put, it is a good ability that is easy to abuse food and improve the conditions for turning over. And it can also help the two-faced Sunyo quickly control the surge in power. So it's a good option for an upgrade. With the completion of the upgrade, the new attribute list of the two-faced Sunyo is freshly released. Doppelganger, two-faced Sunyo. Strength, B+. Physique, B+. Dexterity, B+. Spirit, A+. Abilities, Fumo Yechuzi, A level, Ultimate Balance, A level, Wind Sun, B level, Reverse Spell, B level, Skills, Observation Hacky, Class B, Physique, Class B, Reputation, 8125, Note, D, Attributes of Ordinary People in the Current World, The Spiritual Attribute has been improved again, due to the balance of Ultimate, Mel didn't expect to upgrade this ability this time, and it would be able to improve the mental attributes that had just been upgraded to A, it was a pleasant surprise, you must know that 100,000 reputation points are required to upgrade Attribute A to A+, so this wave is considered white prostitution, moreover, the activation of Fumo Yechus's Trump, card focuses on mental attributes rather than physical strength. Advertisement. So it can be regarded as a lot of combat power. The other thing worth noting is the skill body art. It wasn't because of Mel's prestige that his body skills were upgraded from C-level to B-level. It was the two-faced Sunyo who was promoted by himself in the past two weeks. And all of this is closely related to Ultimate's ability to balance. Because of this ability's powerful control over the body, its bonus to the practice of body skills is also very large. This is also one of the reasons why Mel upgraded the Ultimate balance. After nearly two weeks, the two-faced Sunyo is also digesting the physical skills of the first battle with Mel. Finally, I met Marine Rear Admiral, who was sent by Marine to receive Grandmaster Physical Skill 6 styles. Relying on the ultimate balance, he perfectly reproduced the opponent's 6 styles, and after mastering them, Two-Faced Sunyo's physical skills have also been upgraded to B-level. If possible, Mel hopes that the Two-Faced Sunyo can use the ultimate balance as a basis to improve the level of physical skills by himself. Save some if you can. Close the panels on both sides. Mel walked over to the window, looking at the beauty of the various palaces and Merrill Lynch outside. But I was thinking in my heart. Now the combat power of the Two-Faced Sunyo has been raised to a very high level, relying on the powerful lethality that Fumo Yechiza can exert. Facing Marine's veteran Vice Admiral is also a crazy crush. I don't know how Marine will respond. After all, the current double-faced Nyo is indeed a bit big. I'm afraid neither the world government nor the Marine will let it go. But it shouldn't be the time to dispatch Admiral. As long as it's not Admiral, it shouldn't be a big problem for him to want to run. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 14 Do You Want to Die? Tempest Kick Rail Wind. Advertisement. The Other Side. Grand Line, Kingdom of Genie. As the news of the arrival of the two-faced Sunyo spread from the auction house, the nearby residential streets also began to be shocked. Didn't expect recent news figures to visit their country. And the news was rushed to the palace. The royal family and ministers on the other side of the palace were also in chaos. Hastily asked for help from the marine and world government. They did get a reply from the support team, which made them feel a little less anxious. And the man who disturbed them was walking slowly towards the royal palace of this country. It felt like coming for a sightseeing trip. Only those who know about his recent evil deeds will understand what this man is planning to do. In different directions from the distance behind the two-faced Sunyo, many people followed from afar. In addition to some pirates who are afraid of chaos, there are also people from the underground world of this island, marines, reporters, and so on. Especially journalists. Hearing the arrival of the two-faced Sunyo is like a cat smelling fishy. They came here one after another. After all, during the recent period, the two-faced Sunyo is the flow of news. It's hard not to draw attention. And the marine side. But I saw Sunyo on both sides rushing slowly to the palace. At this speed, maybe Vice Admiral, who came to support, can barely catch up. Even if the noble ministers of this country are very anxious to remind. Advertisement. But, Marine Commodore, who was leading Marine far behind the two-faced Sunyo, still had no intention of going directly to confront the two-faced Sunyo. At his level, he understands the horror of those powerful combat powers too well. Currently, the number of Marines gathered on the island is no more than 300. If you really go up to block it, you will easily die. Therefore, he planned to wait for the arrival of reinforcements. Unless the two-faced Sunyo has already started to attack the palace, he plans to delay it like this. Time moves slowly. As Liang Mi and Sunyo got closer and closer to the palace, he almost came to the palace. Already able to faintly see the guards on the other side of the palace, and they are also making preparations there. Is that man still planning to attack the palace? Marine's Kaya Commodore finally couldn't sit still. Marine Vice Admiral's support had begun to approach, and now it was time for him to stall. At this moment, he led the somewhat frightened Marines towards the man. Then they will surround him with guns raised. Stop. Two-faced Sunyo, stop your footsteps. Capture with bare hands. 
Kaya Commodore stepped out from the separated marine ranks, his white cloak fluttering in the wind. It looks quite majestic. And the guards at the palace felt a little relieved when they saw Marine coming to support them. To tell the truth, he is about to face that ferocious pirate supernova. The kingdom guards, who are relatively stable on weekdays, are also flustered. Because this island is relatively close to the base of the Marine branch. So even if there are pirates, they will not be too daring, and the guards are usually relatively comfortable. Suddenly facing this kind of ruthless person who dared to attack the palace and succeeded twice. They were also in a panic when Marine's support arrived. At least it can make them less stressed. Advertisement. At this moment, Sunyo on both sides also stopped. Is the little mouse following behind finally willing to come out? He casually looked at Marine's Commodore next to him. It's just, this kind of strength. He stared at the leader Marine Commodore and said, Do you want to die? The reason why Sunyo on both sides walked so slowly was not only his own personality. I also want to wait for Marine's support. The Marine Rear Admiral made him a little bit happier last time. He was very interested in his refined six physical exercises. And Armament Haki also gradually felt a little clue. After the last show of strength, Marine will definitely dispatch a more powerful Marine. For the powerhouses of Marine, the two-faced Sunyo has a strong interest. And Marine Kaga Commodore sighed. After hearing the words of the person in front of him, there was a trace of cold sweat on his forehead. How powerful this person is, he had a rough grasp of it at the auction. That is as powerful as a sure like aura. The involuntary fear in his heart is about to fight him now. He also has sympathy in his heart. It's just that he can't regress now, he needs to buy time. Double-faced Sunyo, you have committed such an evil deed, go to impel down and repent. Justice will not back down, neither will I back down. Hearing the marine in front of him say this, two-faced Sunyo couldn't help laughing. He walked on. If you want to stop me, do what you can. Marine. And Keijia looked at Sunyo on both sides and continued to move forward, but he was helpless. Advertisement. He tried to delay with words, but the man in front of him was obviously not the kind of talkative person. No choice but to go up. He pulled down the cloak at the back and signaled the other surrounded people to go aside. Based on previous intelligence, guns have little effect on the person in front of them. The difference in strength is too large, and it is difficult for ordinary guns to play a role. And as long as they shoot, the people in front of them will definitely fight back cruelly. The name Bloodkiller is not for nothing. There were thousands of guard patrols in the first two victimized kingdoms. But he was directly killed and defeated. The monster in front of him could no longer be explained by common sense. If you want to move forward, pass me first. Shave. Kajia shaved and disappeared in place. When it reappeared, it was already behind the two-faced Sunyo. Tempest kick raging wind. Several invisible and sharp chopping waves slashed directly at Sunyo on both sides. As the outstanding graduate of the Naval Headquarters Marine Military Academy, Kaya is not the kind of person who just waits to die. It specializes in the three closely related six styles of shave, moonwalk, and tempest kick. It got good grades. Therefore, he was among the best among the students in the Marine Military Academy of that year. At his age, as long as he doesn't die young, the future of Vice Admiral is hard to say, but becoming Rear Admiral is still safe. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 15 Who are you going to beat? Unforgivable? Advertisement. Two-faced Nyo with the back facing the Marine Kaya Commodore. Feeling several invisible slashes from behind, he dodged at will. Dodged these slashes directly. Boom. The slash directly landed on the wall of the palace not far away, cutting a series of cracks directly on it. Stone splashed all over the wall, and the sound was also booming. The guards inside the city wall also looked at the marine in shock. That person was able to kick such a powerful attack with his feet? Simply inhuman? When the guards were shocked, Sunyo on both sides looked back at Kajia. The corner of his mouth cracked. The next moment, he appeared directly in front of Kaga. So fast? At this time, Kajia only felt a blink of an eye, and the two-faced Sunyo, who was still facing away from him, came to him and looked at him directly. Did you just shave? Don't wait for his mind to continue to ask questions? His pupils shrank sharply. Sunyo on both sides grabbed Kajia's collar with his right hand and pulled him over. Then let go, when Kajia lost his balance. One side of the fist wheel slanted upwards and hammered hard at Kaga's side face. Wow. Kaga's blood spattered from his mouth. Bright red blood drops drifted in the air like rubies. Before he could calm down, the two-faced Sunyo was already smiling wantonly like a villain. Grab his collar again and throw it into the air. Advertisement. Kaga felt as if he was flying in the air. A figure that was getting closer and closer came into view. Six styles are playing well. He only heard such a sentence, and then a foot kicked him hard in the abdomen. Like a cannonball, Kajia burst directly onto the city wall. Boom boom boom, the solid city wall was hit by this sudden figure. There was a deafening sound. Then it collapsed directly, and the rubble was scattered everywhere. At the same time, stone dust drifted in the air. Monster? Monster? That man is a monster? Impossible to win? Impossible for us to win. At this time, a guard who had witnessed everything couldn't help shouting. The spear weapon in his hand fell to the ground involuntarily, and his footsteps kept retreating. Because that demonic figure had landed on the city wall. The other guards were also shaken when they heard his words. Don't shake the morale of the army. At this critical moment, a general of the guard army stepped forward directly. A sword directly cut a huge wound on the soldier who had shaken the morale of the army. Then he said loudly towards the retreating soldiers. Defend the royal family and nobles, this is our mission. We must not back down, we must defeat this pirate. But the soldiers looked at him with terror. It should be said to look behind him. The general's body couldn't help trembling. He turned his head and looked behind him like a machine. I saw that the man was already standing behind him. She was looking at him wantonly. Say, who are you going to beat? He heard the person in front of him speak like this. Me. It wasn't until he faced this man at such a close distance that the general felt a real fear take root in his heart. Advertisement. The tongue seems to be tied up and doesn't listen to it. Slightly. He clutched his neck, streams of blood flowed out continuously, and the blood stained his hands. Wrong answer. Looking at the man in front of him who was slowly sliding to the ground, Liang Mian Sunyo said expressionlessly. 
People who can't even say a single sentence are not qualified to stand in front of him. Ah, uh, Commander Jason is dead. At this time, a soldier nearby couldn't help but shouted. In the past, Commander Jason was known for his iron blood and strong strength in the guard army, and his reputation was very high in the guard army. However, facing that man, he died so casually. Like a weed, it was harvested at will. Such a scene caused many soldiers to back up again and again. Don't back down. No matter how strong he is, he's only one person. Marine strong support is coming soon, and there are 3,000 people here, and he can't stand it together. A voice came from among the soldiers. I saw a general in iron armor start to speak. It's the deputy commander. Seeing that there was a leader, the soldiers felt a little more at ease. At the same time, I was sure of the strong support from Marine. Encouraged by the deputy commander, he began to rush towards Sunyo on both sides. After all, they are soldiers, not ordinary people. It is impossible to flee directly after the death of a commander. The number of people can always bring a great sense of security sometimes. Under a combination of factors, the guards began to charge towards the enemy. The deputy commander hurriedly asked the people below to open the door to let the Marine outside come in to help. At the same time quietly back away, now as long as this attack is over, with his current performance plus the vacancy of the commander, he might be able to become the new commander of the guard army, so he must not fall here. Advertisement. When the guards and marine go up to fight, Kaga, who fell in the ruins, also pushed away the stone on his body with difficulty, then slowly got up. Wow, after spitting out a mouthful of blood, he felt better. Although his body was seriously injured, he felt that he still had the strength to fight. Feeling the sound of rushing outside, Keijia couldn't help speeding up his pace. It's Keia Commodore, it's Keia Commodore. With Kaga reappearing. People who originally felt strong fear due to the strong oppressive force of the two-faced Sunyo and the understatement of the murder method. At this time, hope was involuntarily ignited. Their strength is not high, but Keiya Commodore was still able to come back to fight after hard catching two hits from the opponent. This means that the gap may not be that big. Perhaps, can lead them to defeat the demons in front of them? At this time, Keijia stood in front of the two-faced Sunyo again. He looked at the fallen people around him. He knew that many of those people were buried here forever. The person in front of him swung at the opponent's deadly part with every move. He seemed to be enjoying the feast of killing. One hand waved casually. There was an evil smile on his face, which made one's hair stand on end. Two-faced Nyo, unforgivable. Kaga rushed towards him. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 16 The Arrival of Gavora Vice Admiral. Fools have their places. Advertisement. On the other side, Gavro led nearly 600 marines and began to rush towards the island. He only brought a large warship, leaving some people behind to guard the warship. Go quickly to where the palace of the island is located. He didn't take very many people. On the one hand, it is confidence in one's own strength, and on the other hand, it is also because the manpower is not rich. Marine is also needed in many other places. Although what the two-faced Sunyo did was an evil deed, it was even more heinous in the eyes of the world government. But in Gavro's eyes, it was like other pirates plundering ordinary civilians. It is impossible for him to revoke marines in other positions just because this is a royal noble. And the marine he brought was also elite, which was enough. With Gavro speeding up, soon he came near the palace. I watched a lot of people fall to the ground, including many from Marine. Gavro felt his heart tremble. Fortunately, after inspection, many people survived. It just needs to be treated in time, otherwise it will still be life-threatening. Gavro also found the Marine Commodore Kaga, who led the Marine, inside. Bruised injuries. There was also a long and narrow wound directly on his upper body. The blood is still flowing. It's hard to say whether this situation can save your life. Looking at the young Marine, Gavro couldn't help but clenched his fists. He mobilized all the Marines. Take the survivors to the hospital on the island. Watching Marine mobilize, Gafilo marched towards the palace with a handful of elites. As we moved forward, fewer and fewer people fell on the road. Advertisement. Obviously either they retreated, or they fled in defeat. This is normal. Face invincible enemies? In the case of heavy losses, fleeing is the norm? Going all the way, finally Gaflo brought his men down to a palace in the palace. Resplendent decoration, luxurious throne. On the throne, a familiar figure sat on it. Is it finally here? Gavro heard him say so. The right elbow of Sunyo on both sides rests on the armrest of the throne. The face of the fist is pressed against the side of the face. He looked down at the man below from a high position, but he didn't pay attention to the others. The tall body, the swollen muscles seemed to contain infinite explosive power, the short haircut, and the gray hair. Feeling his aura, the two-faced Sunyo couldn't help but nodded. This beast that looks like it's getting old. It's a good prey. Where is the king of this country? There are other royal families and ministers. Did you kill them? Looking at the person in the high seat, Gavro didn't go directly to fight, but asked calmly. Idiots have their place. That's it. Hearing the words of Sunyo on both sides, Jiafuluo didn't ask any more questions, but turned around and told others. He could feel the strength of the young man on the throne. This strength may not match the intelligence. Has it improved again? Obviously. The information has just been updated. Now he wants to defeat him, I am afraid it will take a lot of effort. I can only explain the precautions to my subordinates first. Gavora Vice Admiral, stay safe. Advertisement. Hearing a word of concern from his subordinates, a smile appeared on his face. Then with firm eyes, his subordinates walked up to the man with worried eyes. Bang bang bang, there was a muffled sound of footsteps on the red carpet on the stairs. With the voice stagnant, Gavro also walked in front of the throne. Young pirate, your sin is unforgivable, go to impel down and repent. Sunyo on both sides was still sitting casually, as if turning a blind eye to Jiafiluo standing in front of him. Anyone can say beautiful words? Try it if you can. He grinned at the corner of his mouth and continued. Also, I don't like people looking down on me. Yeah, Gavro looked down at the young man on the throne. Even if, he has come to the front, but still unmoved. So arrogant, so arrogant, but, so powerful, really, pity, it would be great if such a young man was marine, thinking back to this thought in my heart, but his body began to tense, the fist like a sandbag swung fiercely at the young man on the throne, facing this sudden move, Sunyo on both sides did not rush, and directly caught the punch with one hand, boom boom boom, violent vibrations began to echo in the palace, click, 
Advertisement. Click. The throne, which was like a beautiful yellow jade, began to make a sound of being overwhelmed. A series of cracks also began to appear on it. What a power. The man sitting on the throne is still calm. Really? There are stronger ones. And Gaflo also said calmly. The other hand wrapped around the powerful armament hacky, and then slammed it forward. Boom, the powerful shock wave began to cause the surrounding bricks on the ground to fly directly towards the surroundings. Marine, who was still watching the battle, couldn't help raising his hand to block the windy bricks. Wait for the shock to pass. They looked at the center of the battle and couldn't help being stunned. That guy was able to completely resist the offensive of Gavalo Vice Admiral. You must know that Gavro Vice Admiral once arrested more than 600 million big pirates in New World. Now it's actually in the first half of the Grand Line. It was blocked by a supernova with only more than 200 million. For these officers who have been with Gavora all year round. This is extremely incredible. Battle center. The throne here is gone. Gavora watched as he used the powerful Haki's outward attack and was still caught by the opponent's palm. Also can't help feeling up. The opponent's hands use iron body-like techniques, with exquisite body control. Obviously didn't use Haki but still caught his attack. What a, monster. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 17 Return of Life. Internal Shattering. Advertisement. Gavro stepped back. Two-faced Sunyo also let go of his palms. Your strength is very good. I hope you can let me have a good time. He grinned and said. As his voice fell, he didn't wait for Gavalo to reply. It disappeared immediately. This speed, Giafu Luo's pupil shrank slightly, and the two-faced Sunyo had come to him. The palm of the hand moved towards his heart. When? The crisp sound resounded through the palace. I saw that Giafu Luo's upper body had been wrapped around armament Haki, tenaciously blocking the attack of the two-faced Nyo. Really hard, two-faced Sunyo couldn't help but get excited. Gavro also raised the fist wrapped around Haki and began to attack quickly. Marine present could see the afterimages of the two moving quickly around the palace. Sand and stone splashed everywhere. The deafening crash sounded non-stop. Tempest kick steel break. A series of invisible slashes were kicked out by Gavro. The intensive slashing sealed the surrounding positions of the two-faced Sunyo. And under this intensive attack, the two-faced Sunyo escaped the attack through a small gap like paper floating in the wind. Pedal? Advertisement. The powerful slash crossed the two sides of Sunyo and cut several walls directly. Can you even know paper arts? Gaflo was a little shocked. It's just that the battle didn't allow him to continue to be shocked, so he quickly continued into the rhythm of the next round of battle. On the other hand, Marine, who was ordered by Gavro to explore the surroundings of the palace, also discovered the royal family. Fortunately, the royal family did not die, and the king is still there. It just looked terrified. Marine, is Marine's support here? At this time the king could not help but be overjoyed. He came to the lead Marine Commodore and said, Why are you so slow? My treasure house is gone? It was stolen by that demon? Can you really defeat him? The king of fear is still not so relieved even with the arrival of new Marine support? Fears that had just been faced before were not so easily dispelled. Facing the attacking demon at that time, a minister just said one more word and died in Huang Quan. And the dissatisfied royal family also went directly to hell. As long as you say one more sentence, you will die directly, and there is no need to refute. In that case, too, the king was terrified. He had never felt death so close to him. So he said the information the other party wanted at the fastest speed in his life. Fortunately, the other party dismissed them and left after getting the news. To be honest, if it weren't for the fact that Marine said there was new support, he had already evacuated the palace first. King Genie, don't worry, our vice admiral is already fighting that pirate, you'd better find a place to hide for a while. But before that, I hope you ask your guards to treat the wounded in the palace. Marine Commodore said seriously to the king of this country. Just now, other marines discovered that pirates were looting other parts of the palace. Our side needs to go there and suppress it. I hope you can spare some people to take over from our wounded transporters. King Jinny was not calm when he heard this. Advertisement. Quickly arrange for the captain of the guards to summon people to help. Now his treasury is lost. There are other pirates coming to take advantage of the fire, which is like a bolt from the blue to him. I can't wait to kill all those pirates who take advantage of the fire. The Marine Commodore also breathed a sigh of relief seeing that the king in front of him could understand. He was most worried that the king and aristocrats were sick, and instead came to embarrass Marine. Since this is the best way to go smoothly. Then he looked at the largest palace with some concern. His most important task now is to gather the Marines and expel the nearby pirates who are taking advantage of the fire. Then go to help His Excellency Vice Admiral. At present, he has mobilized new Marines at the base and reported the situation here to Naval Headquarters. He didn't expect that even His Excellency Vice Admiral was not sure of victory. Even now, the Marines who came from the base don't know if it will be too late. He thought with some worry in his heart. Palace Center. Life Return Red. I saw that Gavro's body seemed to be gushing with bloody steam. At this time, Gavro had already exerted his full strength. Getting into this state is physically taxing on him, so he needs to do it quickly. Bang bang bang, he kicked towards the ground. The figure that was already very fast is now even faster than thunder. The surrounding ground was lifted by the strong air pressure. Make a deafening noise. Marine, who was still on the sidelines, began to cover up again. In just a moment, Giafulo came to the front of Liangmi and Sunyo. With powerful hacky flowing from his fist, he blasted directly towards Sunyo on both sides. Advertisement. Two-faced Sunyo raised his hand to catch the attack. Chick, chick. But even though he caught it this time, his entire arm made a tearing sound. Immediately after, blood began to ooze. Looking at the oozing blood, Sunyo also laughed. Marine often uses the top technique of six forms and Haki's internal crushing technique. Really? Interesting? Gafilo saw Sunyo on both sides and still took his attack hard. He was shocked. But on the surface, his face was expressionless, like a violent storm attacking Sunyo on both sides. Armament Haki also increases in strength as the amount increases. Its use skills are divided into four stages, hardening, winding, releasing, and crushing inside. 
Often people with strong hacky will master more advanced skills. Due to this fact many people associate hacky strength with these techniques. But the truth is, even people with low hacky intensity can make up for their shortcomings with diligence, or have a certain understanding, so as to master more advanced hacky skills. Some countries with unique inheritance skills or countries with special blood have popularized hacky among the people. And Gavro has followed a powerful elder brother since he was a child. His hacky skills are naturally very good. It's just that he didn't expect that someone could forcibly block hacky's internal crushing, which is a very superb skill, by relying on physical skills and body control. What a monster this man is? At this moment, he couldn't help sighing again. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 18 Feel what fear is? Fumo Royal Cook. Advertisement. With Gaflo non-stop bombardment. Sunyo on both sides did not give in. Also back with a thunderous offensive. Bang bang bang. The shock wave of the fist collision and the loud thunderous sound radiated outward. The whole palace began to shake. The remaining marines in the palace covered their ears and watched the duel in disbelief. Unexpectedly, that man could not lose the wind even after Vice Admiral used all his strength. How can it be? Is this really a pirate who just debuted? Click, click. Vibrated by the strong sound, the palace seemed to resonate. The palace, which was originally damaged due to the battle, began to grow cracks along some cracked places. And the speed is getting faster and faster. The marine who watched the battle quickly discovered this anomaly. Exit this palace quickly, this place is about to collapse. Among them, Marine Commodore, the leader, said loudly. But, your excellency Vice Admiral is still fighting. The rest of the people also responded loudly, so as to drown out the loud voices of the battle. Leave first? Staying here is a burden? With the strength of Giafuluo Vice Admiral, the collapse here will not be a big problem. This Commodore does not intend to interfere with the Vice Admiral engagement. Going up rashly at this critical moment may distract him? Hearing what Marine Commodore said, the others hesitated to go out of the palace. And Marine Commodore took one last look at the scene and followed him out. Boom boom boom. Not long after they went out, the whole palace collapsed with a burst of roar. Smoke and dust began to sweep around. After a while, the whole place calmed down. Is there a winner? The Marines standing outside the palace watched the collapsed ruins and felt the cessation of the shaking. Advertisement. Can't help thinking. Thump, thump. Two loud bangs sounded at the same time, and two figures stood on the ruins at the same time. Gavro kept panting heavily, and his body began to groan. Although the consumption is serious. But. He looked at the two-faced Sunyo on the opposite side. The two arms of Sunyo on both sides were covered with blood. It seemed to lose its support and hang down. The Marines not far away also saw this scene. At this moment, they couldn't help being ecstatic in their hearts. Very good. They knew Gavro Vice Admiral couldn't lose. Now the pirate's arm looks crippled. In this case, no matter what, you can't lose. On both sides of the field, Sun Yo looked at the hanging hands and felt that the bones inside were broken a lot. It's just that this is a small problem for him. The reversal technique is opened. The arm quickly returned to its active level. Now his inversion technique has reached level B, and the strength and speed of treatment are greater than before. This kind of injury will heal completely after a little more time. How is it possible that that kind of injury recovered so quickly? The other marines were also dumbfounded seeing this scene. They didn't know much about the information about the two-faced Sunyo. Just know that he is a newly emerging supernova who is rising rapidly. As for any more, I didn't pay much attention. In fact, marine's ability to heal the two-faced Sunyo is really vague. This is mainly because the two-faced Sunyo only used this ability when confronting marine for the first time. And it is also very hidden from the outside performance. It's hard to say whether it's due to physical fitness or fruit ability to pick up bones and the like casually. Therefore, there are only words in the report that seem to have self-healing ability. Is this the power of devil fruit? Advertisement. Jiafuluo, who is facing Sunyo on both sides, is also thinking silently. He also has the power of self-healing. When entering life return, he can expend his energy to heal his injuries within a limited amount. However, before, he could feel that the opponent's hand bones were broken a lot. In this case so quickly regained the mobility of the arm. He could not do this kind of treatment by himself. Give it a try. With this in mind, Gavro moved again. The swift offensive launched again, but this time he quickly found out that something was wrong. This is, Gavro's eyes widened and he backed away. You learned armament hacky. In the previous confrontation, he never felt that the two-faced Sunyo used armament hacky. But now I suddenly feel it. Although he is still very immature, there is no doubt that he already has the ticket to the new world powerhouse. Yes, it's still thanks to you. Two-faced Sunyo grinned, and then scattered the hardened hacky in his hand. A lot of effort wasted. Hearing the other party's reply, Gavro also sighed. Now it seems that it is very difficult to arrest the other party. As a reward to you, I will use my strongest power. What? When Gavro heard the understatement of the man in front of him, he couldn't help but feel turbulent. Did the opponent not use all his strength? He didn't feel that the other party was bluffing. Under such conditions, there was no need for bluffing. In other words, he really didn't take it seriously before. Gavro's heart was heavy, and his body began to collapse. Will it be the devil fruit ability? The strength of the opponent's pure physique can't hide from him, and he doesn't look like the kind of swordsman. So, the only variable is the power of devil fruit? Seeing Vice Admiral in front of him waiting in full force, the two-faced Sunyo didn't care. Advertisement. Then, feel what fear is. I saw him clasping his hands in a strange gesture. Gavro's observation hacky also sensed a strong danger. Field expansion. It was as if water droplets were falling on the ground. Immediately, Gavro felt a bloody monster rising from the man in front of him. The surrounding environment also began to dim, and the surrounding world seemed to have changed. The ground was black and gray, and the sky was dark red. Chef of Fumo, with the last spell of the two-faced Sunyo fell. The feeling of horror is boiling. 
A strange red door and skeletons piled up underneath appeared, and the ground turned into a strange blue reflection. What exactly is this? Looking at the surrounding changes and strange scene, Gavro couldn't help being shocked, he had never seen such a devil fruit ability. Really? Amazing? Although I have not seen this ability, but every cell in the body trembles as if feeling the danger, one can imagine how dangerous this ability is. The same is true for Marine, who is not far away, because this weird scene almost included them. At this time, they stood at the junction of the two senyo. One side is a spooky scene, and the other side is a normal scene. The contrast makes the sense of tearing in the whole space more obvious. At the same time, I also felt a creep in my heart. Can Gafalo Vice Admiral really beat that monster? At this time, their hearts kept beating drums. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 19 What is your dream? Escape. Advertisement. At this time, Sunyo looked at Jia Luafo who was in a defensive posture. There was an evil smile on the corner of his mouth, and a word came out of his mouth. Untie. What? Jia Luafo's crisis was overwhelming, and he felt that the air was full of crises, and he wanted to escape. But there is no way to escape the feeling. Laugh. Laugh. Blood is gushing. Marine's eyes widened in the distance. One arm of Gavro Vice Admiral fell directly to the ground. Blood gushed out directly from the severed arm. Gavalo Vice Admiral. His Excellency Vice Admiral. All the Marines couldn't help shouting after seeing the situation. At the same time want to rush over. Don't come here. Gavro felt that the Marine in the distance wanted to come over, so he also gave a loud shout. Run away, don't worry about this place anymore. After hearing Gavro Vice Admiral's warning in the distance, the Marines also stopped. But they didn't leave. Madness. Gavro looked at Marine who was still lingering in the distance, but said so. But there is still some relief in my heart. He turned his head, tore off a corner of his clothes and tied up the severed arm, and at the same time used his whole body to return his life to quickly stop the blood on the severed arm. Then he looked at the man in front of him with a serious face. When the danger came just now, he had used armament hacky to defend. Advertisement. But the arm was still cut off. What a weird and powerful attack. If the attack just now landed on his neck, he would probably be dead by now. Why didn't the other party end his life directly? It was to restrict or want to see him in a mess. He doesn't know, but from the current point of view, today is probably his death day. Two-faced Sunyo, tell me, what is your dream of going to see? Also, why did you attack the palace? Gavro looked at the man seriously and asked in a deep voice. With the decline of the winning raid, now I plan to gather some useful intelligence. Even if you sacrifice, you should not gain nothing. A dream? I don't have that kind of thing. Two-faced Sunyo showed an evil smile. As for why they attacked the palace, someone's face appeared in his mind, and the corner of his mouth couldn't help but twitch. This kind of thing, who knows? Looking at Sunyo on both sides who seemed to be in deep thought, Jiafiluo also had some headaches. Many pirates go to sea to pursue their dreams, especially those powerful pirates. This is the belief that they often fight. Faith is illusory but very real and powerful. If you can find the loopholes in your beliefs, you will even be devastated. But the person in front of him has no dream. Or the person in front of him is the kind of murderer who enjoys killing? This is really difficult. You have brought me no small pleasure. At this time, Sunyo on both sides had come back to his senses and said, I will give you a decent way to die. Hearing what the other party said, Gavro couldn't help but smile wryly. However, perhaps not without vitality. When Yo was in a daze on both sides just now, he had already observed the surroundings. Advertisement. Although this special strange space has a wide range of extensions, the radius is hundreds of meters. But at his speed and no one is blocking him, using this distance is not a distance. That weird slash should only be usable within this range. So, just escape from this range. Then see if you can fight back. I just don't know if this range can move with the ability user. If so, it would be too incomprehensible. Then let's begin. On both sides Sunyo stretched out his hand as if to attack. Gafilo's eyes flashed, and he kicked the one-meter-sized stone ruins directly to Sunyo on both sides. Useless. Sunyo on both sides looked at the speeding stones, and an invisible slash directly passed by. Cut the stone in front of you directly on both sides. The double-faced Sunyo who used the ability of Fumo Yechize and the double-faced Sunyo who did not use this ability are completely two combat powers. Although I spent a lot of time recklessly with the marine in front of me, I exhausted a lot of energy. But the main force of using Fumo Yechize is the attribute of spirit. And the spirit of the two-faced Sunyo has reached an A+. It can be said that he is still very energetic. In addition, the ability of Fumo Yechize is very comprehensive, using offense instead of defense, and the release speed is very fast. Therefore, as long as it is in this field, the combat power of the two-faced Sunyo has been raised to an unimaginable level. The speed is still so fast, I can't see how it was attacked at all. Gavro calmed down and fully activated observation hacky, but still couldn't catch the trace of the attack. He kept kicking out the ruins under his feet, and then kept being cut off. There is no gap at all, what a tough guy. If you only have this skill, then let's end it. Two-faced Sunyo also began to feel bored watching Jiafiluo tirelessly kicking the stones over. Advertisement. Sure enough, there is no power to resist. It's now. When I caught the two-faced Sunyo not being so focused on the battle, Gavro kicked out the last stone, then bent over. The debris of the ruins under their feet was very large, four or five meters long. It was the target he was moving towards this position while kicking just now. I saw him use his intact right hand to forcefully lift the stone into the air. Moonwalk. He followed with a leap. Shave. This time the shaving is applied directly to the stones in the air, and he exerted a very powerful force. The whole stone split into multiple pieces in an instant and flew towards Sunyo on both sides, and he himself also exploded towards this weird space with a strong reaction force. The whole process is smooth and fast. Using shaving as a means of movement for attack effects reflects Gavalo's powerful physical skills, and it can still be so fast and stable even when the balance of one arm is missing. People have to feel that ginger is still old and spicy. The whole process is only in an instant. Now Gavro is betting. Bet on both sides that Sunyo is still careless, and that kind of weird attack can only attack one place. Either attack the stone, or attack him. With stones blocking his view, he only needs a second to escape from this space. This is already the best solution he thought of. 
P.S. The new book's at sale. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 20 Unrepentant Justice. Kizaru arrives. Advertisement. Innocent. On the other hand, Sunyo smiled evilly. Although the group of stones that exploded blocked his vision, but observation Haki can still sense the aura that is fleeing this face quickly. So do you want to gamble your life? The group of stones in front of him was instantly torn into pieces by the invisible slash. At the same time, an invisible slash also landed on Gavora Vice Admiral, who shot explosively. Chi Chi, Gavolo Vice Admiral. His Excellency Vice Admiral. At this moment, they saw an afterimage burst onto the ground in front of them. Blood stained the ground red. Gavro's right leg disappeared from the thigh. His broken leg was also lying not far away due to inertia. How can it be? At this time, these marines are in chaos. Calm down. A familiar voice sounded, it was Gavro who fell on the ground. He propped up the stump with his right hand. Gafulo didn't take into account the sadness of the marines, but briefly and quickly said a little bit about the double-faced Sunyo, then have them evacuate quickly, His Excellency Vice Admiral. Without waiting for the marines to refute, Gavro directly interrupted him. Stupid, what time is it? Do you want to sacrifice in vain? Future justice depends on you. Advertisement. Yes, heard the words. They took a deep look at Gavro, saluted for the last time, and then started to leave. When they were saying goodbye, Liangmi and Sunyo also walked slowly towards Giafuluo. Gavro was now just outside the bounds of his domain. The current radius of his domain is only 100 meters. Perhaps in the future, after this ability is upgraded, the range will be larger and the limit will be smaller. At this time, Sunyo on both sides walked towards Giafuluo silently. The field also began to disperse. As for those fleeing marines, he wasn't interested at all. You're lucky. Two-faced Sunyo grinned and said. His observation Haki is currently unable to capture the complete human form, only to feel the breath. So which part of Gavro's body would his blow hit? He himself does not know. Now, though, the aging marine veteran is looking lucky. He was not directly hit by the slash. Giafuluo looked at the back of marine, but the two-faced Sunyo next to him did not go after him. This also made him breathe a sigh of relief. As for the good luck in the mouth of the man in front of him, he just took it as a joke. Today is the day of his death, which is considered lucky. Then the whole world is full of lucky people. Gavro struggled to stand up, and he didn't stop the blood gushing from his legs. Let's do it, two-faced Nyo. He has been paying for his own justice all his life, and now he is also dying in the battle with the pirates. It's not a pity. In a trance, he seems to see the memory of the past. Advertisement. Brother Kong, you are amazing. Brother Kong, I also want to be a marine like you. Brother Kong, you have become admiral. You are amazing. I will work harder to catch up with you. My justice is justice without regret. Even though Marine has some flaws, I believe that the future will eventually become better. That's what I think, Brother Sora. Brother Kong, me now, still think so. That's great. He looked at the veteran Marine who was on the ground with dazed eyes. Two-faced Sunyo raised his palms to give the old man a final blow. Suddenly, he looked up to the sky. That is, a light quickly descended from the sky. It gets slower and slower as it approaches the ground and finally becomes solid. And Gavro was also attracted by the light and came back to his senses. Only a pair of sunglasses, and a three-meter tall man in a yellow shirt appeared from the light. He looked around, after seeing this side. He said slowly to this side. Hey, Mr. Gavro, long time no see. You look very embarrassed now. Kizaru, Polis Alino. Looking at this man who fell from the sky, Gavro couldn't help being shocked. When he came to support, he checked the nearby marines that could support them. There is no suitable marine within hundreds of kilometers. And now, Kizaru is here. Is it brother Sora? He couldn't help thinking, didn't he think that it still worried him in the end? At this time, Sunyo on both sides also lowered his raised arms. At this moment, he looked at the newly appeared marine with great interest. Marine Vice Admiral Kizaru, Logia Sparkling Fruit Ability User. Advertisement. At this time, the interest of the two-faced Sunyo has completely shifted to Kizaru. He is very interested in this kind of Logia ability, and the new marine is also very powerful. One of the three marine monsters Vice Admiral, Kizaru. Even the two-faced Sunyo has been heard of. Are all the newcomers now monsters? They were able to defeat Mr. Gafulo? How terrifying. Although Kizaru's performance was a bit exaggerated, he really couldn't help but feel a little dignified. Mr. Gavro, if he remembers correctly, he once defeated more than 600 million pirates in New World. It's powerful hacky and hacky skills, balanced physique with no dead ends in all directions and very superb physical skills. This all-round strength should be far beyond what supernovas can handle. I didn't expect to lose now. Is it a powerful ability or the same Tejutsu hacky strong? Look at that pink hair exuding a sure like aura. Kizaru couldn't help being speechless. Really? He obviously wanted to come here to find a leak? Why is there such trouble? Sure enough, he was squeezed by Marshal Kong, and the scene here is seen by someone. In a palace on Nine Snake Island. Mel was also speechless looking at the image in front of him. Unexpectedly, Marine sent Kizaru over there. Fortunately, the two-faced Sunyo now has the ability to subdue the devil and the imperial cook. Otherwise, unless Kizaru releases the water, Impel Down will be indispensable. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 21 Kizaru's Attributes. Nami the Strong Fruit. Advertisement. Now he is in the state of video watching the battle, and this state can be blessed by the system. The senses achieve a wonderful blessing. This kind of blessing allows him to perceive a rough model of the strength of the characters in the image, which is a very idealistic state. For example, the marine veteran on the ground in the video. Originally, his character model was with him, and it should be like this. Marine, Gavro. Strength, B+. Physique, B+. Dexterity, B+. Spirit, B+. Ability, None. 
Skills, Armament Hacky, Class B, Observation Hacky, Class B, Physique, Class A. Although the strength of this Marine's Armament Hacky is still in the B-level Fantau, it is not a problem to use Armament Hacky's internal crushing skills to bring it to the A-level effect. A-level physical skills are displayed in terms of speed and strength, such as the Marine's special state moves that return life. It can be said that this Marine is much stronger than the old Vice Admiral that Mel knows. It is not a problem to mix a low-standard Shishibukai in later generations. And today's Kizaro is looking at him like this. Marine, Kizaro. Strength, A. Physique, A+. Plus. Agility, A. Spirit, A+. Plus. Ability, Sparkling Fruit, S rank. Advertisement. Skills, Observation Hacky, Class A, Armament Hacky, Class A, Swordsmanship, Class B, Physical Arts, Class B. If I'm not mistaken, this Kizaru should have awakened. Of course, it is not so surprising that he has awakened now. After all, Zephyr became Admiral at the age of 38, and Crocodile was 20 years younger than Bullet. It is not so surprising that Kizaru is only fruit awakening at this age. Hacky and Devil Fruit, as the two poles of this world. In essence, they are all nothing more than power distribution increases. Whichever side has a higher conversion rate and can exert higher strength with the least physical strength, use whichever side. Today's Kizaru's Sparkling Fruit ability has reached S rank. His fighting power will also climb to an unimaginable level. Because Sparkling Fruit itself has very strong advantages in terms of attack and agility. And because Logia itself has a unique force unloading technique, plus the consumption is small. Today's Kizaro can be regarded as an enhanced version of Crocodile. Waiting for the current Kizaro to advance observation hacky to the point of predicting the future S level, and his Sparkling Fruit is even more powerful. At that point in time, Kizaro's physique and spirit are estimated to have reached S. This is considered to have reached the level of Admiral's combat power. There are very typical examples of those with strong abilities in the later generations of pirates, such as Luo and Kid. In Moore's view, they are all developing their abilities to a very high level. However, due to the stretching of the basic attributes, it only takes a little mistake to fight those monsters. Will be killed in seconds. Among them, the future red-haired Shanks is sure to hit this kind of fruit powerhouse. The powerful conqueror's hacky can be very effective in deterring those guys whose basic attributes are stretched when used. As long as you lose your mind for a moment, the battle will be over. It's just that these will not appear in Kizaru in front of him. Advertisement. Just look at Kizaru's basic attributes. When Kizaru develops observation hacky to predict the future, Kizaru's physique and spirit may reach S level during this period. Mighty spirits will be completely unafraid by conqueror's hacky. A strong physique effectively increases the fall tolerance rate, and it is impossible to take it with a dog easily. It can only be said that Kizaru can become admiral in the future. There is a certain reason. The current situation of the two-faced Sunyo is a bit similar to that of a strong person. His domain Fumo Yechize is extremely powerful. It is different from the casual attacking posture of Kizaru's sparkling fruit. Fumo Yechize has a fixed range. This kind of restriction matches the particularity of its ability itself, plus this ability is mainly consumed by spirit. As long as Kizaru doesn't fight to the death with the two-faced Sunyo, fight for consumption, then it is not so easy to defeat the two-faced Sunyo. And with Kizaru's character in the original book, I'm afraid he won't fight against the two-faced Sunyo. Mel put his right hand on the side of his face, thinking leisurely. The other side. Kizaru walked towards the two-faced Sunyo, talking slowly while walking. Hey, this little brother, can you let Mr. Gavro go? If he dies, Marshal Kong will be very sad. At this time, Kizaru could feel the aura of the two-faced Nyo being a bit depressed. It seems that even if he won against Mr. Gavro, he would not be unscathed. It doesn't matter whether he is a Taijutsu Haki strong or an ability strong. In this state, he should be able to handle the opponent easily. Horus Alano, don't be careless, his ability is very powerful. At this time, Gavro on the ground began to briefly tell the other party's information. Two-faced Sunyo didn't care. Advertisement. Now his interest has shifted to Kizura, and he has no feeling for the Marine on the ground. And he could feel that he was completely locked on by the guy in front of him. If you make a random shot, you may receive a thunderous blow from the opponent. Really powerful? What fun? Two-faced Sunyo could feel the incomparably powerful aura of the other party. Perhaps. You can try the new power just now. Kizaru analyzed the information given by Mr. Gavro in his mind, and said at the same time, Master Giafuluo, you should leave here first. It will be difficult for me to take care of you in the future. If it accidentally affects you, maybe I will be in trouble too. Understood, don't be careless. Giafuluo took a deep look at Sunyo on both sides, and then stood upright on one leg. Returning to life ran at full strength to forcibly stop the wound on his right leg. Then he jumped away uncomfortably. I have to say that the physique of this world is strong. Even after consuming so much physical strength, plus the loss of a hand and a leg and excessive blood loss, Gaflo can still forcibly suppress all kinds of negative effects and act. This is not only because of the strength of his return of life, but also because of his strong will. As Gaflo gradually went away, Kizaru was also the man who turned his eyes back to his eyes. Exquisite physique and body control, powerful knowledge, strong self-healing power, preliminary comprehension of armed color, and the strangest ability space that can be slashed at will in the space. Just a very short summary, Gavro described a rough model to Kizaru. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 22 Have you ever been kicked by the speed of light? 8. Advertisement. People have left? So let's get started. Two-faced Sunyo spoke with great interest. It's really scary. Obviously I have consumed so much, but I still look at me with such terrifying eyes. Kizaru rested his forehead with one hand. It seems that I have been underestimated. Lifting his head slightly, the lenses of the sunglasses seemed to reflect the light. The man in front of him looked like he was staring at prey. No matter what old man Gavro says, even if the opponent is powerful, using the ability requires energy. With the opponent's current state, even if his ability is really that strong, how long can he last under his hands? It should be known that Lokia is the lowest in terms of consumption and excludes some special Paramecia rule classes. What Kizaru thinks in his heart today does make sense. The Lokia fruit is the rarest fruit commonly known. Its consumption is very low, and it can use very wide attacks with extremely low physical strength. 
the conversion rate of physical strength is ridiculously high. This is the case, even ordinary people can display powerful combat power when they get Logia, and the fruit of Kizura has been awakened and can exert the same power with lower physical strength. It can be said that he is indeed entitled to be proud. At this time, he slightly lowered his head and looked down at Sunyo on both sides. Then it was just a split second. Kizuro suddenly flashed to the side of Liangmi and Sunyo, and his feet were also glowing. Speed is power, have you ever been kicked by the speed of light? As Kizuro's words fell, his feet also kicked towards the faces of Sunyo on both sides. A light flashed across. At the same time, a figure flew directly towards another palace. Boom, the entire palace was pierced directly and made a violent sound. It's not over yet, Kizuro's foot emits light particles and kicks again in that direction. Boom, there was a violent explosion directly from the direction of the palace. The sound can be heard clearly even in the distance. Advertisement. As the holder of the Logia Sparkling Fruit, Kizuro's attack possesses two characteristics of explosion and speed. This is exactly what Sparkling Fruit stands at the apex of Logia. This explosion, it's Kizuro Vice Admiral, it's Kizuro Vice Admiral, he's coming. Marine, who was hesitating in the distance, was also full of joy when he heard the sound coming from a distance. Not long ago, after they reported to naval headquarters. There is also good news from the headquarters, Kizuro Vice Admiral has set off earlier to support. That's why these Marines have been waiting. It's just that they didn't come until Gafilo Vice Admiral fell to the ground, so that they all felt that Kizuro Vice Admiral couldn't catch up. Unexpectedly, it wasn't long before they left the battlefield. There was this explosion over there. This is not like that pirate's ability. Hurry up, bring some people back to the battlefield, save Gororo Vice Admiral first. When the marine side is busy, among the ruins of the explosion, the double-faced Sunyo's reversal technique was running. When he was kicked just now, even though he blocked the attack with his hands, the tyrannical force still kicked him out, and the bones of his hand also burst open. The subsequent explosive attack also caused a lot of injuries to his body. Interesting? At this moment Sunyo stood up slowly with a wanton smile on his face. With the full operation of his reversal technique, his injuries also recovered quickly. It's just that his physical strength has dropped sharply in contrast. Speaking of which, he has been fighting for a long time today. From defeating thousands of defenders and hundreds of marines in this kingdom, to fighting that Gavro Vice Admiral. At the same time, in order to maintain a good state, a reversal technique was also used. Today's two-faced Sunyo's physical strength is not infinite. It can be said that his physical strength has almost bottomed out. Da da da, with the sound of footsteps, the two-faced Sunyo also walked out of the smoke from the ruins. Are you a monster? You didn't get hurt like this? It's really scary. At this time, Kizuro clearly looked at the man who seemed to be unscathed in front of him, and couldn't help complaining. Just now he was attacking a little more seriously, if it were an ordinary vice admiral, he would probably fall to the ground. The guy in front of him was able to do so unscathed. Advertisement. Strong self-healing power? Is this the effect of his devil fruit? Feeling the downturn of the two-faced new breath. Kizuro also smiled obscenely, it seems that it is not worthless. Hey, my little brother, can you please give up your resistance? Otherwise it will be very difficult for me. Looking at the somewhat wretched smiling face in front of him, Sunyo on both sides also showed an evil smile. He didn't talk nonsense. Field expansion. As the surrounding environment dimmed down. Chef of Fumo. This is. Feeling the creepiness around, as if filled with a space full of strong malice. Kizuru couldn't help but be amazed. There is a difference between what you hear and what you see. Experience this ability for yourself now. I have to marvel that Mr. Gavalo is right, it is indeed weird. Just the prelude of this atmosphere can feel the difficulty of this ability. But does this guy really have the physical strength to use this ability now? Kizuru expressed some doubts. Untie. An invisible slash directly cut through Kizuru's waist. Kizuru's upper body and lower body are separated directly. It's scary, it's as strong as a monster. At this moment Kizuru still looked indifferent. While the upper body was floating in midair, he was still talking. Only. He raised his head slightly, and the mirror light reflected slightly. Your abilities don't seem to work on me. What are you going to do now? Attack me with the hacky you've just learned. Advertisement. Kizuru said in a flat tone. At the same time, the upper body glowed and flew back to the lower body in an instant. Unfortunately, I won't give you a chance. Kizuru raised his feet and the light particles condensed again. On the other hand, Sunyo on both sides lowered his head, shrouded in a shadow against the bright light. Really? Logia is so tricky. 8. At this time, Kizuru, who was still slowly condensing light particles, was suddenly in crisis. What? I saw a long and narrow cut in his upper body. Blood started to spurt a little. Before he could say anything, dozens of slashes fell on his body. In this crisis, a ray of light flashed in an instant. Kizuru appeared in the upper part of the field. At this time, there were already a dozen long and narrow wounds on his chest. He didn't dodge a single slash just now, because the speed is too fast, it seems to be an attack that is synchronized with the opponent's consciousness. In other words, in order to avoid this kind of attack, the speed of the body must be faster than the speed of the opponent's consciousness? It's such a tricky ability? Are the newcomers so strong now? We old seniors will be deflated if we don't pay attention. He didn't feel the traces of Haki, but the slashes could hurt him. This ability is really tricky? At this point Kizuro touched his own wound. He simply has Logia's unique defense mechanism, plus the weakening of the body's potential Haki and the bonus of his own body, under various conditions. It made his wound look serious, but it could only be regarded as a minor injury. It's just that you can't enter that weird space again. It will be very troublesome to fight him inside, and if there are too many minor injuries, it will be a serious injury. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 23 8 Foot Kain Guyu. The end of the battle. Advertisement. Gavora in the distance and Marine, who came to rescue him next to him, looked at Kizura's wound in midair. Also a little shocked. Especially Gavro, he didn't expect to hit Kizuro with that kind of attack. Fortunately, he felt that Kizuro's aura was still terrifyingly strong. It looks like it shouldn't be a serious injury. 
and over the field. Since you can't fight melee, let's attack from afar. The opponent's abilities are indeed powerful, but as long as they are out of the scope of that ability circle, there is nothing to be afraid of. With the opponent's current physical strength, such a powerful ability shouldn't take long. At this point Kizuro made up his mind to engage in a war of attrition. The blood on his body has also stopped now, and the benefits of a strong body are also displayed here. Kizuro is now suspended in midair, arms crossed. A blinding flash gathered two flashes on his hands. Two flashes intertwined. It makes the sky seem to have another sun. Some marines looking directly at Kizuro from a distance feel like their eyes are about to shed tears. Eight foot Kai and Guyu, along with Kizuro whispered. In an instant, countless dazzling light bullets appeared from his fingertips. Suddenly shot towards the man in the weird space below. Boom boom boom. Explosions continued to sound, and the whole earth seemed to be ravaged. The splashed smoke directly enveloped the space below. It's amazing. It's too strong. Kizuru Vice Admiral is too strong, even if that monster is attacked like this, it will probably fall down. No wonder Kizuru Vice Admiral is known as the Three Great Monsters Vice Admiral. Aren't the other two Vice Admirals, Akaina Vice Admiral and Aokiji Vice Admiral also so powerful? At this time, the Marines next to Gavro couldn't help but marvel at the seemingly endless light bullets. Such an attack is shocking. Seeing the amazement of the cubs next to him, Gavro was also a little emotional. I am really old, and it is great that the new generation of Marine has Kizuru as the backbone to provoke the pillars. Only, a look of seriousness flashed across his face. Look out for the area bumped by Kizuru. Advertisement. Will that man really end like this? Rationally, it seems that the opponent's physical strength is not much, and it should be impossible to continue to support it. But Gavro, who has been fighting with him for a while, can clearly feel that the man is different from ordinary arrogant pirates. Although that man is arrogant, he is by no means a brainless person. What is he relying on? How dare you act recklessly? In another hidden corner, a man was secretly filming the spectacular scene in the sky with a camera. The word big news was still muttering in his mouth. He is a reporter deployed by the World Economic News near here. The recent two-faced stalls are a hot spot of events, so the World Economic News has dedicated reporters in countries where the two-faced stalls may appear. But now he was hit by his good luck. He didn't crazily snatch the treasure like those pirates who followed into the palace, but followed the big pirate from afar? Really? Now, after defeating the Vice Admiral in the nearby base, he even faced the Marine's famous monster Vice Admiral Kizuru. This wave, he took off directly. After returning to the economic newspaper, I am afraid that I will be directly promoted and raised. The center of the battlefield. Boom boom boom. The sound of explosions continued. A little while later, Kizuru stopped slowly and fell from the sky, standing on top of a palace overlooking the area. Even though they have been attacking for so long, that weird space still hasn't disappeared. So Kizuru decided to stop and check the situation first. The thick smoke gradually dissipated. The battlefield also revealed a scene. It was still the weird scene, as if it hadn't changed, and the stalls on both sides were still standing in place. Looks unscathed. If you look through the scene, you can see that there is still a rugged stone pillar at the foot of the two sides of the tent at the bottom of the domain. Within a range of 30 meters around, there are deep pits more than 40 meters deep. The domains of the two-sided stalls are like paintings in the air, so ordinary people can only see the undamaged side of the domain. How is it possible that nothing happened? At this time, Marine, who had excellent vision in the distance, couldn't help being shocked. Under the horrific intensive bombardment of Kizuru Vice Admiral just now, the man seemed to be unscathed. Advertisement. Why is it so powerful? They are obviously just rising pirates? The same is true for Gavro Vice Admiral. He clearly sensed that the man's aura had bottomed out. Why can it still persist for so long? It's incredible. Hey hey hey. This guy is really unreasonable. It's a little difficult. At this moment, Kizuro felt a little helpless looking at the uninjured figure. At this point, he already wants to back down. I don't know how long it will take to keep fighting. Obviously he just came here to pick up a leak. I don't intend to fight to the death. Kizuro directly turned into a flash of light and came in front of Gavora Vice Admiral and Marine. This battle ends here. The opponent is too tricky. Like a monster. I'm afraid I can only let Sengoku Admiral do it. Kizuru just said a few words lightly, and attributed the conclusion to the other party. Then he walked directly outside. The remaining marine looked at each other in blank dismay. Gavro, on the other hand, had a dark face. Although he hoped that Kizuru would continue to fight and arrest the man, he could not order Kizuru either. Well, at this point he could not help but sigh. I don't know if there will be such a good opportunity next time. With Gavro Vice Admiral sighs, the extremely tense spirit also began to relax, and his body, which had reached its limit, also fell down. Gavolo Vice Admiral. Your Excellency Vice Admiral. Marine next to him panicked. They didn't care about anything else, and immediately lifted Gavro to a wooden board that had been prepared, and then rushed towards the treatment point. The two-sided stalls in the area watched the Marine go away, but they didn't chase after him either. Now it is really difficult for him to win against that Marine. This battle is enough fun. Let's talk about the rest next time. He cancelled the field, exposing the pothole underneath, and jumped over it. Daughter Island. Advertisement. Mel looked at the two-sided dormitory that was starting to leave, sensing the hidden reporter in the distance, and also smiled. Immediately the image was turned off. It's really hard to beat Kizuro in today's Liangmi and Susan, he sees it clearly. Although those light bullets that hit him were cut by that quick slash. However, the explosion of the light bomb itself still caused some damage to the two sides. It was just cured by the reversal technique. In addition to this, the other is the restriction of Fumo Yachize. The Fumo Yachize provided by the Avatar Mall is to paint in the air and fix a certain area. In other words, each expansion of the field is a process of painting, which takes time. At the same time, it takes a lot to expand once. Uninterrupted attack consumption is also high, and Fumo Yachize's attacks are divided into ordinary slashes and slashes that must be cut depending on the difference in mental power. Normal slashes do no damage to Kizuru's elementalization, and the second slash can damage Kizuru due to its special effect. But this kind of slash consumes more. A strong player like Kizuru who is good at long distance attack and fast at the same time, it is difficult for both sides to catch him by surprise. Plus Kizuru's knowledge is still higher than him. 
Put it all together. It's really a protracted war, and the two-sided dormitory can't last long. But this time it's Kizaru, such is his character. If it is Akino or Aokiji, it is estimated that the situation will change. Mel guessed that they were all awakened to the scorching heat and smoke of Akino, the freezing and low temperature of Aokiji. Even if these attacks are cut and chopped, they will still exert this characteristic. It can only be said that none of these future three admirals are easy to mess with. The basic attributes of the current two-faced stall are lower than theirs, and Fumo Yachuzi is only A level. If the current two-faced stalls want to compete with them, they need to grow a bit more. This time will not be too far away. After this incident is fermented, attributes can at least make up for some shortcomings. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 24 Fermentation of a Big Event. Let him be my husband. Advertisement. The next day, new newspapers and reward orders fly to all parts of the world with newsbirds from all over the world. Big shock. The world's most evil pirate king of fear has two faces. The pirate supernova who is about to rule the new world. With the eye-catching words on the first page of the newspaper. Everyone who got this urgent paper all over the world couldn't help but be attracted by this headline. Naval headquarters. In a conference room. Boom. With a bang. Sengoku slammed a newspaper down on the conference table. Then said it out loud. What's the matter with Polis Alino? Not only did he fail to knock down this double-faced Sunyo, on the contrary, he gave this pirate such a great reputation. At this moment, his face was a little dark. If it weren't for Polis Alino not being here, he would have scolded him directly. No wonder Sengoku was so angry. The newspapers directly exaggerated the achievements of the two-faced Sunyo. Defeat thousands of kingdom guards, followed by the defeat of the old marine vice admiral, and finally the marine monster vice admiral came to support the defeat. It even comes with a picture of what looks like a serious injury on Kizaro. As for the photos of the two-faced Sunyo's injuries, there are none. There is only the appearance of being unscathed after being bombarded by Kizaro in the weird space. People who don't know the truth. It is easy to be led by the newspapers to accept the above statement. On the conference table, Crane crossed his hands and said calmly, Sengoku, calm down first. Zayahi is right, Sengoku, calm down first, you are so frizzy at such an age. At this time, Garp leaned back on the chair, said while reaching out to grab a handful of senbei snacks to eat. The voice was a little muffled. Hearing Garp's voice, Sengoku couldn't help but black thread. Advertisement. Shut up, Garp, you are the only one who is not qualified to say such things. Seeing the two pouting there, Crane couldn't help but sighed and continued. I didn't expect Morgans to dare to make up such nonsense this time. It seems that the negotiations with the world government have failed. Suru looked at Sora, who was headed by the conference table, and said, Next, what will Marshal Kong do? Sitting in the leader's position, Kong sat in a trance with a dazed expression, only returning to his senses when he heard Crane's question. He thought of Gavro, luckily the kid was not dead. The world government has issued an order, and now the two-faced Sunyo has captured the palaces of the three alliance countries in succession. The crime is heinous. We are required to deal with this person as soon as possible. Kong said in a deep voice, According to the root of the two-faced Sunyo, he will come to Sabayadi Archipelago soon. At that time, Garp, um, let Sengoku go there. He had received reports from Kizaru before, but he didn't want to believe a single punctuation mark. What injury is serious, want to take sick leave and so on. His brow was wrinkled, but in the end, he was granted a week's vacation for the sake of saving Gavalo. At the meeting, everyone nodded when they heard Sora's decision. Apart from Garp's protests, Kong's previous statement amounted to distrusting his abilities. How can he bear it? Finally, he was stopped by the crane. Then it's decided. Soon the meeting came to a conclusion. On a sea area of Grand Line New World. In a large warship. Akina wrinkled his forehead as he looked at the newspaper in his hand. As his mood changed, the air seemed to heat up. That fellow Polis Alino. Red magma burst out from his hand, directly burning the newspaper. Look at the reward order on the table. The king of fear has two faces, hum? Let me bury it then. As he turned his head away. Advertisement. Some dim light fell on the bounty order. The king of fear has two faces, and offers a bounty to kill Bailey. The first half of the Grand Line, Sabayadi Archipelago, Shucky's Drum Bar Bar. Rayleigh was sitting in the high chair drinking a glass of glass. There is also a reward order on the table. After another glass of wine, Rayleigh couldn't help but sigh. Young people nowadays are really amazing. So many troubles have happened in just over half a month. Shucky on the side exhaled a puff of smoke and smiled slightly. Yeah, I didn't expect him to become so strong in such a short period of time, King of Fear, hey he, even his nickname has changed. That guy Morgans will kill, this title will probably attract the attention of New World Pirate Overlords. Rayleigh bowed slightly at Shucky's words. Mirrors reflect light. Now New World is dominated by that guy Whitebeard. I'm afraid this boy will challenge Whitebeard when he goes to New World. It's really interesting. Shucky shook his head. Let's talk about it after he passes the Marine level first. I don't know what the Marine will do. Grand Line, New World Wanakuni Ghost Island. A burly man with horns on his head is drinking nonstop. It is the great pirate Kaido from New World. King of Fear? Two-faced Sunyo? How boring. Kaido stared at the newspaper, not very interested. Now that idiot Kojiki Odin is still dancing, and Kaido has no interest in newcomers outside while still having internal worries. While Kaido continues to drink. Yin next to him was a little dignified. The newspaper said Kizaro had lost, although he didn't quite believe it. But in comparison, the defeat of another marine vice admiral is much more credible. Even though they are only pirates in the first half of the Grand Line, they can be rewarded with a reward of 820 million baileys. This man is not simple, and most importantly, he saw that the man's clothing style was somewhat similar to Wanakuni's. Do you know what relationship this man has with this country? If he comes to help Kojiki Odin he'll be in trouble. He was a little worried about this happening. Advertisement. New World, Cake Island of All Nations. In a pink castle. Mama Mama, this newcomer looks very strong. If he lives to come to New World, let him be my husband. A middle-aged woman with long pink hair wearing a pirate hat. While eating the cake, he read the newspaper and said, She is the most powerful female pirate in New World. She is also the captain of the Big Mom Pirates, Charlotte Linlin. 
Hearing her words, another person in the palace broke into a cold sweat. It was her eldest son Perospero. What mother said is that it is his blessing that you see him. At this moment, Perospero smiled cautiously. And the second son Katakuri, who was leaning against the side wall not far away, was a little speechless. If that man can really break through Marine's blockade, it proves his strength. At that time, according to my mother's request, I'm afraid there will be a fight. He shook his head, now he can't influence his mother's decision making, only she can do whatever she says, all around the world. With the publication of this newspaper, the whole world is also boiling. After all, this bounty is not a joke, more than 800 million baileys, even if it is placed in New World, it is a super pirate. Not to mention four seas and the first half of the Grand Line. And as the current ruthless person who keeps attacking the franchise countries, it is also attracting attention. Especially in the first half of the Grand Line, the area with the strongest marine power, there are very few people who dare to do this. In this way, the two-faced Nyo left a deep impression on most people's hearts. Many people are staring at him now, wanting to see how the marine and world government will end up. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 25 Two-Faced Sonyo's abilities have been improved. Lovely Hancock. Advertisement. Another day passed. A palace of Amazon Lily. Mel leaned against the armchair. Skillfully called out the Two-Faced Sonyo panel. Look at the reputation above. He smiled. There are already 420,000? It seems that the response is quite big. He thought about it leisurely. The newspapers got to him late yesterday. He didn't expect that the nickname of Sunyo on both sides had been changed. King of Fear, this nickname is well deserved. The bounty has also been increased to 820 million. But what surprised him was the newspaper report. They even touted the two-faced Sunyo so much, and even made news of Kizura's defeat. Praise the two-faced Sunyo to the sky, making him feel like he is invincible. That Guy Morgans is going against the wishes of the world government at a time like this? Everyone knows that with their asses, marine, and world government will never elevate their enemies and demean themselves so much. It can only be said that the president of the World Economic News Agency is indeed very human. Exactly. Now the name of the two-faced Sunyo is probably very eye-catching, and it will attract the attention of many powerful pirates and the attention of high-level marines. In this case, it is imminent to increase combat power. Mel looked at the panel, ready to improve the ability of the two-faced Sunyo. Swipe around with several abilities and skills of Sunyo on both sides. In the end, he set his sights on the Son of the Wind, and if he could, he would naturally want to directly promote Fumo Yechizi. But one million is needed to upgrade A-level ability to S-level. But it is far from enough now, so we can only give up first. He first spent 100,000 to upgrade the Son of Wind to a level. Advertisement. Under his gaze, the agility attribute that was originally B plus also became A, directly saving 50,000 reputation points. He couldn't help but smile with satisfaction, this ability to passively increase attributes is very good. Then he raised observation Haki to A level as well. Today's two-faced Sunyo is a fighter of the agile style, and his perception cannot be left behind. Moreover, the color effect of knowledge and knowledge can complement the spirit. At the same time, it can also cooperate well with the ability of Fumo Yechizi. With the upgrade of knowledge and knowledge, through the system, he can perceive that the mental attribute has improved a little in the attribute range of A+. Not too bad. Then he turned his gaze to Armament Haki, who had a new comprehension on both sides. Armament Haki of two-faced Sunyo is currently a C-rank. He directly spent 110,000 yuan to upgrade it to a level. The physique in the panel is directly raised from B plus to A. At the same time, he could feel that the power attribute of the two-faced Nyo had also improved a lot, but it still didn't reach the standard of A. But Mel doesn't care about it, and the remaining gap between the two sides can be brought up by Sunyo himself. In the end, the reversal technique was also upgraded to a rank. So far, a total of 410,000 prestige points have been spent on the Zonda, Observation Haki, Armament Haki, and Reversal spells. The panels of the two-sided Sunyo are also completely new. Doppelganger, two-faced Sunyo. Strength, B plus. Physique, A. Agility, A. Spirit, A+. Plus. Abilities, Fumo Yechizi, A level. Ultimate Balance, A level. Wind Sun, A level. Reverse Spell, A level. Skills, Observation Haki, level A. Armament Haki, level A. Physique, level B. Reputation, 16,565. Note, D, attributes of ordinary people in the current world. Looking at the panels of Sunyo on both sides today, this panel and that of Kizuro have their own advantages and disadvantages. It can only be said that the two-faced Sunyo relies on more abilities, and the outcome of the fight is really unpredictable. Advertisement. This is the premise for Kizuro to die. After all, Kizuro's speed is indeed a bit rogue. Close the panels on both sides of Sunyo. Mel stood up and walked outside. Next, Liangmi and Sunyo will go to Sabayadi Archipelago. I'm afraid Marine won't let it go. After all, he stepped on his reputation and captured the palaces of three kingdoms in a row. Still able to live blatantly, presumably the world government is also very dissatisfied. Next, the two-faced Sunyo may be able to jump the red line. With his current ability, it is not difficult to do. Anyway, he doesn't have a fixed ship himself, and all of them are robbed by others. And also alone, no burden. It's just that that guy is probably enjoying the feeling that the strong are constantly jumping at him. Mel shook his head and stopped thinking about it. Brother Mel, you're out. In the garden outside, a cute black-haired little lowly ran over, it was Hancock. Looking at her expectantly, Mel smiled and reached out to stroke her head. And Hancock squinted and enjoyed it too. Seeing her cute look, Mel couldn't help squatting down. Two hands pulled her cheeks on both sides, which were as soft as dough. Stop pinching, brother Mel, woo woo woo. Hancock spoke in a lisp. Mel didn't let go until he heard her words. At this moment Hancock puffed up his cheeks and put his hands on his hips, as if he said angrily. It hurts a bit. Brother Moore is too much. Sorry, sorry. Mel stroked her cheek lightly this time, and said softly, Seeing how cute you are, I can't help it. Advertisement. Yeah. Hancock's slightly flushed cheeks flushed even more at his words. For the sake of you saying I'm cute, I forgive you. She raised her face slightly, said with a little pout, and then changed the subject. But you want to play with me, or play with us all afternoon? Can you? Looking at her expectant eyes, Moore nodded and did not refuse. Sure. Great. 
Seeing her jumping, Moore shook his head and smiled. Then take her to the garden to play. Mel has been in Amazon Lily for a year. Most of the first 11 months were spent on that island full of beasts. Due to the prohibition rules of this country, it's also Mel's own fault. When he first arrived, he was eager to bring out his physical talents. Therefore, the Beast Island is very suitable for him, and the current Empress Messel has also become the leader of his cultivation. Of course, although I spend most of my time on that island, I occasionally come here. It's just that most people on the island are curious about him, but they also prohibit close contact with him. In the process, he also helped the country pay attention. The newspaper pavilion is one of them. Then it was more than a month ago. After Meshayer got closer to him, she began to try her best to let him live on this island without restriction. It also gave him more power to interfere with the running of the country, although he is not keen on this kind of thing. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Chapter 26 Celestial Dragons. The Disrespectful. Advertisement. Five days later. Sabayati Archipelago. In front of the red line in the middle of the Grand Line. The island is made up of many big trees, and the ground is the roots of the trees, and bubbles will emerge from the ground. Bubble cars. Bubble Ferris wheels. Houses built on bubbles. Bubble culture permeates every place in Sabayati. Area 1. Auctions. The next auction is a famous pirate. A middle-aged man on the auction stage spoke loudly with a microphone. On the stage stood an iron cage covered with a black cloth. At this time, the atmosphere of the entire auction venue was enthusiastic. This is a population auction, and people who come here have an inexplicable passion for dominating others. He is Iron Hand Jacket, the captain of the Iron Hand Pirates, with a bounty of 23 million baileys. His physique is strong. When the auctioneer above was giving an endless introduction, 100 million baileys, a voice interrupted his introduction directly. Suddenly, the whole venue fell silent. There is no other reason, because the people who speak out are the most untouchable people on this island, the Celestial Dragons. I saw him wearing what looked like a white spacesuit, with a bubble on his head, fat, with spiky hair. Yes, yes, Master Celestial Dragons, this slave belongs to you. The auctioneer on the stage dared not refute at all. Now that the Celestial Dragons are interested in this slave, just follow him. St. Roswald, you still like this kind of pirate. This kind of look is very boring. Advertisement. At this time, another Celestial Dragons in the same dress next to this Celestial Dragons said to him, Misty Dawson, I like this type of Captain Pirate. It's more fun to collect. Watching them chat like no one else. Others did not dare to make any noise. Time passed slowly. After the last slave was auctioned off, the two Celestial Dragons got up and left. Next to them was a large group of CP agents. As they left the venue, others also breathed a sigh of relief. Being in the same place with the Celestial Dragons was stressful. They can't tell when the Celestial Dragons will go crazy and implicate them. Seeing Celestial Dragons leave at this time also made me feel better. Started to leave one after another. And the two Celestial Dragons out the door. All the way out. Passing civilian streets. Everyone bowed to them. This feeling of surrender makes two Celestial Dragons very comfortable. They Celestial Dragons are descendants of the Creator. It should be a matter of course to stand at the top of everyone. When they are a little flustered. Suddenly, I saw a figure in the distance that was out of place with the surroundings. Not only did he not bow down, but he also walked towards them with a calm face. This feeling made the two Celestial Dragons extremely unhappy. What's the matter with that low fellow? Miskidor Saint said angrily. San Muskidor, I know this lowly man. He seems to be a newly famous pirate. What's his name? Um, it's called the Two-Faced Sunyo. That's right. At this time, Saint Roswald asks the entourage next to him. Advertisement. As Celestial Dragons who likes to collect pirate captains, he pays a little attention to pirate information. And this pirate is very famous recently. Of course he noticed, because of the pink hair and the dark lines on his face. So he did recognize the man. Yes, yes, that's the name. The follower who was asked next to him also answered in a cold sweat. That's good. I'm very interested in him, and I'll give him honor to be my slave. Give him this chance and forgive him for this offense. Hearing his words, Saint Miskador was dissatisfied. This kind of rude person should be shot on the spot. What are you doing with his life? San Miskador, give me some face, and you can pick any two slaves from my palace. Hearing this, Saint Muskidor reluctantly nodded. And the CP agents guarding beside them were heartbroken at this moment. How could they not know about the recently popular pirate supernova double-faced Sunyo? Obviously not long after he became famous, he was offered a reward of 820 million baileys by Marine before entering New World. Currently it is extremely rare. Naturally it is easy to remember. But the current situation is that this guy is the one who successively captured the franchise countries. In their eyes, capturing the royal palace of an allied country is almost considered capturing a kingdom. The kingdoms of this world are not too large. Many of the military forces of a kingdom are concentrated in the palace. So it's true to say that. So, in the hearts of these CP agents, the pirate himself is that kind of lawless person. Now come here to the Celestial Dragons. No matter how you look at it, it doesn't look like you're going to be caught without a fight. And these Celestial Dragons are still so optimistic, some new CP agents feel that they have opened their eyes. Advertisement. Stop, you wretch. Looking at the two-faced Sunyo who was already very close. At this time, a follower of Celestial Dragons came out to offer his loyalty. In his worldview, the whole world is Celestial Dragons, even the vicious pirates have to bow their heads when they encounter Celestial Dragons. So he never thought that the other party would resist. Kneel down quickly, Master Celestial Dragons has allowed you to be his slave, why don't you kneel down and give thanks? Two-faced Sunyo looked at the braindead in front of him and ignored it. And this follower saw that he was ignoring and wanted to stop. It's just that before he moved much, a line of blood appeared on his neck. Two-faced Sunyo also walked by him. Cluck. Looking at the follower who fell to the ground clutching his neck, the two celestial dragons also felt very curious. They didn't see anything just now. Hey, how did you do it? Saint Miskador asked curiously. Seeing that the other party stopped in front of him and still did not reply, Miskador Shang was a little angry. Pulled out an exquisite pistol from his waist and pointed it at Sunyo on both sides. I'm asking you something. While talking, he pulled the gun. Pang. As the gunshots fell, a figure fell to the ground. The entire venue was silent. Those kneeling civilian pirates or people from the underground world stared dumbfounded. 
P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 27 Don't come over. Too excited. Advertisement. My god, the celestial dragons are under attack. The celestial dragons are under attack. Admiral is coming. A civilian who recovered his senses shouted loudly. Following his voice, everyone woke up like a dream. All the people kneeling on the ground hurriedly got up and started to run wildly. The sound of footsteps, shouts, screams, and collisions intertwined. With that chaotic scene, it looks extremely spectacular. At this time, Saint Riswald looked at Saint Miskador who fell to the ground, and his heart began to tremble. He didn't expect that someone would dare to attack them. Seeing the expressionless expression of the man in front of him, he couldn't help backing away. Guard, guard, what are you doing? Take this guy down quickly. Looking around at the still dumb CP agents, Saint Roswald couldn't help yelling. It's just that those CP agents have no time to take care of other things. They now only feel a sure like aura covering them. At this time, their whole body was stiff, and the soles of their feet seemed to have grown roots, and they had no strength at all to perform other actions. Very scary? Is this the double-faced Sunyo, the king of fear? These CP agents were thinking in unison. Also very frightened and hopeless. Celestial dragons fell to the ground lifeless. Even through this crisis, it will be very difficult for them to survive the celestial dragon's level. Watching the man in front of him keep approaching, Roswald Saint hit a rock with his heel as he stepped back. Sitting on the ground with one ass, looking at the man standing in front of him and looking down at him. Trembling, he took out a pistol and kept firing. Boom, boom, as the bullets were completely fired, the man in front of him was still unscathed. Advertisement. What are you going to do? I am a descendant of the Creator, and I am Celestial Dragons. Aren't you afraid of Admiral Crusade? You, you, don't come here. Looking at the man in front of him, he bent down and stretched out his hand towards him. He couldn't help howling. It's so noisy. Randomly knocking out the Celestial Dragons in front of him, the two-faced Sunyo commented lightly. So weak, so ignorant, are these Celestial Dragons. He looked at the Celestial Dragons lying dead on the ground as if he were looking at garbage. Since that's the case, let your rubbish make good use of the remaining value. Immediately, Sunyo on both sides turned his attention to the other followers. Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford. Sora had already received a notification from the world government at this time. After the hang-up bug, this time and space is still very shocking. He didn't expect that lawless man to go and kidnap the Celestial Dragons. Even asked the world government to give 10 devil fruit to redeem people. Trade Celestial Dragons aloft as items. This wave of operations is unheard of even if it is empty. Is that guy desperate? This is no longer stroking the whiskers of the world government? Instead, he rode directly on the head of the world government and shitted. If you dare to do this, even if you survive this time, you will be hunted down endlessly. This incident even alarmed the five elders, the highest authority of the world government. But even so, they still need to redeem people. Because other Celestial Dragons are watching too, if not saved this time. I'm afraid some Celestial Dragons in Sanctuary are going to make a fuss. In the eyes of these Celestial Dragons, their lives are so precious, how can ten devil fruits compare with their lives? Ten devil fruits, it's easy to say. Avon Marine does not have so many stocks, and many devil fruits are found by Marine as personal belongings. Advertisement. How could it be possible to hand in Marine? Even if some generals kill and root pirates if the loot has devil fruit. Generally, it will not be handed over to naval headquarters. Unless he himself doesn't need naval headquarters and is willing to pay for it. In this case, the devil fruit in Marine's own inventory is mostly strategic materials purchased by the world government and sent to Marine. Fortunately, the ten devil fruits do not need to be paid by Marine. It was raised by people from the world government. Otherwise, Sora has a plan to leave those hijacked celestial dragons alive or alive. Hey, this two-faced Sunyo is really noisy. Although these ten devil fruits are going to redeem people. But the five elders of the world government have clearly ordered him. After people are rescued, ask Marine to recover these devil fruits. And that double-faced Sunyo will be arrested and publicly executed? The impact of this incident was very bad. The culprit must be sentenced to death to frighten the world. Spacetime frowned. Then pick up a phone bug and dial. Marshal Kong, what's the matter? The empty-eyed phone bug simulates a round glasses and afro head. Sengoku, where have you been? Sora asked the phone bug directly. Sengoku was off before the Celestial Dragons raid happened, because it received the information in advance that the ships looted by the two-faced Sunyo were approaching the Sabayati archipelago. Marshal Kong, we are almost here, and we will be able to go ashore in about one kilometer. Um, then Sora spoke to Sengoku about the ins and outs of the future. I understand. I will wait for the relevant personnel from the world government to arrive before acting. Hearing the reply over there, Sora nodded and hung up the phone. He leaned back in the chair and looked at the sky outside the window. What an eventful year. Advertisement. Peng? Suddenly there was a loud bang at the door. Garp kicked open the door of the empty office. Walked in carelessly. Ha ha ha. I heard that two celestial dragons in Sabayati Archipelago were captured by that pirate boy. Is there such a thing? Empty. Sora felt a black line on his forehead. Garp, you bastard, don't kick other people's doors. Sorry, sorry, I was too excited to hear the news, not too shocked. Seeing his heartless look, Sora couldn't help but sigh. Even you know the news. It's true, now the world government is ready to redeem people. Hearing Sora's words, Garp couldn't help touching his head and laughing. I heard Zayahi say it. I didn't expect it to happen. Ha ha ha. This pirate is so interesting. Watching Garp turn around to leave, Sora asked directly. Garp, are you ready to go? Yeah, such an interesting thing. I really want to go and see it. Garp said a brisk walk and slipped away. He didn't want to get into any trouble. As long as he runs fast, the empty missions can't catch up with him. Garp. Seeing Garp in a hurry, Sora was speechless. Really? If the Celestial Dragons were hit and asked him to support him, he would definitely hide quickly. Now that the Celestial Dragons are tied up, he wants to get closer to watch instead. Really? Not reliable? But that's okay, if Garp followed, the probability of that lawless man trying to escape would be even lower. Hope it goes well this time? P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons.
Immediate recharge, activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 28 Young people suffer a little bit, even if they have wings, they will be beaten down. Advertisement. The other side. Sengoku watched the Sabayati archipelago, which was getting more and more noisy not far away, on the warship. Because news of the celestial dragon's hijacking is spreading. He has just contacted the world government to arrange a person to connect with him. They are coming, it will take a while. At the same time, Sengoku also got more accurate information. Today's two-faced Nyo has taken celestial dragons to celestial dragons palace in Sabayati archipelago. I don't know what I'm doing. It is presumed to be searching for the treasure of the celestial dragons in that palace. Really? Nyo on both sides? What a lawless fellow. At this time, Sengoku couldn't help but became very interested in this pirate he had never seen before. Above the Sabayati archipelago, with the celestial dragons being hijacked. Everyone who heard the news, whether it is civilians, pirates, bounty hunters, underground world personnel or garrisoned marines, etc. Everyone was dumbfounded. They didn't expect that one day someone would dare to fight celestial dragons. Not only did they fight celestial dragons, but they also hijacked celestial dragons. Hearing this news at this time, I feel like the sky is falling. Especially the residents who live on this island all year round. Because the Holy Land Maria is very close to here. It can be said that this is a playground frequented by celestial dragons. Years and months. The authority of the celestial dragons is deeply imprinted on the inhabitants of this island. Advertisement. Suddenly heard the news. They feel as if their worldview is collapsing and rebuilding. That's Admiral's Warship. That's Admiral's Warship. People in Area 60 of the Sabayati Archipelago at this time. Some near the port found warships not far away. Because of the celestial dragons. Many people are very familiar with the appearance of the Admiral Warship. How is it possible? It's here so soon. Run. Admiral is coming. Soon, the wind in the port of Area 60 began to radiate inward. Word of Admiral's arrival also began to spread. Many people panicked. Among them, pirates are the most flustered, followed by resident traders. The reason is simple, some pirates who can't escape will give up on themselves. They began to vent their anger on ordinary civilian traders, looting, burning and killing wildly. Others feel that they can fish in troubled waters. And many people in the underground world or bounty hunters will follow suit. Then push the charges to the pirates. There are even other residents who dare to do things that they usually dare not do. When everyone is rioting, it is difficult to find out all the crimes. Everyone has a fluke mentality, and everyone has some kind of desire hidden deep in it. So every time Admiral takes Marine to surround Sabayati Archipelago, not only the pirates, but everyone suffered. That's why everyone is afraid of Admiral's arrival. Because this is not only the carnival for Marine to arrest pirates, but also the beginning of chaos for the entire island. It's a feast of chaos. In chaos, the mind will become swollen and unpredictable. Advertisement. Shucky's drumstick bar. Rayleigh now took a drink from his glass. Hearing noises outside, he reached out and dragged his glasses, the mirror light refracted out. That boy is really shocking. His mouth grinned, and then he burst out laughing. How dare you directly tie up the celestial dragons for a deal, what audacity? Even Roger has never done such a thing? Ha ha ha. Shucky took a deep breath, looking at this man who was smiling like a child, he was also a little speechless. She shook her head. Now his behavior is undoubtedly provoking the world government, and the people there will not let it go, there will definitely be a terrifying counterattack. Ha ha ha. Young people should suffer a little bit, otherwise, they won't be able to grow up. Rayleigh finished his drink again. Put the hood on the cloak and stand up. What? You want to help? Seeing him like this, Shucky was also a little curious, at the same time warned. Now this person is like a time bomb. You have to think clearly. If you accidentally annoy the world government, you will lose your clean life. Don't worry, I'm just going to take a look. I'm very curious about this boy. Watch Rayleigh's back as he walks outside. Shucky couldn't help but sigh. In other words, if you see the right eye, you need to help, right? It's really worrying. On the other hand, over time, Sengoku didn't wait for the people who came from the world government to connect, but instead waited for Garb. Garb, why are you here? Ha ha ha, Sengoku, don't make such a disgusted face. I just came to see how Celestial Dragons is doing. At this moment, Garp had one hand on his waist and the fingers of the other hand were still digging in his nostrils. Advertisement. It seemed as if there was a tic-tac-toe floating across Sengoku's forehead. He was silent. Then he directly reached out and violently knocked out a big bag on Garp's head. Pay attention to the image. The surrounding marines are watching. Garp touched the bag on his head and yelled. Sengoku, you're avenging yourself. But he didn't say any more, but turned his gaze to a palace in front of him. Is that boy named Liang Mian Sunyo in there? Sengoku nodded and said solemnly, Just now I wanted to go in but was blocked by a Celestial Dragons follower who came out of the palace, except for the news that Celestial Dragons is still alive, I am not allowed to approach that palace. Ha ha ha, it seems that this kid is not stupid, if you let this guy come into close contact, maybe Celestial Dragons will be rescued by you directly. Garp laughed and looked sorry, it would be a pity if that were the case. Hey, Garp, where are you standing? Seeing Garp's funny look, Sengoku was very dissatisfied. But he is not in the mood to fight Garp right now, he looks at the palace with some seriousness. That's the palace of the Celestial Dragons in the Sabayati Archipelago. He felt a little heavy, even though he, Admiral, was still so unscrupulous. I don't know if this guy has anything to rely on, or is it just pure indifference? He looked at Garp, who was chattering beside him. Anyway, now Garp is coming too. Even if the pirate had wings today, he still wanted to shoot him down. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 29 Offer something? Idiots. Advertisement. Come belt, Amazon Lily. At this point Mel sat on the couch. He looked at the image in front of him with some seriousness. The behavior of the two-faced Sunyo this time can be regarded as stabbing a hornet's nest. Not only did Sengoku come, he also sensed another powerful aura. From the current marine point of view, this kind of power is probably the greatest for Garp. Thinking about it, Marine's Marshal Kong still wouldn't be able to dispatch it himself. To be honest, it is really troublesome to escape with this lineup. This period of Admiral Sengoku Sengoku is completely at its peak. When the era of the world's great pirates did not start, it was directly marked against Whitebeard. 
One can imagine how powerful Sengoku is today. Maybe not as destructive as Whitebeard. But the combat power is really hard to say. Now he can also parse Sengoku templates. Marine, Sengoku. Strength, S. Physique, S+. Plus. Agile, S. Spirit, S. Ability, Buddha Fruit, S. Rank. Skills, Conqueror's Hacky, Level S, Armament Hacky, Level S, Observation Hacky, Level S, Body Art, Level S. The Buddha Buddha Fruit is a very, very powerful fruit. Its real effect is to allow the eater to gain the power, wisdom, and spirit of a Buddha. A huge Buddha-like body combined with a smart mind and perfect skills makes himself an ultimate person with both mental and physical skills. As such, Sengoku's attributes are extremely well balanced. Even because of the development and awakening of the Phantom Beast, the Buddha Fruit. Advertisement. His physique also broke through the limit and reached the level of S+. That's why Sengoku's fighting power is terrible today. And there's a garb next to it. Now it's a little troublesome. Today's two-faced Sunyo has been honed these days, and he has reached the A attribute of the strength attribute that was very close to the critical point. And his physical skills were also mentioned to A level level. It can only be said that the life return of the six forms fits very well with the ultimate balance. The ability of extreme balance can quickly raise the level of physical skills with the six styles as a ladder. However, it is still a bit difficult to retreat with these two monsters who want to break through Sengoku and Garp. It's okay if it's just Sengoku alone. The current battle strength of the two-faced Sunyo is not up to the standard of Sengoku's spike. And once it can't be killed in seconds, the battle will be deadlocked for some time. Sengoku will not be able to stay if the two-faced Sunyo retreats wholeheartedly during these times. The Sun of the Wind is an ability that purely increases speed and agility. The speed after its arousal may be followed by Sengoku's short-term burst. But the follow-up will definitely not be able to follow. The agility attribute does not represent speed. And even if attacked by Sengoku during this process, the two-faced Sunyo is completely unafraid. The recovery power of his reversal technique is very strong. Now even a broken internal organ or even a broken heart can be healed. Its strong resilience is destined to make it impossible for him to fall easily. But now Garp is here too. Mel shook his head. Fortunately, there is no hope. And if you really don't want to go, just walk down the impel down. Mel turned his attention to the sacrificial space. Advertisement. Previously, the two-faced Nyo had obtained two devil fruits in the palace of celestial dragons. Wait until the devil fruit from the world government can be obtained smoothly. Maybe it can break the game. He opened the avatar mall, and saw that the abilities inside had taken on a new look. One of the abilities came into view. Cursed feed, 30,000. Sabayati Archipelago. A group of people in white suits, strange costumes, and masks came to Sengoku. One of them was carrying two suitcases. Sengoku Admiral, now we will enter the palace to negotiate. After the Celestial Dragon's adults are rescued, I hope you can make a move in time. One of them, wearing a white eagle mask, said to Sengoku, led by Marine. He is the captain of the CP0 team, nicknamed White Eagle. Okay. Sengoku nodded. Then he watched their backs entering the palace. CP0? Unexpectedly, the world government even sent them out. Is this posture worried about the two-faced Sunyo escaping? Sengoku shook his head and relaxed a lot. Although the strength of these CP0s is not high for him, some of them have strange abilities. In this case, it would not be so easy for that man to escape. Inside the palace, two-faced Sunyo sat on a luxurious seat, with one hand resting on the side of his face. The other hand tapped rhythmically on the metal armrest. Under his seat were two trembling celestial dragons slumped on the ground. Advertisement. There are also some entourage CP agents standing next to them who are silent. Da da da, with the sound of footsteps. The CP0 team walked through the hall and came to the two-faced Sunyo. Among them, the captain wearing a white eagle mask looked at the two trembling celestial dragons on the ground and couldn't help but take a deep breath. Two-faced Sunyo, we have already raised the devil fruit you want? Now we can release two celestial dragons adults. Looking at the team of strangely dressed personnel in front of him, the two-faced Sunyo also grinned at the corner of his mouth. It seems that these wastes still have some value, do I want less? Hearing his rebellious words, the two celestial dragons on the ground were reluctant to speak out. And the CP0 behind the CP0 captain stood up angrily, to be so rebellious. Calm down. At this time, Bai Ying stretched out his hand to calm the emotions of the team members. Now that Lord Celestial Dragons is by his side, they are not out of danger yet. The possibility of direct combat affecting them here is too high. He dared not make his own decisions. Seeing the angry faces of those people, Liang Mi and Sun Yo didn't care. He glanced slightly, just said something lightly. Bring it up, fools. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 30 Next time I will ask for a higher price, and the head will fall. Advertisement. Hear his arrogant words. Even Bai Ying couldn't help being angry. As the world government directly under the top secret cipher POLCP0. Even if they go to the marine admiral or even the marine marshal, they are all arrogant. But now, a pirate, just a pirate. But he looked at them so condescendingly. It is unforgivable. Bai Ying took a deep breath to calm down his complicated mood. Now, saving people is the most important thing. Under his suggestion, a team member puts two boxes on the table next to the two-faced Sunyo. Then slowly open. I saw a total of ten fruits with extremely strange shapes or colors and patterns lying quietly inside. Two-faced Sunyo looked at these fruits indifferently. Then nodded. Take these two pieces of trash back. I'll ask for a higher price next time. Hateful? What the hell did this guy think celestial dragons were? Goods? All CP0 couldn't help being shocked. Others in the palace also feel that the three views are fragmented. Only the two celestial dragons on the ground heard the two-faced Sunyo's words, and they were amnesty. Get up in a hurry. Seeing this, Bai Ying also came back to his senses with a wink. Two CP0 team members hurriedly escorted the two celestial dragons away. Seeing that celestial dragons was about to leave, the other entourage CP agents also hurriedly ran away. In a blink of an eye, the whole palace fell silent. 
There are only two Sunyo left and three CP0S who have not yet evacuated. He still didn't care about these two faced Nyo. He casually closed the two boxes on the table. When closing, ten devil fruits have been sacrificed by him into the sacrificial space. Advertisement. The two boxes outside are already empty shells. It's just that the remaining three CP0S who are still in the palace don't know. They sense the aura of the celestial dragons getting farther and farther away. After probably entering Admiral Sengoku's field of vision, then he began to stand ready. One set his sights on the two boxes on the table next to the two faced Sunyo. The other two stared at Sunyo on both sides. Now the celestial dragons have retreated. Now the devil fruit must be snatched back. At the same time, test the strength of this two faced Nyo first. If they can catch this villain, then there is no doubt that it will be a great achievement. Even the five elders might look sideways at them. Get caught with bare hands, two faced Nyo, you should not exist in this world. He heard the speech of the white eagle mask in front of him. Two faced Sunyo couldn't help laughing. What stupid things are you talking about? Use whatever you have. It's now. Captain Bei Ying gave a signal with his eyes. The two players rushed forward tacitly. One is facing the Nyo on both sides, and the other is targeting the box on the table. And Bai Ying stared at Sunyo on both sides, ready to support his teammates at any time. People will be distracted when talking. The success rate of performing actions at such times will increase. As CP0 agents, they can use this little trick that can increase their chances of winning. Boring? Watching CP0 in action. Two-faced Sunyo didn't intend to move. Laugh, laugh, White Eagle's eyes suddenly popped up. How can it be? Boom, 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 advertisement. The sound of objects rolling down on the ground also chilled Bai Ying's heart. He just barely sensed two special changes just now. Then the two CP0S fell directly to the ground. This kind of thing. How can it be? How could this guy be so strong? Looking at the horrified guy in front of him. Two-faced Sunyo looked bored. Now he began to further control the ability of Fumo Yachize. Now he can directly use ordinary slash without opening the domain. Of course, this kind of slash is less powerful than the unopened domain. And the launch speed is not as synchronized as that of the domain. This means that people with strong observation hacky can perceive the trajectory of the slash and then dodge it. But the 2CP0S just now obviously couldn't reach this point. Even armament hacky was out before he could use it. It can be said that the two-faced Sunyo now has this kind of power, which is very dangerous for the weak. Beheaded at every turn, hard to guard against. What? Are you scared out of your wits? Sunyo on both sides glanced at Bai Ying indifferently. And Bai Ying also came back to his senses at this time. His face was very ugly. The act of retreating subconsciously due to shock just now was obviously looked down upon. He took a deep breath. All attention is focused on the two-faced Sunyo. At the same time, the hacky on his body surged, and the whole body was wrapped around armament hacky. The attack just now was very strange and fast. They are just too late to turn on hacky to be killed in seconds. Now as long as he plays steadily, then just wait for Admiral to come to support. Now Bai Ying has no intention of making meritorious service. The attack by Sunyo on both sides just now made him sober. He might not be able to beat this guy, but dragging it to Admiral is no problem. Look at his cautious defensive stance. At the same time, I felt a powerful breath coming. Advertisement. Two-faced Sunyo is not indifferent. He stood up. And Bai Ying also felt many strange fluctuations surrounding his body. When? 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 He only felt sharp slashes attacking his body continuously. Faint bloodstains appeared on his body. At the same time, the consumption of Haki is terrible. This guy, it's so scary. He braced Haki against the slash on his body. Want to turn back and retreat. You'd better die here. He only heard a voice ringing in his ear. So fast. This speed. Bai Ying's pupils shrank sharply. A hand came straight up and grabbed his head violently. Peng, a bang, the back of Bai Ying's head hit the ground directly. Numerous cracks opened all around the ground. Bai Ying felt a little dizzy in his head, but his Haki dared not withdraw at all. Interesting. Two-faced Sunyo grinned evilly, lifting his feet, Haki condensed under his feet and then fell hard towards Bai Ying's Adam's apple. Bai Ying only felt his mind suddenly lifted up. With this move, he will be seriously injured or even die. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 31 I'm a good citizen. Curse feed. Advertisement. Boom. A violent sound erupted. Slowly stopped with the fluctuations. Bai Ying, who was a little nervous at first, couldn't help but heave a sigh of relief. I saw Sengoku already appeared. His feet are just blocking the feet of Sunyo on both sides. Stop it, two-faced Sunyo. Now you are under arrest. At this moment Sengoku said calmly, but my heart is full of turmoil. This kind of hacky strength. Obviously before Jiafuluo Vice Admiral's report, the two-faced Sunyo initially comprehended hacky, but now it is his current perception. This hacky intensity has far exceeded the so-called initial comprehension. This is already comparable to the hacky of Vice Admiral, the three major marine monsters. This growth rate? Naturally, Sengoku would not doubt Gafro Vice Admiral's information. In other words, this man has improved hacky from scratch to this point in a short period of time. It's only a few days. It's worth it if this continues. At this time Sengoku has made up his mind to arrest this villain. He looked at the tall man standing in front of him. Two-faced Sunyo stretched his feet back. Watching Sengoku with interest. Marine Admiral, what a powerful force. Then it's up to you to deal with my opponent. Sengoku looked at the man in front of him. There is no nonsense either. The powerful armament hacky is condensed in his hands and directly bombards Sunyo on both sides. The same is true for the two-faced Nyo. Boom, boom, two-faced Sunyo stepped back directly. Advertisement. At this time Sengoku wanted to catch up and suddenly sensed strange fluctuations around him. Hastily dodged the attack. What was that just now? Is it the ability to slash in that weird space? Sengoku was a little puzzled. Now there is no such space. Could it be that that ability can be released without the need for expansion space? When Sengoku was puzzled, Liang Mian Sunyo rubbed his arm after he took off a lot of force. Just one blow to his arm hurt it. This is the result after he unloaded his strength. Thanks to Admiral, Two-Faced Sunyo smiled. The operation was reversed, and the injury on the arm healed instantly. Suddenly, he froze for a moment. Then he laughed happily. 
Such power? At this time, Sunyo on both sides could feel a force in the air continuously rushing towards his body. What a powerful force? The other side. Garp looked at the celestial dragons in distaste. Immediately, I also plan to go in and have a long eye. Just now, two breaths disappeared. It seems that the CP0 on top of these eyes has suffered a lot. I don't know how long it will take Sengoku to catch the two-faced Nyo. As he prepares to leave, suddenly he saw a familiar figure approaching him with a bag in his hand. Yo, Garp, come catch up. Ha ha ha, it's you, Sengoku is in there now. Garp walked towards the figure not far away under the suspicious gaze of Marine next to him. It was only when he got to the side of that person that he continued to speak. Aren't you afraid of being caught? Pluton, Rayleigh. Advertisement. There was a slight smile on Rayleigh's face under the hood. What is there to catch the remnants of my era? I am a good citizen. Ha ha ha, you are laughing at me to death. Garp couldn't help laughing out loud when he heard Rayleigh's words, almost to tears. Ask Sengoku if you believe that. Seeing Garp laughing like that, Rayleigh shook his head too. He walked back and randomly found a big tree. Take out the items in the bag in your hand. There are several bottles of wine and two wine glasses. Come on. Old people reunite, come and have a drink. Hearing Rayleigh's words, Garp walked to the opposite side of Rayleigh. Then sit cross-legged. He took the glass that Rayleigh handed him and drank it down. Then said, Rayleigh, you don't come here because of the pirate inside. Rayleigh also downed the wine. The lenses under the hood seemed to glow. I'm just here to take a look. Really? Sure enough, that guy did such a thing. Aren't you curious? Without waiting for Rayleigh to reply, Garp said directly. Me too. Rayleigh smiled slightly at Garp's words. No wonder you're here. I thought the world government would even call out to you. How is it possible? Sengoku alone is enough. Garp turned slightly to look at the palace and said, Yeah, Rayleigh said with his head down. In Amazon Lily Palace, Mel looks at the two-faced Sunyo who started the duel with Sengoku in the video. Just now he has purchased a new ability for him to curse and suck evil. This is the ability for the new January clone store refresh. The Avatar Mall is refreshed once a month, and now the time has come. Advertisement. As for the remaining force ability before the refresh, he didn't buy it. But this in itself is insignificant. Sometimes ability is not more the better. Ability upgrades require reputation points. Too many abilities can lead to too much spread of reputation. It is not as high as the specialization combat power when it is improved. And there are strengths and weaknesses among abilities. It's like the two-faced Sunyo's Fumo Yakuk and other abilities with the same level of improvement in combat power are the largest. So now Mel is going to take the specialization route for the planning of the two-faced Sunyo. The new ability, Curse Evil Feed, is a very powerful ability. This ability is expensive, a full 30,000 is required. As soon as the exchange was made, the level was as high as a level, and the spirit of the two-faced Sunyo was also raised from A plus to S. Of course, the most important thing about this ability is its value. This ability can absorb a certain range of negative emotions. The current scope has covered the entire Sabayati archipelago. Its main effect is immortality. Simply put, it absorbs negative emotions as an energy source to continuously repair the body to achieve the effect of immortality. The side effect is to increase the quality of the whole body and increase the combat effectiveness in an all-round way. Although there is a limit to the increase of A-level, it is already very impressive for the two-faced Sunyo. Today's Sabayati archipelago is full of fear. Therefore, the battle strength of the two-faced Sunyo is constantly rising. Of course, these Mel's are not so concerned. Now he is instead interested in the ability to feed on curse evil. The prospect of this ability feels promising. If you upgrade, maybe. At this moment, Mel was thinking about those super magic spirits in the previous life anime. Might be able to create them? Maybe it will be fun? Mel leisurely looks at the two-faced Sunyo in the video. P.S. The new book sets sale. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 32 Conqueror's Haki Awakens. What a scary Haki. Advertisement. Inside the palace, Sengoku looks at CP0 on the ground. Then he looked at the two-faced Sunyo not far away. Buying, you go away first? You won't be able to intervene in the next battle. At this time Sengoku felt the fluctuation of the two-faced Nyo breath in front of him. I do not know how it is. It's actually on the rise. Is this some kind of special physical skill or his ability? Sengoku is unknown. I just know that it will take a lot of effort. And CP0 on the ground also straightened up. Hearing Sengoku's words, his face darkened. Sengoku Admiral, you can do whatever you want? I'm not so weak that I can't even stop the aftermath. He stood up while speaking. At the same time, he set his sights on the two boxes not far away. Since he couldn't beat that pirate, it would be a credit to bring Devil Fruit back. Sengoku nodded. Since this world government Zero insists on it, he has nothing to worry about. Put your eyes on the two-faced Sunyo in front of you. At this time, his aura has gradually stabilized. Sengoku's face was serious. What is going on with this guy? He stopped thinking. The powerful armament Haki entangles and leaps towards the two-faced Sunyo. Boom. Severe wind and waves swept towards the surroundings along with smoke and dust. Advertisement. The floor tiles on the ground were violently shaken and exploded. Bai Ying couldn't help but stretch out his hand to cover the smoke and dust. After a while, as the smoke and dust passed, Bai Ying's eyes couldn't help but widen. Blocked? That guy actually blocked Sengoku Admiral's attack? His heart was turbulent. I saw Sunyo and Sengoku fist fighting on both sides of the scene, refusing to give in to each other. At this time, if the two-faced Sunyo's attributes are measured by the panel, then his strength and agility have reached the level of S. This is exactly the temporary strengthening brought to him by the curse evil sucking. A steady stream of mysterious power in the air is constantly pouring into his body to support this strengthening. Looking at the tall Sengoku on the opposite side, Sunyo also grinned. It's a wonderful feeling to have this force in my body constantly. At the moment of collision with Sengoku, due to the armed color level is lower than Sengoku. So his arm was actually hurt a bit. However, the injury was quickly repaired before it could expand. At this moment, the two-faced Sunyo only felt that his whole body was very comfortable. Marine Admiral, that's it. Keep up the good work. Hear the words of the reckless person opposite. Sengoku's expression darkened. Compared with the first attack, now his armed color has used the technique of internal crushing. But it looks like the effect is not good. What the hell is going on with this guy? Obviously, the first attack was easily repelled by him, but now his strength has suddenly risen to this level. 
Pirate kid, don't think that you can act recklessly with a little strength. A powerful conqueror's haki rises from Sengoku. The justice that reigns supreme in the world, that is Sengoku's idea and also his dominance. Really? Wait until you defeat me, Marine Admiral. Advertisement. Like a sure-like aura in training the evil of all living beings. The aura of the Lord of the Night Walk of the Hundred Ghosts began to rise. Collided hard with Sengoku's conqueror's haki. Sengoku conqueror's haki's conqueror's haki awakens. The general template given to clones by the system comes with conqueror's haki. As long as the spirit is suitable, each clone is likely to awaken conqueror's haki. And the two-faced Sunyo undoubtedly has a strong courage. And the spiritual attribute has reached us, which is very easy to awaken. Moreover, the newborn conqueror's haki and the two forces of Fumo Yacho and cursed evil absorption are intertwined on the spiritual level. Makes his conqueror's haki look like an upgraded haki? The airwaves in the entire palace kept turning. The atmosphere seemed to be shaking. The collision in the illusory field of the spiritual will make certain particles in the atmosphere start to escape. Thunder and lightning kept splitting and rising in the void. Amazing, this pirate knows conqueror's haki, and what a horrible haki. Bai Ying, who witnessed the collision of the two, couldn't help being taken aback. Under the collision of two conqueror's haki, he felt his body trembling, as if his body had become weak. Outside the palace, under a big tree, Garp and Rayleigh's expressions changed. I saw two terrifying auras rising from the palace colliding violently. Even the marine soldiers who were tens of meters away from the palace could not help but roll their eyes fell to the ground. There were originally thousands of marines who could stand, and suddenly only a few were able to stand. At this moment, Garp's expression couldn't help but look difficult. Why is that guy Sengoku messing around all of a sudden? But that guy has conqueror's haki, and it's so powerful. Advertisement. Garp hastily got up and left here. Then command the remaining marines that are not down. Move those fainted marines to a safe location. Now these fainted marines are like hostages. We'll limit their output. After all, people at the admiral level seriously affect a wide range of shots. It is also impossible to stick to one place all the time. The current situation is that the power of the two-faced Sunyo is somewhat beyond imagination. An all-out attempt to arrest him could wreck a lot of ground. Up to now, Garp has some headaches about whether he can catch the two-faced Sunyo. The breath inside is very strong. And there's a Rayleigh next to it. Rayleigh, don't play tricks on me, or I will give you a taste of my iron fist. Garp warned Rayleigh before leaving. Don't worry, Garp, I'm just looking. Rayleigh lowered his head slightly, his glasses reflected a little light. Garp rolled his eyes at Rayleigh's words. Believe in you, there are ghosts. Rayleigh had the most tricks when he was hunting Roger. He started walking towards the palace. Behind him, Rayleigh laughed as he watched the two forces still colliding. What was thought to be a lamb directly turned into a tiger. Now it's time for the world government to have a headache. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 33 Try to take my attack. It's too dangerous. Advertisement. Inside the palace. Sengoku's face was very ugly. Originally, he just wanted to suppress this man's arrogance with Conqueror's Haki. Didn't expect this man to have Conqueror's Haki. It looks like he just woke up. But this Conqueror's, aside from being a bit rusty at first, became proficient. And this Conqueror's Haki is so powerful. It was under the pressure of the other party that he couldn't stop. Conqueror's Haki is in full swing. Don't think about it now, the Marine outside is bound to fall down a lot. After a short period of stalemate between the two, the Conqueror's Haki of the two-faced Sunyo gradually overwhelmed the Conqueror's Haki of Sengoku. Sengoku's eyes snapped. His conqueror's haki expanded, and the two strands of conqueror's haki directly shattered and disappeared. This showdown over conqueror's haki is over. Is this guy a monster? Sengoku looked at Sunyo on both sides solemnly. He lost the conqueror's haki match just now. Like the conqueror's haki that was venting in a large area just now. It takes a lot of mental energy and load. Even Sengoku couldn't keep releasing conquerors of this size all the time. He didn't know that the backing of the two-faced Sunyo was the negative sentiment of the entire Sabayati archipelago. In addition to the restoration of the body, it is also effective for the restoration of the spirit. Although I don't know this kind of information, but Sengoku didn't change his face when he found out that he was fighting. Then decisively and forcibly terminated this competition. Obviously, they are just pirates who have just set out to see. It's just Conqueror's Haki that I just learned. This guy, advertisement. Absolutely can't let him go just like that. Sengoku made up his mind again at this point. Be prepared, double-faced Nyo, bet on the name of justice. He poised his hands, armament Haki, and Conqueror's Haki began to twine in his hands. He's ready to give it his all. Sengoku, what are you going to do? Are you going to ignore the life of the marine outside? At this moment a voice came from behind Sengoku. I saw Garp walking in from the gate of the palace. Garp, the marine outside is on your hands. I can't hold back anymore. The man in front of me is no longer at a level that can be dismissed casually. Hear what Garp says behind you. Sengoku also froze for a moment. Then he said seriously. Hey, I'm not good at saving people. Garp's eyes seemed to pop open. It's just that after being funny for a second, he turned his attention to the two-faced Sunyo. Is this the culprit that caused the chaos? It's unbelievable that you are so serious. Ha ha ha. It seems that this mission is a bit troublesome. Sengoku. Seeing Garp's still heartless look, Sengoku couldn't help being a little speechless. And the two-faced Nyo on the opposite side also looked at the power in Sengoku's hands with great interest. In the special state of entering the curse and evil, the vision of the two-faced Nyo has changed compared with before. The special vision allows him to feel the power in Sengoku's hand more clearly. Is Conqueror's hacky winding? What a fun power. Before Liang Mian Sunyo went to see, Mel told him some basic information about this world. Among these is the message of the Conqueror's Haki entwined. Marine Hero Garp, looking at the carefree Marine in the palace, Bai Ying also felt stable. Just now he almost forgot that Marine Garp was here too. In this way, the highest combat power of the two Marines is here. No matter what, the person in front of him couldn't escape. Advertisement. So, he looked at the two boxes that fell to the ground. If you pick it up now, there is no problem. Are the two monsters coming? If that's the case, then I'll take it seriously. At this time, Bai Ying ran to the two boxes and picked them up. What happened? This weight? Was it dropped? It's just that he hasn't had much doubts yet. Hear the pirate's voice. Field expansion. The surrounding scene changed. 
Chef of Fumo, watching the surrounding scene change drastically. Sengoku and Garp also had serious faces. The strange scene is full of malicious face. This ability, really, amazing? Then try to take my attack? Marine, following the words of Sunyo on both sides, the voice fell. Countless slashes began to swarm up. The entire palace collapsed in an instant. The two-faced Sunyo is backed by the negative emotions of Sabayati's island today. Prepare to bury the enemy in front of you with absolute volume. The entire field was filled with slashes under his consciousness. While Bai Ying was puzzled and the two boxes were cut into pieces. Hey, hey, that boy's ability is too dangerous. Now Rayleigh was outside looking at the completely crumbling palace. It was as if everything had been cut. He couldn't help feeling shocked. It seems that this young man is already in the ranks of the top powerhouses. Advertisement. It's been nearly a month since he was offered a reward of tens of millions of Baileys. So strong in less than a month. Was it because he was clumsy before or did he really grow up in such a short period of time? If it's the latter, it's a little scary. The sea is always full of wonders. Maybe nothing is impossible. Rayleigh downed the glass in his hand. Sengoku Admiral, Vice Admiral Garp. The marines who are still on the ground outside or awakened or transported. They stared dumbfounded at the astonishing scene in front of them. That monster? Are Sengoku Admiral and Vice Admiral Garp really okay? These marines couldn't help worrying about them. Big news? Big news? Really big news. The other side. A birdman stood on a branch of a big tree, quietly taking pictures of the astonishing scene in the distance through the dense leaves. He is Morgans, the president of World Economic News. When the double-faced Nyo kept making hot spots, Morgans began to pay attention to this new star pirate, especially with the recent situation, world government, and Marine may snipe this supernova in Sabayati Archipelago. It made him even more excited. So Morgans left early for the Sabayati Archipelago. Sure enough, an earth-shattering event happened, the celestial dragons were tied directly. And now Marine Admiral Sengoku and Marine heroes come hand in hand. It would be wonderful if the other party could escape. Morgans already has a title for this big event. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 34 The sky is cracked, and the younger generation is terrifying. Advertisement. In the field, Sengoku and Garp shielded their eyes with their hands. Slash, slash, all slash. It seemed that the endless slashes were cutting up and down their bodies. Although defended by the powerful armament Haki, but Sengoku and Garp could feel Haki's intense drain. At this point they looked at each other. Can't help but see the shocked expression on the other side. Sengoku lowered his arms and began to charge. The powerful conquerors Haki and Armament Haki began to surge in his palm. In just a moment, he crossed the area full of slashes and bombarded Sunyo on both sides. Don't underestimate Admiral, Two-Faced Nyo. Two-Faced Sunyo also focuses on the person in front of him. Head on. The frequency of slashes mobilized by consciousness dropped instantly. Boom, boom, Sunyo on both sides flew upside down. In the end, Moonwalk forcibly unloaded in midair and did not fly far. Even now he has similar base stats to Sengoku. But Conqueror's Haki's entanglement combined with Armament Haki and Subtle Body Art. Its explosion has exceeded the limit that he can block. Admiral, that's not bad. The two-faced Nyo fell to the ground. The arm that was injured by the collision and the chest that was hammered by Sengoku are all intact. Sengoku looked at Sunyo with a somewhat ugly face. Now it is useless except for the Buddha fruit. He has tried his best. But the opening of the Buddha fruit does not mean that his combat power will be much higher. The reason is simple. Advertisement. The Buddha Buddha fruit itself has a powerful effect, and this fruit is not perfect. Its great Buddha state consumes a lot of physical strength. Moreover, most of the physical energy consumption in the state of the Buddha is on the golden body. That golden body can have unparalleled defense. Its shock wave is incidental instead. That is to say, the Buddha form Sengoku is generally used to defend against some extremely powerful attacks. When using the Buddha state, his attack power cannot exceed how much he attacked just now. There is a limit to the human mind. Except observation Haki. Conqueror's Haki, Armament Haki, and Taisho have completely formed a balance. In this respect his friend Garp is ultimate. If other fruit abilities are added rashly, its combat power may not necessarily become stronger. How to allocate mental energy can maximize combat power. This is what the top powerhouses are concerned about. In the field, the slashing around Garp had stopped, and he was also shocked when he looked at Sunyo on both sides. So many high-intensity slashes were used just now, but the guy in front of him now doesn't seem to have much consumption. What a terrifying physical ability, and it's still so easy to eat Sengoku's almost full-strength attack. It seems that some will fight next. Garp set his sights on Rayleigh in the distance. So Rayleigh still drinking and watching the show there. Garp also felt speechless. Two-faced Sunyo looked at Sengoku with an ugly face. Evil smile. The blow just now was good, Conqueror's Haki is entangled? That's right. Sunyo raised his hand following the two sides. An inexplicable fluctuation rose and entangled in his hand. This is, Sengoku and Garp were horrified at the same time. Advertisement. This guy, especially Sengoku was the most shocked. He didn't perceive wrong before, the man in front of him just realized Conqueror's Haki, now he was hit by him in a blink of an eye, then this learned, the monster, Sengoku's forehead was almost wrinkled into a well. Ah, this kind of power is really good. Then, try this blow, Marine. I saw Sunyo's voice on both sides fell. He blasted straight at Sengoku. And Sengoku is also ready at this time. Same goes for Conqueror's Haki winding. Boom, boom, boom. One big and one small fist collided in the void. The atmosphere seemed to be shaking. Lightning flashed outward at the point of impact. The atmospheric particles driven by the shockwave vibrated so that Guangmang wandered in the void like flowing water. That's it, work harder, Marine Admiral. Hear the words of Sunyo on both sides. Sengoku was also furious. I told you, don't underestimate Admiral. The stalemate between the two suddenly became violent. The fist is getting closer. Boom, boom, boom. The ground under the surrounding feet rolled directly. The earth seemed to be shaking. The impact of the two sides continued from the impact to the gap above. Advertisement. The huge impact went straight to the sky through the domain of the two-faced Sunyo. The sky, the sky, the sky is cracked. Everyone in the Sabayati archipelago can feel some kind of fluctuation in the atmosphere and some kind of vibration on the ground. 
Someone looked up to the sky, immediately horrified. It's spectacular, it's spectacular. This, this is the world's top duel. It's really wonderful. Morgans, who was hiding in a tree, watched the duel in the distance in amazement. He took the time to take a picture. What a mess, Sengoku. At this moment, Garp saw a violent shockwave sweeping outward. There are some marine soldiers lying on the ground not far away. Now watch the shockwave rushing towards that side. He moved at once to block the most violent possible death. And Rayleigh, who was under the big tree in the distance, couldn't help standing up. Have you even learned Conqueror's hacky entanglement? And it can compete with Sengoku. What a formidable young man. Rayleigh couldn't help feeling emotional. Battle center. Sengoku looked at the other party who was struggling to flinch, and he mustered all his strength. Finally the impact came to the limit. A violent explosion erupted directly. The clouds in the sky were directly shaken to pieces. Until the vibration stops completely. Sengoku and Liang Mian Sunyo also stood facing each other. At this time Sengoku is extremely troubled by the two-faced Sunyo. Now his combat strength has reached the top level. Want to rely on him and Garp to arrest each other. Unless the other party is completely desperate, otherwise it will be very difficult. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 35 Young Man, Do You Want Coding? Advertisement. At this moment, Sunyo on both sides looked at Sengoku who was about to continue fighting. Suddenly, his forehead wrinkled. Then unlock the field. Marine, that's the end of this battle? I hope you can make me more enjoyable next time. Two-faced Sunyo said and then slowly moved in a certain direction. Look at him so casually. Leave with such swagger. Sengoku frowned. He looked at Marine who fell to the ground not far away. And a guy who feels a hidden breath. Finally he sighed. Now they are not ready enough. Now this man can no longer be defined by ordinary pirates. If you want to crusade, you can only rely on the next preparation. And if he wants to enter the new world, there is a high probability that he will conflict with those new world overlords. It would be great if we could both lose, just the next words. Sengoku looked around at the ruins. Were those devil fruits taken away by him? There is something difficult to explain on the world government side. Not far away, Garp looked at Sunyo on both sides and looked at the distant figure, but he didn't stop him. By now, it's a bit difficult to catch this pirate easily. After all, the other party is alone. This kind of lone ranger has a high probability of running away when things go wrong. Unless the other party is naive, never retreat. He looked at the surrounding environment. This Sabayati archipelago is still too big and has a large population. If it is on a desert island, he might as well attempt a righteous siege with Sengoku. It was much easier to arrest him then. Advertisement. After all, the opponent is an ability user. At that time, if you can't fight, you have to rely on ships if you want to run. And ships are easily destroyed if they don't have a reliable crew. Obviously this two-faced Sunyo does not have such a crew. Garp shook his head. When the two-faced Sunyo enters New World, Whitebeard should have a headache. This pirate looks like a lawless master. A collision with Whitebeard is a must in entering the New World. Even Whitebeard will feel uncomfortable when the time comes. Thinking of this, Garp couldn't help laughing. He turned his gaze to a big tree not far away. It was empty there. Only a few wine bottles and two wine glasses remained. That guy really is fast enough. Otherwise, he would still treat him to an iron fist meal. The other side. Sunyo walked slowly on both sides. His breath began to drop gradually. The reason why he retreated before was also very simple. His mental load was reaching its limit. The ability to absorb evil is to absorb the negative power of the world to repair the body and achieve the effect of immortality. Mentally can also continue to recover. It can also increase physical attributes. Its power is beyond doubt. But negative energy is negative energy. This kind of thing has an influence on the spirit of the current two-faced Sunyo. Negative emotions such as sadness, fear, hesitation, deceit, anger, etc. circled in his mind. That is, his current mental strength. Anyone else would have been an idiot. With the in-depth use of this ability, his spirit began to become abnormal. Not only that, even the body is changing disorderly in a certain direction. It can be said, the current two-faced Sunyo doesn't know much about this ability. For unknown changes that escaped his grasp. Advertisement. He didn't like it very much. Therefore, he stopped fighting. I do not know how long it has been. Two-faced Sunyo came to the shores of the Sabayati archipelago. Come out, how long will you have to follow? Along with Sunyo on both sides, he said casually. A figure came out of the woods behind him. Hey, boy, do you want to be coded? Naval headquarters, Marine Ford. Kong frowned and listened to the report from the phone bug in front of him. That is to say, an admiral and a marine hero were dispatched, but in the end they let the other party walk away in such a swaggering way, and the ten devil fruits also disappeared. Sora said angrily, Sengoku, it's hard for me to explain your report to the people above. I'm sorry. Marshal Kong, the opponent's combat strength has far exceeded expectations. The price of arresting him is too high. Especially here is the Sabayati archipelago. Sengoku's dignified voice came from the phone bug in front of him. Sudden, the image of the phone bug in front of him changed, and then Garp's voice came out. Ha ha ha, this can't be blamed on Sengoku. The world government really wants to make trouble and let them solve it themselves. Isn't the cause of the matter the celestial dragon's own mistakes? Clatter, clatter, clatter. The phone bug in front of him made a strange sound. After a while, its image re-simulates Sengoku's appearance. Sorry, Marshal Kong, I will take responsibility for this mistake. Hearing Sengoku's words, Sora couldn't help but sigh. Forget it, I can't blame you for this. Thank you for your hard work, you can come back. Sora immediately hung up the phone. His face was a little complicated. That pirate was only in less than a month. It has grown to such an extent. Even Sengoku finds it tricky. Such talent. It would be nice if I could get into the marine. Advertisement. He shook it and thought no more. In turn pulled the phone bug of world government five elders. Sky, how is the task completed? The voice of one of the five elders came from the phone bug. As the remaining two members of the CP0 team escorted the celestial dragons back to the holy land. The remaining CP0 is directly sacrificed. As it is, there is a lack of direct contact with the upper layers. 
caused the five elders to be a bit behind in terms of what happened to the Sabayati archipelago. Hear the inquiry of the five elders. Sora took a deep breath and briefly put out the general details on the tray. As he told, there was also silence on the other end of the phone bug. So, not only did you let the other party escape, but the ten devil fruits also disappeared. Sora, you marines are really incompetent. Hear the lofty words of the five elders. Kong couldn't help being a little angry. He took a deep breath to calm himself down and said, This operation did fail, but I don't think there must be only bad things. Oh, tell me. Hearing Kong's words, five elders also wanted to hear his opinion. Right now, the structure of the new world is solidifying, and the attacks among the great pirates are becoming more cautious. Now, the double-faced Sunyo, a pirate with monster strength, enters new world, and I'm afraid it will cause waves of struggle. At that time, as long as we can arrange it well, we may be able to reap the benefits of the fishermen. Hearing Kong's words, five elders also communicated with each other. Then I'll leave it to you marines. I hope you guys don't screw up again this time. Next, let's discuss the punishment for your marines misstep. A long time. Kong hung up the phone bug and looked out the window leisurely. He sighed. Celestial dragons. It's a bit irritating. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 36 The Fallen Crown. Little Kid is not sensible. Advertisement. The next day. Super shock. Celestial dragons are bound. Fallen Crown. Scary. The Great Pirate King of Fear. The Two-Faced Sunyo and Marine Admiral Sengoku's duel. An urgent newspaper begins to spread across the seas and the Grand Line. People were attracted by the two headlines on the front page of this newspaper. Among them, the title of Celestial Dragons is very eye-catching. The kind of species with supreme power that distinguishes it from ordinary humans, Celestial Dragons? He was tied up. This kind of thing is too curious. In fact, Morgans used the crown to describe the authority of the Celestial Dragons in people's hearts. With the fermentation of this big event, the authority of Celestial Dragons is bound to slip in the hearts of people around the world. As Morgans titled it, the tide of the times is rising, and those who are at the apex of world power will be like a fallen crown, precarious. As the central figure of this big event, the King of Fear, the double-faced Sunyo, is also well known to everyone. Certainly, Morgans, the courier, was running for his life. He is too deadly. Completely ignore the warnings from the world government. Cut through the mess quickly by turning a deaf ear. Quickly spread the news to the rest of the world. See what he wrote? The Fallen Crown? This kind of news will completely threaten the foundation of the world government's rule. It has broken through the tolerance of the world government. So people from the world government started to arrange agents to hunt down Morgans. He must be taught a lesson, but Morgans is not vegetarian either. Advertisement. If you dare to do this, you must take life-saving measures. He will be extremely cautious during this time. He didn't dare to come out until the limelight had passed. Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford. Mr. Garp, is that two-faced Sunyo really that strong? Even you and Sengoku Admiral couldn't stop him. Aokiji holds the newspaper. Asked curiously to Garp who was sitting on the sofa. He had just returned to naval headquarters from a trip today, and he saw this newspaper all at once. He is really curious about the two-faced Sunyo who caused the big event. Click, click, click. At this time, Garp will grab the senbei in his arms. The crisp chewing sound kept ringing in this office. Garp swallowed a few mouthfuls and said, That guy, he is really strong. He has reached the level of a top powerhouse. You didn't see it. How ugly Sengoku's face was at that time? Ha ha ha. Hearing Garp's words, Aokiji couldn't help shaking his head. Mr. Garp really loves to sarcastic about Sengoku Admiral. Kusin, you guys have to work harder. Now a new pirate suddenly appears, and he becomes stronger than you all of a sudden. Aren't you ashamed? Hear Garp turn and lecture him? King Z smiled wryly, but couldn't help thinking. Is he really slacking off? Think back to his usual pace of life. Um, maybe indeed maybe a little bit. Now Marine can't even afford three admirals. You know Zephyr, he is mainly in charge of the Marine Military Academy, and most of the pressure is on Sengoku's side. You and Polis Alino are fighting for their strength. Advertisement. It can also relieve some pressure for him. Watching Garp speak earnestly, Aokiji couldn't help being speechless. Then Mr. Garp, you can be admiral first? Wouldn't this relieve the pressure on Sengoku admiral? Cough cough cough. The brat is really ignorant. Grand Line New World. A deck on a large warship in a sea area. Akainu stared at the newspaper in his hand with a gloomy expression. Sengoku Admiral and Vice Admiral Garp, are they old? This can make him run away. That's good. I don't have to go to the first half when he comes to New World. He tossed the newspaper away. The King of Fear has two faces and a reward of 2.23 billion. At that time, it will be up to him to weigh whether this guy is worth the reward. Akainu walked back, the cold wind blowing his cloak. The word justice on the back is a bit dazzling. An island in the Grand Line. A mysterious figure walks in the desert. I saw him wearing a dark green coat with a red square tattoo on his left cheek. He was holding a newspaper in his palm. It seems that the authority of the celestial dragons will fall in the hearts of people all over the world, and the soil will be more favorable in the future. A murmur came from under the hood. The newspaper also floats along with it. The wind and sand are floating, and the wind is gradually picking up. The figure disappeared in a blink of an eye, leaving only a newspaper hovering in the air. The altitude of 10,000 meters in a certain area of the Grand Line. There is a group of islands floating here. Advertisement. Two-faced Sunyo, what's up with Sengoku and Garp? At this time, he was on a large chair outside a building. A man with a ship's rudder stuck in his head, his golden hair falling to the ground like a lion's mane, smoking a big cigarette. His eyes, big and small, stared at the newspaper in his hand. He is the once famous golden lion Shiki. At this moment, he looked at the newspaper in his hand with a delicate mood, because he once forcibly stormed naval headquarters, also against Sengoku and Garp finally reduced to the point of entering impel down, although it was because he never retreated. But no matter, there is a contrast in the eyes of others. Doesn't this mean that he is inferior to that pirate kid in the eyes of others? At this moment, Golden Lion couldn't help but feel a little delicate. But he doesn't care what other people think? Kind of tying celestial dragons all alone, rat. He put the newspaper down casually, looking at the islands in the distance. But none of this has anything to do with him. He has made up his mind to lurk down. 
When the time comes, he will show his vengeance to the world government. Let the world know, let the gentle pirates of the so-called Great Pirate Era know what the real horror is. Gee ha 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 ha, gee ha 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 ha. Rampant laughter began to resound through the sky. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 37 What stupid things are you talking about? I'm Whitebeard. Advertisement. Brand line. New World. New World Wanakuni ONI Island. The sky was gloomy, with thunder and lightning constantly shining between the dark clouds. Rumble. Thunder sounded. Oh -hoo 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 a laugh drowned out the thunder that passed to the island. Kaido looked at the newspaper and laughed. Celestial dragons got tied up. I'm dying of laughter. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Yin next to him looked at the newspaper with some worry. This man is interesting. He managed to escape from Garp and Sengoku. It would be great if he could be my big sign. Now Kaido has set up a big Kanban position in his pirate group. But currently only Yin and Quinn are worthy of the role. At this time, I saw Sunyo's bold and reckless behavior on both sides. He appreciates it very much, plus his strength. Kaido admires this man very much. And it's not out of the question to have him join his crew of pirates. Because this double-faced Sunyo is a lone wolf pirate. It is not impossible for this kind of pirate to join other pirate groups. Just show the strength to convince the other party. In this regard, Kaido is still relatively confident. Never really cross over again. Only read newspapers, Kaido has always believed only a few. A lot of times that guy Morgans likes to exaggerate. So for the Morgans newspaper, especially in terms of judging strength. Kaido is only used as a reference and will not be fully believed. He didn't believe that a big pirate who had been at sea for many years would lose to a kid who had just been at sea for not long. Even though this brat's strength seems a bit strong. Ah, uh, it's scary? Brother, is he going to fight that monster? At this time, there was a golden braid on his head, and he was fat, and the chubby fat man was talking exaggeratedly while dancing. That monster is on a PAR with Admiral Sengoku? You're still under Admiral and the Marine Hero Garb, and you're still out. Brother, really don't think about it anymore. He is the big Kanban Quinn of the Beasts Pirates. Advertisement. Quinn, what nonsense are you talking about? I'm Kaido of the Beasts? Ugh. Kaido hiccuped and fell down. Then there was a thunderous snore. Hey, so casual. Watching Kaido fall to the ground and sleep on the spot. Quinn's eyes protruded and his tongue curled outward, looking shocked. Yin looked at him playing tricks and shook his head, then set his eyes on the picture in the newspaper. How dare you kidnap and trade celestial dragons? He looked at the lightning intertwined in the sky. What kind of person is that man? New world, cake island of all nations. In a pink castle, the atmosphere of the air is somewhat condensed. Perospero carefully looked at the face of the ant. Mother. Following Perospero's voice, it fell. Charlotte Linlin laughed. Mama mama mama. When the laughter stopped, she slapped the newspaper in her hand on the table in front of her. Boom, the whole table creaked. It sounds like she can't bear her strange power. The pastries on the table are also looking at mother tremblingly. This kid is not bad. How dare he do such a thing? And, his strength looks quite strong. I'm really getting more and more interested in him. Mama mama mama. If I have a child with him, I don't know what kind of child it will be. I'm really looking forward to it. Looking at the ant smiling wantonly. Perospero couldn't help leaving a little cold sweat on his forehead. To be honest. He really didn't want his mother to be interested in that person, in the style that person exhibits. Advertisement. It's easy to go to war. After seeing that picture of that man vs. Admiral Sengoku in the sky cracking scene, he felt that this guy was a little too much to provoke. It's just that I am more excited to see my mother. This is difficult. Mom, I think it should be a long-term plan. Suddenly, Katakuri, who had been silent by the side, spoke. Huh? Do you have any objections? Katakuri. At this moment, Big Mom's laughter was interrupted by Katakuri, and her tiger eyes stared at Katakuri wantonly. Paro's Paro next to him broke out in cold sweat. I think I'm going to hold back and wait until Liangman Sunyo's next actions in New World, then I'll decide whether to invite him over. Katakuri didn't directly contradict his mother's thoughts. Instead, it took a roundabout way. That man's ability is too dangerous. Once he can't agree with his mother, it will be his brothers and sisters who will be in danger. For Katakuri, drag it if you can. It may be possible to avoid this situation with new changes in the future. Um, hearing Katakuri's words, Charlotte Linlin stared at him closely for a while. Immediately said, Mama mama mama, just do as you say. Katakuri. After speaking, Charlotte Linlin began to eat the dessert at the table. The cakes and desserts also started dancing and singing. The scene was extremely strange. The reason why the ant agreed so quickly is also her own judgment. Although she is sometimes crazy, she is usually very shrewd. This time it was just the opening of the mouth. What is the majesty of her family if she just retreats like this? And Katakuri's calm judgment sometimes is equivalent to giving her a step up? Katakuri also faintly noticed this. Grand Line, New World. A certain sea area ruled by Whitebeard. A huge ship in the shape of a white whale. It is the car of Whitebeard, one of the overlords of the New World. Advertisement. Father, this rookie is really getting stronger and stronger? It's just that he can face off against Admiral Sengoku. This news can't be fake. Mardo, the first captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, said in disbelief. In this newspaper. But it is written that the two-faced Sunyo has the same strength as Admiral Sengoku. What is the strength of Admiral Sengoku? Mardo is quite understanding. It was a monster that only Papa could stop. Before, Admiral Sengoku came to snipe the Whitebeard Pirates at every turn. The duel is not once or twice. Yeah, this newcomer does look very powerful, but it is an exaggeration to say that he is on PAR with Admiral, said the man with brown hair. He is Lakoyo, the captain of the 7th division. They are all the veterans of the pirate group, and the strength of Admiral Sengoku is obvious to all. Gula la 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 la, what does this matter? A man named Edward Newgate, known as Whitebeard, sat slashing through the crowd. He let out a heroic laugh. No matter who the opponent is, no matter how strong the opponent is, as long as I dare to come, I will defeat the opponent. I'm Whitebeard. Goo. Listen to Whitebeard's heroic laughter. Everyone couldn't help cheering up. Even the most cautious Margot was the same. 
Whitebeard is in his prime right now. His words can make the Whitebeard pirates blindly believe. That's the charm from Whitebeard. His tall and reliable body and powerful spirit are unconvincing. Among them was a dark-haired and honest man with a slight glint in his eyes. Is the king of fear double-faced? He has never heard of a fruit that can be chopped at will in a space that looks weird in the photo? How curious? P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 38 The Two-Faced Neo's combat power is enhanced, and Hisoka is born. Advertisement. Another day. Come belt, Amazon Lily. Inside a palace, there was a bounty on the table in front of Mel. It is the reward offered by Sunyaksen on both sides. The current two-faced Sunyo bounty has exceeded 2.2 billion baileys. This amount is already considered very high. In his eyes, Marine's ability to give such an amount might mean trying to provoke the great pirates of the New World. A rookie pirate who has never entered New World has such a high bounty. The competitiveness of those big pirates will rise to a certain extent. Might increase the likelihood of a fight. People always have an instinctive pursuit of fame and fortune. Switching to pirates in this regard is a bounty. Defeat him and prove yourself. This kind of emotion is often inadvertent in the struggle. Of course, Mel doesn't care about these possible tricks. Now he turned his attention to the two-sided Sun Yo panel. To be precise, it is the reputation value on his panel. Now, the time to open the second clone has come. I saw a prestige value of 1.32 million displayed on the two panels of Sunyo. It can be seen how much influence this big event has on the world. More looked at Sunyo's abilities and attributes on both sides. Directly added strength, defense, and agility to his basic attributes. All three went from A to A+. Plus. A total of 300,000 reputation points were spent. His stats panel has also changed. Doppelganger, Two-Faced Sunyo. Advertisement. Strength, A+. Plus. Physique, A+. Plus. Dexterity, A+. Plus. Spirit, S. Abilities, Curse and Evil Feed, A level, Fuma Foyafa, A level, Ultimate Balance, A level, Wind Sun, A level, Reversal of Spells, A level, Skills, Conquerors Hacky, Level S, Observation Hacky, Level A, Armament Hacky, Level A, Physique, Level A, Reputation, 1025535, Note, D, Attributes of Ordinary People in the Current World. Today's panel is luxurious. The newly awakened Conqueror's Haki jumped to the S level and became his main output. This is due to the courage of the two-faced Sun Yu itself, plus the influence of spiritual attributes and two A level abilities to achieve this effect in one fell swoop. The remaining 1 million reputation points now need to be used for other purposes. Apart from this prestige value, the only thing that can upgrade the two-faced Sun Yu is the attribute. Now the two-faced Sun Yu's combat power has tended to be stable. With Fumo Yachuzi and Conqueror's Haki as the core, cooperate with other abilities and skills. His combat power is very high, at least it can be said that he has no shortcomings. If one enters the special state of absorbing curse and evil, the situation will be different. That state really boosted combat power a lot. Unparalleled recovery speed, the whole body quality can be blessed. But this still requires conditions. It is currently limited in scope. Previously in the Sabayati Archipelago had great geographical advantages. At that time Sabayati Archipelago was in a panic due to the arrival of Admiral. That's why there is a steady stream of negative power. Of course, the current pirate overlords also meet this condition. Like Wanakuni, it is now ruled by the Kaido of the Beasts and the Kurosumai Orakai. Many civilians under it have a bad life. There is a lot of negative energy. At that time, the two-faced Sunyo will be able to go there like a fish in water. The opposite is the Whitebeard Pirates. Advertisement. Their pirate group drifts back and forth, spending most of their time at sea. This means that the place where Whitebeard is located is actually sparsely populated. That's when the two-faced Sunyo went to fight Whitebeard. The negative energy he can absorb. At the top of the list is his cruise fear of Whitebeard and the fear of the two-faced Sunyo itself. But they are more of a blind faith in Whitebeard. In this case, it's hard to say what the curse and evil of the two-faced Sunyo will be able to play. So, Mel first improves the basic attributes of the two-faced Sunyo. At this point Mel looked at the remaining reputation on the panel. In fact, he doesn't want the two-faced Sunyo to create big events too frequently. People's ability to accept things is stronger than imagined. When a person keeps creating big events in a short period of time, everything about him will easily become numb. This situation is not conducive to the subsequent acquisition of reputation points. And now the follow-up development of the two-faced Nyo has almost reached the boundary. Only one person's excessive strength will make people out of reach. People will become very special in their perception of him. As if everything is taken for granted. Only struggle can have real feeling. And according to this situation, then only the avatar can compete with the avatar. So Mel's plan is that multiple clones have authority in different forces and fields. Then their regular collision and interweaving guide the emotions of the world. This maximizes your reputation. And now is the time to do so. Acquisition of a new avatar. That's right, the acquisition of a new avatar requires millions of reputation points. These prestige points can be obtained from a single avatar or from multiple avatars. No doubt. At present, he has only one avatar with two faces, Sunyo. So just take it from him. Advertisement. Mel looked at the avatar mall that opened on the interface. Excludes spell feed that has already been purchased. The rest are still available for purchase. Stalker, 2000. Armament Hacky, 3000. Magician, 5000. Scalable Love, 10,000. Breath Cover, 3000. Look inside the ability. Mel finally nailed the guy. That person is more in line with his requirements. He walked out of the palace. Soon go to the island full of violent beasts through the pirate ship of the Nine Snake Pirates. Set foot on a certain location on this island alone. He started creating. The last step of the transition was done with ease. All five abilities were purchased by him. 23,000 points were spent. As the avatar is gradually created. Mel also quit the space. I saw a man with teardrop and star-shaped makeup painted on his face, his hair often standing up wantonly, and a coquettish and sexy man appeared. He slightly opened his eyes, which seemed to be crescent moons, and a wanton smile appeared on the corners of his mouth. Tongue licked his lips. He 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 he, are you my main body? You look so tempting. Welcome to this world, Hisoka. Mel ignored Hisoka's face which was beginning to look perverted. Smiling and stretched out his hand. 
P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 39 Hisoka's Attributes. Mel's Power Essence. Advertisement. After a few days. Combelt, an island full of beasts. Mel looked at the bird of prey going thousands of meters into the sky. I can't help but sigh that the magician is really convenient. In the past few days, Mel is also conducting special training for Hisoka. Up to now, Hisoka's attributes are as follows. Avatar, Hisoka. Strength, D+. Physique, C. Dexterity, D+. Spirit, C+. Abilities, Retractable Love, Class B. Magician, Class C. Breath Cover, Class C. Stalker, Class C. Skills, Armament Hacky, Class C. Physique, Class D. Reputation, Zero. Note, D. Attributes of ordinary people in the current world. Have to say. Compared with the two-faced Sunyo when he first went to see, Hisoka's panel looks much better. But this Posiso has benefited from the struggle of his predecessors. Directly five ability skills in one breath. Gain weight directly. Originally, his basic attributes were roughly the same as those of the two-faced Sunyo. It's just that only the spirit is D+, and the others are D. Armament Haki directly increased his physique and strength. After all, you need a certain foundation to use armed colors. So this skill directly complements his attributes to the minimum standard. Immediately afterwards, the magician added a spiritual attribute once. In the end, the flexible love gave another boost to the physique and spirit. Advertisement. And as the physique and strength reach the standard. Under the training of the past few days, its agility finally broke through the limit and improved once. By the way, he managed to comprehend physical skills to D-level. So in the end Hisoka reached the level of the above panel. Today's Hisoka can be said to be taking the route of confusing the enemy. Mel's ability to feel that stretching love might have developed that flimsy trick. In essence, they are actually different manifestations of the same ability. With this ability, it cooperates with the magician and breath cover. Hisoka's fighting style can also be imagined. It was the scene where Hisoka left just now. He rode off on one of the island's birds of prey, carrying with him some eternal pointers and a crystal ball that Mel had given him. The reason why he can tame a bird of prey, in addition to the reason of Mel, there is also the effect of his magician. Hisoka is now a magician's ability. The essence of its ability is mainly to perform visual and auditory deception and hypnosis. Hisoka used this effect to bombard the raptor with information and hypnosis. In the end he controlled a very good raptor. It's not a problem for the bird of prey to kill the pirates who offered Bailey a reward of tens of millions. To be honest, it is quite dangerous to control the raptor to drive in the sky. The weather on the Grand Line was very chaotic. Sometimes the weather is terrible. Then it will be really easy to stop cooking. It's just that it's not so dangerous here in Calm Belt. Unless a sea king's over a thousand meters in the sea suddenly appear to attack Hisoka. This kind of thing should be a small probability event for Hisoka who is flying in the sky. If he's really that unlucky Mel has nothing to say. This is also the path he chose. Watching the raptor going further and further away, Mel shook his head. Focus on yourself. Advertisement. He slowly stretched out his palm. A fantastic and colorful ball of light slowly rotated in his palm. Near the ball of light are two small balls of light slowly revolving around it. It's a manifestation of power deep within Mel's soul. The center light ball represents himself, while the two surrounding small balls are the two avatars, Sunyo and Hisoka. The full name of the system is the God Level Avatar System. Its purpose is to cultivate God Level clones. But this never means that the host Mel itself is redundant. Instead, Mel itself is the subject. The avatars created have inexplicable connections with him. This connection is very mysterious. As Mel grows stronger overall, he begins to have a grasp on this connection. Of course, these are very vague. Be specific about the benefits. Now the essence of Mel's own power is the sum of all clones plus himself. At the same time, he actually possesses all clone abilities. That means as long as he unlocks the true form of power, he will display a terrifying posture. And this power is usually hidden deep in his soul. It can be said that the strength of the avatar is closely related to the strength of Yamato. And Mel could sense that the sum wasn't the real horror. As long as one can gain insight into the nature of subsequent power. In the future, he might become unimaginably powerful. However, these are things of the future. Mel squeezed lightly. Small galaxies spinning in the palm dissipate directly. Now he has plenty of time. He just needs to play it safe. The rest is up to the avatars to work hard. Advertisement. He's also pretty good as a laid-back viewer. Mel turned and walked towards the shore. Soon, he returned to Amazon Lily Island. A training ground. Hancock watched Mel pass by. He immediately ran over and grabbed Mel's arm and said coquettishly, Brother Mel, can you help me exercise? I feel so tired by myself. Mel smiled and nodded at her words. The martial arts field is Mel's suggestion to Daughter Kingdom not long ago, although the people of this country are born to be trained as fighters. But the training system is not perfect, judging from the results. Although many female fighters can hacky, but every generation of strong men who can be famous is except for the emperor of this country. Most of the others can only be regarded as mediocre. There are so many powerful nine snakes who know hacky, but very few. Therefore, today's Mel builds a set of effective exercise methods with the core of Marine Six Styles life return through superb gymnastics. At the same time, a healing orb was given to treat possible dark wounds. To put it bluntly, this healing orb is actually Mel using the reversal technique to seal a large-scale life energy in a crystal ball. This kind of operation is actually impossible for Sunyo himself. Because the crystal ball was influenced and transformed by Mel's power, it has the property of storing life energy. At present, the two-faced Nyo has not been able to reach this level. In my spare time, it's also fun to sit on and watch these female fighters work out. Mel took Hancock's hand and walked slowly towards the group of training female warriors. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 40 Murloc Tiger. Are you underestimating me? Advertisement. Ten days later. A certain deserted island in the Grand Line. A tall red murloc collided with a group of pirates. His superb physical skills and strong strength. 
Destroy all those vicious pirates with powerful suppression. Damn it, this murloc is actually so strong. At this time, a tall pirate with a machete circled his mouth and his teeth were a little bit loose. He looked at the murloc seriously. He is Ronnie, the captain of the Ronnie pirates. A bounty of 44 million baileys is offered. Originally, he saw this tall red murloc, so he wanted to catch it and make a fortune. The murloc in front of him thought he cherished the variety, and thought he could sell it for a good price. I didn't expect this guy to be strong. It seems that he can only do it himself. Dirty murloc, surrender to Laozi obediently. Ronnie rushed forward with a big knife in his hand. The other younger brothers gave up their positions one after another when they saw it. After all their captain's machete is no joke. If it is hacked, it will be split into two halves and ascended to heaven. Watching the pirates not far away rushing over. Especially hearing what he had to say. The red murloc's face immediately sank. His name is Tiger, and he is an explorer from the Fishman Island. He didn't expect that he would be attacked by pirates for no reason when he rested on this deserted island. Hearing the words of the human being in front of him now ignited his anger even more. Murloc Karate Tang Kaoa Jing Kwan. Advertisement. A shockwave directly sent Ronnie flying. How is it possible? How could Captain Ronnie be defeated? The pirates of the Ronnie pirates yelled in disbelief. It's so noisy, Laozi is not dead yet. It's just not waiting for these pirates to flee. Not far away, Ronnie vomited blood and got up. Great, I knew Captain Ronnie was fine. That's right, he's a big pirate with a bounty of 44 million. How could he fall so easily? Ronnie puffed up his chest when he heard the flattery from his subordinates. It's just that a dull pain still lingers in the chest. Murloc, Laozi admits that you do have some strength. But Laozi was careless just now, don't think that you can easily defeat Laozi. I saw Ronnie talking. Body hair began to grow wildly. Just for a moment, a baboon appeared in front of everyone. Haha, <laughs> I saw the captain's ability again, Zoan baboon fruit, it's so powerful. That's right, it's hard to hurt the captain with an ordinary knife. This kind of defense is invincible. Tiger looked at the person in front of him with a little seriousness. Just when he was about to step forward, a bird song resounded in the sky. A giant eagle several meters long landed slowly. A figure jumped off the eagle's back. Let me see, there seem to be some cute little people here. They saw a coquettish and sexy man appearing in front of them, seeing the pervert look of this man licking his lips. Suddenly someone from the Ronnie pirates recognized him. It's Hisoka, the apple hunter, and this pervert is that apple hunter Hisoka. At this moment he exclaimed loudly. The expressions of the other members of the pirates couldn't help but change when they heard this. Advertisement. They also remembered. This decoration is so easy to recognize. As long as you have seen it once, you will basically be more impressed. Fruit hunter Hisoka, the bounty is 43 million baileys. Seeing this person coming, Ronnie showed a fearful expression on his face. This guy is a lunatic. This is a dangerous person who has popped up recently. It is rumored that this guy will keep hunting pirates and even marines. People who meet him need to pass his assessment. If the evaluation fails, a certain part will be missing, such as broken limbs or even death. And those who pass the assessment will be given the title of Apple and then let go. Therefore, this man was also given the nickname Apple Hunter. At the same time, he also has the title of the tester Hisoka. This guy is very dangerous. The craziest thing I have ever done is to take the pirate's head to the marine camp in exchange for a reward. At that time, it suddenly attacked the garrison. Zhang replied that he just felt bored. Just doing it out of boredom. This kind of nonsensical guy is simply a lunatic. It's too much. Just say I'm a pervert. A guy with no manners can die easily. At this moment, the pirate who spoke first saw Hisoka cast his eyes on himself. All of a sudden, I can't wait to slap myself in the mouth. Why are you so talkative? It would be terrible to be targeted by this pervert. Ronnie stepped forward when he saw this scene. Apple Hunter Hisoka, did you come here to test us? I advise you not to go too far, my bounty is not much different from yours. He said solemnly to the guy in front of him who looked a little perverted. Advertisement. If he could, he didn't want to provoke such a lunatic. Hisoka looked at the round-mouthed guy in front of him and shook his head. Then he turned his eyes to the silent murloc not far away. His eyes lit up all of a sudden. The corners of the mouth are slightly raised. What a nice look. Very nice, murloc. Looking at Hisoka in front of him, he spoke to the murloc defiantly completely disregarding his own statement. Ronnie seemed to feel that the subordinates around him were looking at him with dazzling eyes. He felt that his face was a little unstoppable. Are you underestimating me? Hisoka. I'm Ronnie the baboon. At this time, how can he maintain his majesty in front of his subordinates after he retreats directly? Although he is afraid of Hisoka, it doesn't mean he is afraid. No, I just think you are worthless. Isn't this underestimation? At this time, all the pirates around couldn't help complaining. Very good, very good. Then I'll let you see if I'm a big pirate with a reputation for nothing. I saw Ronnie yelling three times, and then clutching the big knife tightly. In an instant, he slashed towards Hisoka. Call out? When? The big knife cut across Hisoka directly to the ground. I saw a crack more than 10 meters long cut out on the ground. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 41 A Little Explosive? I must kill you. Advertisement. Disappeared. I saw the pirates of the surrounding Ronnie pirates staring in shock at the slowly becoming illusory figure. Ronnie looked around at this time and felt a little tricky. There was no sign of Hisoka around him now. Where did that guy go? It is rumored that Hisoka has the ability of illusion, and some people say that he has the ability of explosion. Now it seems that it should be the ability of phantom. What a hassle. Hisoka, come out. Come out to fight like a man, what's the point of hiding? At this time, Ronnie can only use the aggressive method. If it really doesn't work, he will attack the giant eagle. Although the giant eagle looks very big and not easy to mess with. But what's the use of being big? He even ran over sea beasts tens of meters in size. How can you be afraid of this kind of bird with a body length of several meters? I'm right behind you. When Ronnie heard this, he turned his head and saw Hisoka behind him. This time, he directly slashed at Hisoka without hesitation. Chi-chi, blood spurts, Captain Ronnie, Captain Ronnie. 
Many pirates started to shout. Ronnie watched in a daze as his arm flew away from his body with his knife. Blood also started gushing out. The attack could be felt coming from behind him. Ah, at this moment, Ronnie screamed as if waking up from a dream. He covered his wound with his other hand. How is it possible? How is it possible? At this moment, he was still looking at Hisoka, who was smiling at him. Advertisement. Obviously he was right in front of his eyes, but the attack came from behind. His eyes widened, and the figure in front of him suddenly drifted away. I said behind you. Familiar voices, familiar words. At the same time, he felt someone pat him on the back of the neck. This time Ronnie gritted his teeth and stopped whining. Instead of looking back, he jumped straight to the side, then looked towards the area where he was standing. Sure enough, Hisoka appeared again, holding a poker card in his hand. Is this also fake? Wrong? There was a clear sense of touch just now. It should be true. What a nice expression. Didn't you just run away in fright? Hearing Hisoka's words in front of him. Although the pirates around were terrified at this moment, they couldn't help being speechless. How on earth did you get the expression on the captain's current baboon face? Ronnie's baboon face darkened. Hisuo, I will never let you go. He was talking but didn't rush straight up. Instead, focus on the surroundings to prevent Hisoka from suddenly attacking from somewhere. Ah, you sound so wonderful. Hearing what Ronnie said, Hisoka showed a perverted look. Then continue talking. This time I will be merciful and let you go, waiting for your revenge. Let this arm of yours be a gift. Hear Hisoka's words. The members of the Ronnie pirates were all pleasantly surprised. Very good, you don't have to fight this monster anymore. Although they see in a daze, but they knew that their captain was directly crushed. It's just that one face-to-face -face arm is gone. Even if they go up to this kind of monster, what effect can they have? Their captain alone is worth more than half of the combat power of their pirate group. The captain is almost gone, and they have no will to resist at all. Advertisement. Hear Hisoka's words. Ronnie didn't hold back this time. He took a deep look at Hisoka, then turned his head and left. He didn't even pick up his own knife. His younger brother also hurriedly left. As for Tiger, the murloc, they had no time to care about it. Hisoka didn't pay attention to those guys either, but turned his attention to Tiger. At this time Tiger also felt heavy pressure. In his eyes, Hisoka sideways dodged Ronnie's attack at first. Then for some unknown reason, Ronnie suddenly raised a knife and slashed behind him. Then Hisoka directly cut the man's arm with the card in his hand, and then patted the man's back of the neck. Then he walked up to himself. And everyone else looked at the empty space. It looked extremely weird. What's up with this guy? At this moment, some sweat dripped from Tiger's forehead. While Tiger was concentrating, suddenly, there was an explosion in the distance. Boom, Captain Ronnie. Captain Ronnie. That's the direction Ronnie pirates left just now, that is, hear the noise from afar. Tiger wondered again, what's going on over there? You are very confused. It's nothing, you just put a little explosive on him. Hisoka narrowed his eyes slightly in front of Tiger. The index finger and thumb of one hand make a slight gesture. Hunter, this is an ability Hisoka particularly likes. You can put a mark on the target, and the release condition needs to touch the opponent. Then he can follow the marked target according to the range. From near to far, from being able to clearly know the approximate distance, to being able to only perceive the direction, to having no perception at all. Advertisement. And this ability is more than that. The marks placed on the opponent's body can be detonated like explosives. It's just that the power is a little small. But it can be fatal if the mark is on the fatal part and there is no defense at all. Of course, this detonation effect requires Hisoka to be closer. He couldn't detonate it if he was more than 200 meters away from Hisoka. And just now Ronnie was nearly 200 meters away. Hisoka detonated the mark directly. For Hisoka, if the pirate does not have the ability to undo the transformation within this distance, then it can still be rescued successfully. Ah, so he must hate him very much. But if the transformation is revoked, it means that the other party is not cautious. There's nothing he can do about it. Is this guy a devil? I just said let it go, but then I changed my mind. What a capricious madman. He looked at Hisoka who looked at him with a pervert smile in front of his eyes. Tiger couldn't hold back anymore. The other side. Ronnie fell to the ground, surrounded by sluggish pirates. At this moment, his consciousness was a little fuzzy. The blood on the neck soaked the black hard hair. He recalled the last scene. That figure patting his neck. Yes, it is him. Hisoka? 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 The murmured voice seemed to echo in his head. Eyes that were originally closed suddenly stared. I must kill you. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 42 without strength. I can't protect anything, so I leave the scene by myself. Advertisement. What do you want? Tiger looked at the man in front of him and said. Well, it's nothing. Relax. Don't be nervous. Come on, let me test your strength first. Hearing the tone of the person in front of him as if coaxing a child. Tiger's heart was dignified, and he had no intention of relaxing at all. This time I'm afraid it will be more or less ominous. If you encounter this kind of pervert, it will be impossible not to fight now. Tiger took off the backpack on his back. Then strike a pose. A sudden impact towards Hisoka. Murloc Karate Tang Kaoa Jing Kwan. A long time. Tiger fell to the ground on his back. There were bloodstains and wounds all over his body. Blood soaked the ground. At this moment, he felt that he might die here. Hisoka, on the other hand, leaned against a big tree and looked at the fallen tiger with a smile. He came over slowly. I can feel your deep will. Is it carrying some kind of sad past? Or is it the dissatisfaction with a certain phenomenon? Hisoka's seductive voice came from beside his ear. Tiger's pupils shrank slightly after hearing it. Hisoka, who had been observing him, laughed out loud. You are a murloc. This world seems not very friendly to murlocs. So, what are you on land for? For freedom, to escape from my identity as a murloc, or for my own race. Hisoka looked at Tiger's expression. Advertisement. It seems to be for my own race. So, do you want to change the status quo? He stuck out his tongue and licked the corner of his mouth. But, this world is respected by force. You are so weak, what qualifications do you have to change the status quo? It's up to you to find it now, or do you have to pray? Pray for some kind of miracle. Hisoka's words weakened Tiger's inner persistence. Let me tell you, Murloc. Everything in this world is not obtained by asking for it. Only by being strong can one gain everything. 
For example, I'm going to destroy the Fishman Island now. Hearing Hisoka's words, Tiger suddenly widened his eyes. His fist clenched suddenly. Ah, uh, do you want to stop? With what? With your feeble fist. Or, go pray to the world government, pray to the marine. Hisoka suddenly laughed out loud. He he he, give up unrealistic ideas. Without power, you can't protect anything. Yes, nothing can be protected without power. Tiger only felt that his inner persistence was broken down. He he he, let me give you a deadline. Next time we meet, hey, if you can't meet what I want. Hisoka showed a pervert smile and narrowed his eyes slightly, and then uttered chilling words. Then I will go to your hometown, the Fishman Island, and kill 10,000 murlocs. He patted Tiger on the shoulder. You may be able to take a little chance. Can I do it? He stood up and walked towards the giant eagle. Then he took out a small book from his body and threw it on Tiger's chest. Finally he waved his hand and said, Advertisement. Exercise hard, Tiger. I am looking forward to your growth, young little apple. After half a sound, watching the giant eagle drifting away, Tiger struggled to stand up. Pick up the notebook that the weirdo left on him. Then open it and have a look. The fine text is densely packed. The above records are the perfect practice methods of Haki and Teijetsu. Look at this thing. Tiger's heart began to be complicated. That guy? What kind of person is he? He couldn't help but look at the distant figure. Um, that direction is. At this moment Tiger suddenly remembered something. Horrified. He wouldn't really plan to do that. The other side. The bustling port of an island. Great treasures and treasures were brought to the ports from the national cities of the islands. Then it was loaded onto a huge ship. There are also several marine warships guarding the port. A ship is loaded with untold treasure and tribute. Today is the day this country pays the heavenly gold. And this ship is loaded with heavenly gold from several countries in the surrounding area. The surrounding area is about this period. At this time, people on the buildings in the port secretly watched the transported treasures. Especially some pirates. Also salivating. But they dare not act at all. Marine, not to mention the guards, has its headquarters, Rear Admiral. This is the gold in the sky alone, which has already blocked the appetite of the pirates. Advertisement. Ordinary pirates dare not peek at this kind of thing. Not to mention whether it can be snatched, even if it is really snatched, it will face the danger of death without a place to die. Those who have no self-knowledge have sunk to the bottom of the sea. Chirp. A long cry resounded through the sky. The marines on the ships, the people transporting treasures in the port, and the people in the port construction couldn't help but look up at the sky. I saw a huge eagle-like bird falling towards the port. Da da da. A figure in a strange costume slowly came out from behind the bird. That, that's Apple Hunter Hisoka. A big pirate with a bounty of 43 million. I heard that when he appears, a giant eagle will land. But why is he here now? Many people recognized Hisoka when they saw him from a distance. After all, it is quite popular in this area these days. On a marine warship, Marine Rear Admiral Pomos, who was in charge of the escort job this time, frowned and looked at Hisoka not far away. This guy is not here to hijack Tian Shengjin. No, I shouldn't be so stupid. At this moment, Pomos immediately denied it after doubting it. Who dares to touch something like gold in the sky? Even the overlords of the New World don't want to make a fuss. Not to mention the position in the first half of the Grand Line. This is where the marine power projection is the greatest. Who would risk their lives to hijack Tian Shengjin? Marine and the lackeys of the world government, I will accept the gold here, get out of here. The person in front of him said with a smile. The keen hearing marine rear admiral also opened his eyes. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 43 The big event of gold being robbed in the sky. The root of all evil. Advertisement. The next day, an urgent report began to spread around the world along with Newsbird. Big event. The gold in the sky was robbed, and the vicious pirate supernova apple hunter Hisoka, all over the world began to seething. What is wrong with this world? Celestial dragons have been tied before. Immediately after, heavenly gold was robbed. And this time it wasn't the two-faced Nyo who made trouble. Instead, it's a new pirate supernova. Many people are beginning to feel that the storm is coming. A lot of big things happened during this time. But basically they are two-faced Sunyo's solo show. Now a new face suddenly appeared to make such a big event. And this face looks very pervert. It immediately attracted people's attention. Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford. Sora, what's going on with Hisoka? Last time, the two-faced Sunyo kidnapped the Celestial Dragons. This time, Hisoka robbed the Heavenly Gold. Next time, someone should go to the Holy Land to take our heads. I don't care what method you Marines use, send this damn guy to impel down right now. Don't make any more mistakes. Otherwise, you won't be the Marine Marshal. With a scolding from the phone bug, eventually got hung up on. Sora looked at the phone bug in front of him, his face darkened. Although he knew that last sentence was five elders' angry words. But this attitude speaks volumes. Looking at the scene outside the window, he sighed leisurely. Didn't expect the impact of the two-faced Nyo to be experienced so soon. Now there are people who are so bold as to hijack Tian Shengjin. Advertisement. The original reward of tens of millions suddenly jumped to hundreds of millions. If this man is not captured as soon as possible, the other pirates are probably ready to move. Moreover, Marine's prestige will also decline in the hearts of civilians all over the world. Kong thought for a while. At the beginning, the convener was going to lay a net against Sisuabu. The first half of the Grand Line, Saveati Archipelago, Shaki's Drum Barbar. Rayleigh looked at the newspaper in his hand and couldn't help but sigh. I didn't expect a new pirate supernova to appear in a short period of time, and dare to plunder the heavenly gold of celestial dragons? How courageous. Shaki poured a glass of wine beside him and shook it casually. It's not the right time for Hisoka to become famous. She took a sip and said, It's not long since the last time the celestial dragons were tied up. Now there is another incident of stealing gold from the sky, the world government must be angry now. I think this Hisoka won't be as powerful as the two-faced Sunyo, and it's only a matter of time before he gets arrested. Rayleigh couldn't help touching when he heard Shucky talk about the two-faced Nyo. The guy with two sides Sunyo is a monster, how could another one pop up all of a sudden? However, this boy is not easy. He is very powerful to defeat a marine fleet by himself. He picked up his glass and drank it down. And he has a bird that can carry people. If he uses it properly, he may be able to escape the marines roundup. Hear what Rayleigh said. Shucky nodded. Maybe. A huge ship that looks like an island. 
The vibe of its island is eerie. Strange trees, tombstones, and some walking corpses. Here is one of the largest ships in the world. Advertisement. Its name is Thriller Bark. In one of the castles above, a very tall man who looked like a devil, with two horns on his forehead, was sitting on a rocking chair, wondering what to do. He is Gecko Moria, one of the legitimate pirates seven warlords of the sea recognized by the world government. After a while, he picked up the newspaper on the side table. Hisso, alone again. At this moment, Moria looked at the photo in the newspaper with a perverted smile in a daze. Does it look so happy? Why is a person still so happy? Is he wrong? New world. On an island. Sunyo on both sides sat leisurely on the high mountain. He looked at the newspaper in his hand. The corners of his mouth parted in an evil grin. Interesting, it seems that qualified guys are coming. Grand line, New World. New World Wanakuni Oni Island. Ooh. Kaido couldn't help laughing while reading the newspaper. Are all the brats so bold now? How dare they hijack the heavenly gold? Not bad, he said and took a drink from the glass in his hand. Yin stood quietly by the side. There are two sides of Sunyo kidnapping celestial dragons, and now someone is plundering the heavenly gold. It seems that it is not so difficult to accept. It's just compared to this Hisoka. Advertisement. Yin pays more attention to the two-faced Sunyo. After that man came to New World. Two groups of big pirates went up to challenge and were easily defeated. Among them is a big pirate with more than 600 million people. Because of this, some big pirates who originally thought that the two-faced Sunyo was just an exaggerated generation died down one after another. But he has been informed. Two-faced Sunyo's ship is suspected to have been destroyed by a terrible storm. I don't know what happened to that man now. New World. On a large marine warship. Akina looked at the newspaper in his hand and frowned. Pirate supernova apple hunter Hisoka has a bounty of 300 million baileys. This is nothing to Akina at all. What he is concerned about is that in a short period of time, pirates have begun to imitate the behavior of the two-faced Sunyo. This kind of behavior confirms the seditiousness of the two-faced Sunyo to the pirates. He is like a flag that makes the pirates start to move around. Akina's arm started to emit some red light, and the newspaper was set on fire in one fell swoop. Oof, this guy is the root of all evil, let me deal with you next. His fleet is heading in one direction. Marine's intelligence received that the ship of the two-faced Sunyo was suspected to be destroyed by a storm. Now, Akina's fleet is heading for that sea, going to search the island there. It doesn't matter if you don't find it. If he found it, he would inevitably have to have a fight with the two-faced Sunyo. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 44 Hisoka's promotion. I want to draw. Advertisement. Another day. Come belt. Amazon Lily. Moore was staying in the palace at this time, sitting on a sofa. He picked up a cup of coffee and drank it leisurely. Gently blow hot air. He took a sip and savored it slowly. Then put the cup down. Skillfully opened Hisoka's panel. Avatar, Hisoka. Strength, C+. Physique, B. Agile, C+. Spirit, B+. Abilities, Retractable Love, Class B. Magician, Class B. Breath Cover, Class B. Stalker, Class B. Skills, Armament Hacky, Class B. Physical Arts, Class C. Reputation, 456,648. Note, D. Attributes of ordinary people in the current world. Earlier, Hisoka was looking for fun. So his improvement is not fast. One after another, more than 50,000 reputation points were obtained. Adding several abilities and skills is almost used. This time Hisoka choked up directly. Hijack the gold in the sky. Get a lot of attention at once. Looking at the prestige value of more than 400,000 now, more began to add points to Hisoka. The first is to upgrade the flexible love to A level. After reaching A level, this ability begins to have some special changes. As Mel's sense of connection with Hisoka and the two-faced Sunyo becomes stronger. Now he can quickly sense a force synchronizing from Hisoka. Can more effectively grasp the subtle changes in the power of each clone. Advertisement. In addition to enhancing the original basis, the A-level flexible love is enhanced. It can also imitate the normal use of the body. With the improvement of this ability, physical and mental attributes also began to improve. Immediately afterwards, he continued to upgrade the magician, and his spiritual attribute was raised to A. In addition, armament hacky is also promoted to a rank. Strength and fitness have been improved to B and B plus respectively. Another hundred thousand was used to cover the breath. This ability is still relatively easy to use. Although Hisoka has not comprehended observation hacky yet, as long as he has this ability, he doesn't have to worry about the enemy having observation hacky. As a skill specializing in breath concealment, this ability can almost completely weaken the perception of the same level of knowledge. It also has some miraculous effects on the upper level of knowledge and knowledge, especially the ability of magician and flexible love. Very confusing. So far, a total of 400,000 reputation points have been spent on the four abilities and skills. Look at the remaining 50,000 prestige points. It took 10,000 to upgrade physical skills to B level. In the end, it took 15,000 yuan to make up the basic attribute strength and agility to B+. Subsequent Hisoka's attributes also took on a new look. Avatar, Hisoka. Strength, B+. Physique, B+. Dexterity, B+. Spirit, A. Abilities, Stretchable Love, Class A, Magician, Class A, Breath Cover, Class A, Stalker, Class B. Skills, Armament Hacky, Class A, Physique, Class B. Reputation, 31,648. Note, D. Attributes of ordinary people in the current world. This basic attribute is not considered high, but Hisoka now relies on his ability to make a living. Cooperate with his multiple abilities. Advertisement. It is difficult for ordinary strongmen to catch even his clothes Kakuzu. This time Marine will also send strongmen to capture Hisoka. After all, that guy followed the Celestial Dragons event of the Two-Faced Sunyo, and this heavenly gold event came. The world government must attach great importance to it. The blow may be bigger, but Mel didn't care about that. Through contacting him, he has faintly perceived Hisoka's restlessness. Hisoka is also very happy to see this situation. After all his goal is there. It was a success. The prestige value needed for the next third avatar will also be available. Turn off Hisoka's properties. Mel set his sights on the panels on both sides. 
He has already accumulated 280,000 reputation points. This is the prestige brought to him by the two great pirates these days. His current bounty is too high, and it is a matter of course for others to defeat a big pirate of that level, so the reputation points he can get are not high. This is exactly the disadvantage of standing too high and the frequency of exposure is too high. Leaving aside this point, this time the two-faced Nyo can be regarded as relatively unlucky. His ship was dismembered in a thunderstorm. Two-faced Sun Nyo himself doesn't really care. He directly found a nearby island and lay down on it. Pure in tourism in general. This guy is free and easy, and Mel doesn't restrain him. Just do whatever you want. There is plenty of time. Click. There was a knock on the door. A small head stuck in. I saw Hancock's eyes met Mel's. That's when Hancock noticed Mel was looking at him. He stuck out his tongue embarrassingly. Advertisement. Brother Mel, can I come in? She stretched out her hand and tickled her cheek and asked embarrassedly. Aren't you all in here? Mel asked back with a smile. He was fine with Hancock's sudden arrival. Only he can see the panel. So he doesn't shy away from anything? Heard Mel didn't object to a promise. Hancock jumped in. Bouncing on to Mel. Hee hee, brother Mel will play with me today, okay. Mel patted her head. He didn't answer directly, but asked rhetorically. Have you finished your homework today? It's done? I practiced very hard, and sister Xiao Lan couldn't beat me this time. Xiao Lan is one of the female warriors that Mel selected to train among some children in daughter country. Aged 13, three years older than Hancock. Hancock waved his two small fists and said cutely. Really? It's amazing? Then what do you want to play? Mel looked at Hancock's cute look, and pinched her cheek too. Woo, I want to draw. Can brother Mel be a model for me? Look at the way she folded her hands together please. Mel couldn't help but smile a little. It's hard to imagine that this little girl will become that haughty in the future. Okay. Hancock was also very happy to see Mel agree. That way she could spend more time with brother Mel. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 45 Aokiji Attack. Do you want to die? Advertisement. Two days later. In a sea area in the first half of the Grand Line. Above the thriller bark. An eagle chirped. I saw a giant eagle landed on this gloomy island-like place from the distant sky. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Hisoka jumped off the eagle's back. His footsteps were clearly audible in the air. Footsteps sounded eerie in this gloomy place. One of the largest ships in the world, the Thriller Bark, is really big here. Hisoka looked at the distant border around him. There is also a hook at the corner of the mouth. Gekko Moria, the big pirate who once entered New World and fought against Kaido of the Beasts, let me see what he is capable of. He started walking towards the inner area. On the sea not far from Thriller Bark. On a large warship. Aokiji listened lazily to the report of the adjutant in front of him. Wait for him to report. He nodded, then swung the adjutant back. Alala, it seems that this time I won the first prize. Aokiji looked at the distant black spot on the sea. It also feels very subtle. Recently, the pirate supernova Hisoka caused the robbery of the gold in the sky. The world government above is very dissatisfied. So this time Marine delineated Hisoka's activity route. According to the area where he is located, the Marines in a large area around him are mobilized. Among them, he and Kizuro including other digital vice admiral participated. For a lone pirate supernova, this is already a big deal. And currently, advertisement. Before the adjutant reported. From a distance he saw a black spot where a bird landed in the distance. Now combine the information from the adjutant just now. He's afraid he's hit the jackpot. It seems that this time it is inevitable to do it. Aokiji stared at the black spot in the distance. Hisoka who appeared on a nearby island. As well as, the Thriller Bark, one of the largest ships in the world, is now the domain of Gekko Moria, one of the Shishibukai. Thinking about the rumors about Hisoka. Is his target Gekko Moria, one of the Shishibukai? It seemed that he was going to win by force this time. Aokiji thought to himself. While Aokiji was thinking, his warship also began to head towards the Thriller Bark in the distance with full force. The other side, Gekko Moria, one of the Shishibukai, is rocking in a rocking chair. At this time, his eyes were a little dull. Like being immersed in a certain atmosphere. Sudden. Clatter, 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 there was an urgent knock on the door. A reckless voice sounded. Master, master, master is not good. Hearing this voice, Moria also came back to her senses. His expression changed. Said impatiently. The door outside is open, don't knock. Hey, is that so? There was a shocked answer from outside the door. Advertisement. It took a while. With the sound of the door creaking, finally the door opened. A zombie who looked like he was wearing a pirate hat and was not much different from ordinary minions walked in. He even lost one of his eyes. Master, master, master is not good. Watching him dawdling for a long time before opening the door. Moria was speechless at the intelligence of the zombies in front of her. I'm fine now, what the hell is going on? Looking at the impatient expression of the owner in front of him, the zombie is still beating his nerves. Master, are you really fine now? How can I see that your face is not right? Could it be that he's sick? Hey, why does his face look even uglier? He heard the zombies in front of him chattering about something. Moria's face darkened. One slap knocked the zombie against the wall. Slowly slide down with this zombie. Moria was also furious. Shut up, tell Laozi something useful. In the end, the zombie began to report information somewhat submissively. A strange person came to the island just now. A lot of zombies were knocked down by him. Some even had their heads fall off. It's me who was young, and I ran back to report the letter without fear of hardships and dangers. Fortunately I ran fast. Otherwise my head would fall off. The master won't be able to see me then. Seeing this guy in front of me is useful except for the first two sentences. Everything else is crap. Chattering like a chatterbox. Moria just felt a little irritated. He didn't know if the shadow he used was due to chatterbox. But he felt that maybe he should change the shadow of this zombie. He doesn't like being silly and chattering otherwise. Advertisement. Moria stood up. Tall and tall, it seemed a bit crowded in the castle. He directly raised a machete from the corner, and then ignored the chattering zombies in front of him. Go straight to the outside. It was enough for him to know now that there was an enemy invasion. Are those pirates who don't know the heights of the sky and the depths of the earth? Let him come and baptize them. Then, become his strength. With Moria going, he was beginning to feel the commotion. Clatter, clatter, clatter. A coquettish and sexy man came into his eyes with calm steps. Watch this man appear. 
Moria was shocked inwardly. It's him, the man who recently robbed the gold in the sky, didn't expect to come here. Are you Gecko Moria? You look so tall. Ah, such a tall body should be very durable when trampled. He heard the man in front of him say this with a smile on his face. Moria's expression changed. Just a pirate who just became famous. How dare you be so arrogant to him. He 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 he, I can't pretend I didn't hear you, Apple Hunter Hisoka. How dare you come to Laozi's territory? Do you want to die? P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 46 Can you stop this trick? You are general. Advertisement. Looking at the guy in front of him, he still looked defiant. Moria continued to sneer. I heard the marine is after you. Now you should be running back and forth like a bereaved dog. Did you come to my place in a panic? In that case, let me tell you what real horror is. Looking at the condescending attitude of Moria in front of her, Hisoka couldn't help but licked his lips. Ah, uh, I hope you can still be so confident after a while. Come on. I can't wait. Seeing Hisoka in front of him holding a poker card in his hand, Moria sneered directly. Do you want to fight me with just a poker card? Can you resist this move? I saw Moria swiping his machete vigorously at Hisoka. A slash went straight towards Hisoka. Today's Moria is not completely sunk. He's still in shape. Possessing great strength, he can directly swing powerful slashes with tyrannical strength. This is not the power of a swordsman, but just a symbol of brute force. Boom, 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 there was the sound of the building collapsing. I saw a small building obliquely behind Hisoka being affected, directly cut in half. The building slid down the cracks with a loud rumbling sound. This is. At this moment Moria looked at Hisoka and frowned. He just saw Jean Ji pass through Hisoka directly. It looked completely off the mark. Is this an illusion? Moria remembered Hisoka's rumors. Hisoka is rumored to be able to use the power of phantoms, and the newspapers have another nickname, Phantom Hisoka. He will feel powerless from the bottom of his heart against his enemies. It seems that there is no way to touch it. Advertisement. Moria frowned. Strength is not bad, but just strength is not enough. Hisoka, who was in front of Moria, said with a smile. Then a playing card flew through the air and rushed towards Moria. When? Moria slashed over casually. Only a crisp sound was heard. This hardness? Moria's expression changed. Looking at the way it fell to the ground and was blown up by the wind. Armament hacky, I didn't expect you to be able to hacky, and you look very strong. Moria's expression was a little complicated, because it reminded him of the past. Since that incident, his hacky was starting to weaken as he sank. Now he starts to pay more attention to ability and ignore hacky. Your expression looks really complicated. What? Do you remember any sad past? Hisoka said happily. Simultaneously, sheets of playing cards vibrated towards Moria. It's annoying. Looking at Hisoka's contemptuous gesture, Moria was a little annoyed. Lift the big knife and directly block these playing cards. Immediately rushed up and slashed directly at Hisoka. Boom, the ground was directly smashed and cracked countless cracks. Hisoka, however, was still unharmed. Seeing that he still didn't touch him, Moria senses directly using observation hacky. No breath. It seemed that the guy in front of him was indeed a phantom. He senses towards the periphery. But there was no sign of Hisoka at all. What happened? Advertisement. Why can't I feel it? Obviously there was an attack just now, so he should be nearby. Moria began to calm down. It doesn't matter if you can't perceive it, as long as you can judge its source from the attack trajectory of his playing cards. He held the big knife in his hand to be vigilant about his surroundings. Call out? Call out? Another two playing cards flew out. Over there? This time Moria didn't directly block with the knife. Instead, blocked the attack directly with armament hacky. At the same time, the machete directly cut two slashes across the position where the poker flew over. Boom, 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 the slash directly crossed an open space and cut off more than ten trees in the forest behind. Moria looked at the ground and there was still no trace. What happened? He suddenly felt something was wrong. The cards cut on his body did not fall off. Suddenly he felt a sense of danger. I saw that all the playing cards cut by him around were shot at him. Includes two playing cards glued to him. His whole body was covered with more than 20 playing cards at once. Boom, 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 under Moria's pupil shrink. There was an explosion. With a burst of explosions in the past, Moria seemed to be billowing with black smoke. What ability is this? Explosions and illusions are completely irrelevant abilities. Could it be that those cards contain explosives? Moria seemed to be full of doubts. Advertisement. Hisoka, who was not far away, also began to smile. Tisk tisk tisk. It's good to have armament hacky, but no, it's not injured. Watching Hisoka sneering there. Moria's face also became ugly. Don't think that you will win? It's just a trick. Do you think you will be fine if you keep hiding? Let me show you my ability? Hisoka. I saw Moria talking. His shadow began to split and flew up from the ground. Flying bats. No matter how he hides, as long as he still has a body, as long as he is still around, then it cannot be hidden absolutely. I saw a group of bats began to circle around Moria and search outwards. Is there. Moria perceives a strange location through the split bat at this time. A slash flew towards there in an instant. Boom, boom. The slash slashed across the building again and roared. Cut. Have you been dodged? Snapped. 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 Hisoka was seen clapping. Not bad, it seems that you still have a little level. Seeing Hisoka say that, Moria also felt aggrieved. He had been dawdling here with a newcomer for so long, and it was exaggerated in turn. How underestimated he is. With the restlessness in Moria's heart. Those shadow bats search harder? It's really hard work, but ah, uh, you have already been generalized. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 47 Moria's new clothes. Aokiji arrives. Advertisement. What? Hearing Hisoka's words, Moria subconsciously asked back. Next moment. Under the shrinking of his pupils, I saw a new dress suddenly appeared on his body. The whole suit covers him tightly except his head. 
On the other hand, Hisoka licked his lips and said with a smile, Is it a surprise? Is it a surprise? Do you think this dress looks good? Does it fit well? I heard the phantom talking to himself. Moria only felt countless wells popping out of her forehead. Although he didn't know what happened just now. Why did I have such a strange dress on my body? But, is this guy underestimating himself? As if seeing Moria's expression. Hisoka squinted at Moria. That expression seemed to be looking at something strange. Made Moria very uncomfortable. Ah, uh, I'm not looking down on you. Remember the card explosion just now? Did you see the red dots on the clothes? Listening to Hisoka's prompt, Moria looked down at the dense red dots on the dress. As if thinking of something, cold sweat began to break out on his forehead. A red dot represents an explosion, so what about 100,000 red dots here? Can you bear it? I saw Hisoka smiled and said very scary words. So the fireworks are ready. 3, 2, 1. During Hisoka's countdown, Moria hastily put down the knife in her hand. With both hands, he tore at the strange clothes on his body. However, the clothes on his body were like mucus, which could not be torn apart. In the end Moria used armament hacky to the fullest in desperation. Boom, 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 there were endless explosions. Advertisement. Ah, uh, the voice, the sight. It's amazing. I saw Hisoka posing strangely there. There was an indescribable expression on his face. Slowly over time, the sound of the explosion also died down. Boom, a huge figure fell to the ground. I saw Moria exhaling white smoke and lying on the ground covered in black smoke. Am I defeated again? Moria's consciousness felt a little fuzzy. His memory began to flow, came to the picture that he remembers the most. It was a scene that broke his heart. Ooh, why? The tall and unspeakable figure looked down at him. Really, a life of failure. As his final consciousness freezes, a small figure occupies his last sight. Perona, 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 clatter, 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 alala, didn't expect Gecko Moria, one of the Shishibukai, to be defeated. I saw Aokiji walking over slowly. He looked at Moria, who was lying unconscious on the ground. I saw a little tear in the corner of his eye. Will pirates like Moria cry when they are defeated? How strange. Aokiji shook his head without thinking too much. Instead, he fixed his gaze on Hisoka. Apple Hunter Hisoka, I can't let you do whatever you want this time. Can I trouble you to catch him without a hand? Advertisement. Looking at Aokiji in front of him, Hisoka also showed a deeper smile. He raised his head slightly. He put on a pose, with a pervert-like look on his face. Ah, uh, is it Marine's monster, Vice Admiral Aokiji? It looks so tempting. Looking at the perverted guy in front of him, Aokiji also touched his head with some headaches. What a strange fellow. However, I advise you to surrender obediently. Otherwise, I won't be able to control the severity of the attack. Hearing the threat from Marine in front of him, Hisoka didn't say much. Instead, he threw a card at him. Ice Cube Storm Pheasant Mouth. Aokiji threw a huge iceberg directly in that direction. It freezes instantly together with the playing cards. Didn't hit anyone? His knowledgeable eyes glanced back and forth. At the same time, he began to recall Hisoka's information in his heart. Visions and explosions. It sounds irrelevant, but Devil Fruit is full of oddities. Having this ability is not unusual for Marine. But, can't even capture observation hacky? What a powerful ability. Then, let me be serious. I saw that the solace of Aokiji's feet began to freeze towards the perimeter. Clatter? Aokiji who sensed an abnormality in one location. I saw him wave his hand. A series of ice arrows shot towards that direction at high speed. When? I saw a figure appearing in the void. Did you find it? Puck. I saw several huge ice streams surging and sweeping towards the surrounding area of that position. The figure that appeared also disappeared. Hisoka suddenly appeared at the edge of the sweeping range of the ice stream. Advertisement. His arms were caked with ice. Even with the protection of armament hacky, the chill still surged through his arms. This power is so wonderful. Monster Vice Admiral Aokiji, I like you so much. Looking at the guy whose arm was frozen, he still had this look on his face. Aokiji couldn't help saying, I don't want to be taken by a guy like you. However, your ability is very dangerous, let's go to impel down. Aokiji recognized Hisoka's ability, can evade his observation hacky search, true and false, and it has an explosion effect. This ability is very dangerous to other marines. Fortunately, he met this time. Other than Polis Alino, if other marine vice admirals were to be found in this search, it would be a disaster. After all, the Gecko Moria next to him was planted. That explains the situation very well. Frozen time capsule. Aokiji spoke in one fell swoop. A trail of ice surged out from the solace of his feet towards Hisoka. Hisoka's feet were directly frozen. Wrong? Aokiji keenly felt a certain heat and cold approaching him. Aokiji with ice is very sensitive to heat. He will count on it. Boom, I saw a fist hit Aokiji's stomach. It hurts. Will it be armament hacky? And this level of armament hacky? The current rookie is really not like a rookie? At this time, he suffered a dark loss, but he didn't suffer much injury. After all, there is a unique Logia defense mechanism plus his strong physique. Frozen hour. P.S. Sorry, the status is not good today, only the fourth update, no manuscript has been saved, so don't doubt it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 48 Sending Impel Down, Mel's Power. Advertisement. Following the trend, Aokiji fell towards the invisible figure in front of him. Open your hands as if holding something. An astonishingly cold air emanated from his body. A circle of ice cubes also formed on the solace of the feet. I saw an ice sculpture began to emerge. It was Hisoka's ice sculpture. And the phantom about Hisoka around Aokiji also disappeared. It's over. He looked at Hisoka, who still had a pervert smile on his face even though he was an ice sculpture. Aokiji feels weird, but he didn't care too much. No matter what Hisoka thinks, now he is a prisoner in a cage. Then just send this guy into impel down and everything will be fine. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Aokiji walks to a tree. Take off the cloak that was hanging directly on the big tree from the beginning. Take out a trembling phone bug from it. It seemed that the freezing atmosphere around him made the little guy shiver. Aokiji called Marshal Sora from naval headquarters. The matter will be reported soon. One more thing, Shishibukai Gekko Moria was knocked down. What to do now? Aokiji looked at Moria who was lying on the ground not far away and said, 
Advertisement. The Shishibukai system is a system used by the world government to suppress the rampant pirates. This system has been in place for a long time. Most Shishibukai will hover in the first half of the Grand Line. In this area, the new generation of pirates will be attracted by Shishibukai's name and challenge them. But those who can serve as Shishibukai in New World are very powerful pirates. The ordinary new generation faces them to deliver food. In this case, the rampant pirates have been curbed to a certain extent. It's just that this system is not a just choice for Marine. It's just that the world government can only compromise. Moreover, although Shishibukai is known as a running dog of the government, the fact is that once he is caught, he will be eliminated. That is to say, you can't expose your weaknesses. And now Moria is in the stage of being slaughtered. Gecko Moria. Sora murmured from the phone bug in front of Aokiji's eyes. Today, the pattern of New World has not yet formed the pattern of the four emperors of the later generations, and there is no object that must be restrained. In addition, the era of great pirates has not long started, and many great pirates are still in a hot state for the big secret treasure of One Piece Roger. So they also scoff at being Shishibukai. Various factors have caused Shishibukai to not be fully compiled. Today's Shishibukai candidates are relatively rare. Sora doesn't pay much attention to Shishibukai either. Send him to impel down with Hisoka, charge him with assaulting Marine. After pondering for a while, Sora finally made a decision. Shishibukai, who was defeated by the new generation, probably does not meet the requirements of the world government. After all, there is no serious situation these days, so there is no need to keep Gekko Moria. Just recruit the new Shishibukai when the time comes. As for the Shishibukai system, Marine Sora naturally doesn't like it very much. Therefore, to be able to weaken him will naturally not deliberately maintain it. Advertisement. Understood. Aokiji nodded and hung up the bug. Although I am a little displeased with this practice of placing the outcome on him at will. But banning a Shishibukai always requires some excuse. Amazon Lily. In a palace, Mel looked at Aokiji and the frozen Hisoka in the video with some subtlety. It seems that Hisoka is going to go down impel down. If this guy really wants to run at the beginning, there are actually quite a few probabilities. The cover of A-level breath makes it difficult for the immature A-level observation Haki to capture Hisoka's breath. Magicians, on the other hand, are able to interfere with the effects of vision, hearing, and hypnosis, making it difficult for Aokiji to see through his activities as well. Of course magicians are not without their flaws. It is aimed at creatures, which means it needs to have a launch distance. The farther the distance, the worse the effect. Therefore, it is possible for Hisoka to be spotted by Aokiji if he leaves a certain distance. After all, the essence of a magician is not invisibility. But now Hisoka's stretchable love ability can already imitate the shape. You can even make clothes directly for Moria to wear. Now he can also form a scene similar to the surrounding environment on his body surface, a bit like a chameleon. Therefore, with the cooperation of multiple abilities, he really wanted to run away at first. Aokiji has a high probability of not being able to catch it. Unless Aokiji understood Hisoka's difficulty from the beginning. Directly start the large-scale attack of frantic bombardment to find clues. Although Hisoka has many abilities, the use of these abilities requires precision, so it takes a lot of effort. Even Hisoka couldn't maintain the precise display of his abilities under the conditions of heavy bombing. Advertisement. Watching the new marine start to arrive in the video, Mel turned off the video and walked out of the palace. Tell Meshal directly. Then, in a corner, with a colorful light show, Mel directly hollowed out the invisible energy and followed the invisible connection. Just a blink of an eye, appeared in the palace not far from Hisoka. The multicolored light condenses into a human form. He arrived at the thriller bark from the Amazon Lily in the comm belt. Now Mel, who is gradually beginning to grasp the connection of clones, can do this kind of thing like teleportation. Hollow project your own body directly to the vicinity of the avatar. It is a new function that he has begun to master. It's just that the disadvantage is that it can only be transmitted to the surroundings of the avatar. Now he had to make his way back to Amazon Lily. Today's Mel is like a node connecting clones. This teleportation is also only a trivial function. The other is resurrection. If the avatar dies, the Mel node can automatically send him power to revive him. This transmission is very gentle, if Mel didn't deliberately control it, it would take about a year to be resurrected. Besides, if Mel himself dies, all clones will automatically send power along the connection to bring him back to life. Although there is a high probability that it will not be used. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 49 Corona. Can I call you brother? Advertisement. Mel walked casually out of the castle. Walk in one direction. The marine who came to the scene was putting sea stone handcuffs on the statues of Moria and Hisoka. Even though Mel had passed their vision, they also turned a blind eye, even Aokiji among them. Mel has all the clone's powers and abilities. These abilities tend to be more penultimate when used. His power will appear more dreamy in the form of expression. Not only does he possess greater power, but also because he is closer to the essence of these abilities. He has the perspective to see more different things. Usually most of the power will be concentrated in the depths of the soul to observe the nature of those abilities. This is also his practice. Clatter, 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 follow Mel's walk. He passed buildings. Some corpses can be seen lying on the ground indiscriminately. Those were still zombies before, but as Moria fell to the ground, the shadows in all the zombies also broke free. The shadow went straight towards some positions of this island-like ship. Most of those are dungeons, holding some pirates who challenge Moria. Now the return of their shadows may begin to move around. But none of that was on Mel's mind. Mel kept going, and finally walked into a castle and entered a basement. Finally he came to a shivering little girl in the corner. Advertisement. Next to the little girl lay the body of a woman. Before I thought about it, I was also a zombie. Looking at the little girl in front of her, with pink hair and wearing a cute little skirt, she looked about four or five years old. She is Corona. At this point she was just following what Moria had told her. If any of Amaterasu's zombies fall, hide. This charge is very limited. Maybe Moria didn't think he would lose again. Are you here to kill me? Looking at Mel who appeared in front of her. There were tears in the corners of Corona's eyes. She has been in contact with zombies since she was a child, and now she has begun to understand life and death. No, Moria has gone far away, so let me take care of you temporarily. Really, real. Seeing Mel stretching out his hand with a gentle smile in front of him, he looked very friendly like this. 
Corona tremblingly stretched out her little hand. Mel held her gently and pulled her up from the ground. Then he squatted down and carefully patted the dust on her skirt. By the way, she wiped away the tears on her face. At this moment, Corona was a little dazed, because she had never been treated so tenderly before. Lord Moria is rarely seen at ordinary times, and even if he does, he just cares a few words casually. And the zombies who take care of her are always weak, more like comedians. Can I call you brother? Looking at Perona in front of her, she said timidly. Mel nodded and smiled. Sure. Seeing Mel nod, little Perona also smiled. Advertisement. And Mel stood up and took her hand. Let's go, get out of here first. Large and small figures walked. What happened to Lord Moria, why did you leave suddenly? He, he's been entangled by someone, and he can't get away for a while. Maybe you can see him again in the future. That's it. Then how long will it take to see him again? Wait until you grow up? Maybe earlier. In this way, I will grow up quickly. Then you can grow faster by eating more in the future. Brother, thank you, you are such a good person. As Mel took little Perona out of the castle, Mel looked to the sky. Is he a good guy? The answer is beyond doubt. For him who released villains like Sunyo and Shisuo, it may be more appropriate to say that he is a great villain. Mel himself never shy away from this point. When making a choice, he knew clearly that what he was going to bear was an incomparably huge crime. But he still did it. Whether it's capricious or bad taste, what he follows is only his own choice. That's all? This time he came. Maybe I just saw it, and came here when I was interested. Perona, are you sleepy? Get some sleep first? We'll be there when you open your eyes. Seeing the drowsy little Perona next to him, Mel smiled slightly. And Perona nodded in a daze. Mel gently picked her up and watched her fall asleep. A giant eagle also began to fly over. It was Hisoka's giant eagle. Advertisement. Mel jumped on it directly, and the giant eagle flapped its wings and took off in one direction. That's the direction of Daughter's Island, where Mel's stalker marked items are located. Today's giant eagle has a crystal ball given by Mel. That crystal ball can continuously replenish its physical strength. Flying over a long distance is not difficult for it. The only difficulty is the weather factors on the road. For the departure of the giant eagle, many marines don't notice it at all. Only Aokiji can see from a distance. But he didn't care. Now that Hisoka has caught it, he doesn't pay much attention to the birds. As time goes by, when night fell, the giant eagle finally flew to Daughter Island. This is also due to the fact that Moria's current thriller bark is not too far away from Daughter's Island. After coming down to Daughter Island, Mel waved the giant eagle back, letting it go back to its hometown first. As for Hisoka, wait for him to come out before letting the giant eagle pass. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Soon Mel walked into the palace and woke up the sleeping Perona. Then asked someone to arrange it for Perona. This little girl will live here forever. When she is capable, he will not stop her if she wants to go out to see Moria. If Moria is still alive by then. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement. Chapter 50 It is impossible to work part-time. Let me end you. Advertisement. The next day. A new newspaper begins as the newsbirds begin to fly around the world. Pirate Supernova Apple Hunter Hisoka vs Marine Monster Vice Admiral Aokiji, a tragic defeat. Shishibu Kaimoria teamed up with the Pirate Hisoka to attack Marine Vice Admiral Aokiji, depriving Shishibu Kai of his title, with this newspaper flying around the world. Many civilians began to applaud. After all, the Apple Hunter Hisoka dared to plunder even the gold in the sky, so he might be so cruel. Anyway, the photo alone looks very murderous. As for legal pirates like Shishibu Kai, they are also hated by commoners. So they also hope that this Shishibu Kai will be banned. Apart from civilians, many pirates also restrained their actions a little after seeing the news. In their view, Marine is still the powerful Marine. Even if he loses in front of a big pirate like Liang Sunyo, it doesn't mean that other pirates can act recklessly. Today, this demonstration of the great pirate Apple Hunter Hisoka is the best example. In the first half of the Grand Line, some pirates Marine felt ecstatic about Hisoka's imprisonment. Many of them have been patronized by Hisoka. This thing became their shadow. Now seeing Hisoka's tragic loss, he is naturally very happy. However, some people regret it. The first half of the Grand Line, Saveati Archipelago, Shaki's Drum Barbar. Bar. Rayleigh looked at the news in the paper. Can't help feeling. The pirate supernova Hisoka has fallen, those guys from World Economic News really know how to say it. He picked up his glass again and started drinking. Shucky rolled his eyes and said, Advertisement. You still don't want to drink, you'll make me poor if you drink here every day, you haven't earned any money. Hearing Shucky's words, Rayleigh couldn't help feeling a little embarrassed. He has not been doing coding work here in Sabayati Archipelago for a long time, and he is not famous. Business is not doing well. Not making money is the norm. But part-time work is impossible. Watching Rayleigh still brazenly sipping from glass to glass. Shucky was a little speechless, but still changed the topic to Shishibukai. I didn't expect Shishibukai's gecko Moria to be affected besides Hisoka this time. What a surprise. Rayleigh shook his head, laughing. It was written in the paper that Shishibukai Moria teamed up with the pirate Hisoka to attack Marine Vice Admiral Aokiji. This reason is really bad enough. Under normal circumstances, as long as Moria's head is correct, she won't do such an unpleasant thing. I think it's normal for Marine to go to pick up the leak. Anyway, they have done this kind of thing not once or twice. Shucky lit his cigarette and smoked slowly. Even if that's the case, it's useless to talk about it now, it's going to be sent to impel down anyway. Rayleigh took another drink and said regretfully, Yes, it's just a pity that the seedlings that just debuted were broken. There is also some interest in the rumored Rayleigh of Hisoka, but now it seems to be invisible. An island in the Grand Line. A mysterious figure sat in a somewhat dark building. I saw him wearing a dark green coat with a red square tattoo on his left cheek. He looked at the newspaper in his hand and murmured a little. Have you been caught? What a pity, if only we could weaken the authority of celestial dragons more. Grand Line, New World. New World Wanakuni Oni Island. Ooh. Advertisement. A burst of laughter resounded through the sky. Even the buildings on Oni Island were shaken to dust. Did Gecko Moria get caught by Marine? That's funny. Being a running dog of the world government and being abandoned in the end is really in line with his ending. Ooh. 
Looking at Kaido who was laughing wildly, his voice was so loud that it seemed to shatter the building. Yin next to him was a little silent. He turned his gaze to another photo inside. A guy who is still arrogant after being tied up by Seastone. Hisoka the Apple Hunter. Looking at his calm eyes, Yin couldn't help but feel a little dignified. This guy is really not simple. Obviously, he was about to be sent to impel down. But his face looked like he was on a trip. It's amazing. New world, cake island of all nations. In a pink castle. Mama mama mama? Has the guy who dared to attack Tian Tian Jin been caught? What a pity. Charlotte Lin Lin looked at the newspaper in her hand, then threw it away. The newspaper circled in midair and then fell. For this guy who dared to attack the gold in the sky, grandma appreciates it very much. Only, she won't pay too much attention to the loser. She reached out and grabbed the cake dancing on the table. Throw it into your mouth. It was as if the cake with life was singing strangely in her mouth. In the end, it was chewed up by the ant with a scream. Advertisement. It looked terribly scary. Peros Pero, hurry up and get some more. These are not enough. Yes, mom. Hearing the order from the ant, Peros Pero wiped the sweat from his forehead and quickly prepared. Only Katakuri by the corner was silent while reading the newspaper. His eyes were fixed on the guy in the photo. I always feel that this kind of cunning guy shouldn't end up so easily. How strange. Grand line new world. A deck on a large warship in a sea area. Akaino looked at the newspaper in his hand, and then at the island in the distance. Did that Kusen guy do something real? It's just too merciful. His hands became hot. The newspaper in my hand was burned. Then Akaino looked to the distant mountain. That guy is right there. Akaino has already seen the figure on the peak of the island from a distance. It is blatant and extremely conspicuous. Finally I found it. Let me end you, two-faced Sunyo. His voice sounded low. The warship sailed fast. And Akaino's figure is elongated by the sunlight. The cloak was flapping in the cold sea breeze. The word justice on the back is also particularly conspicuous. P.S. The new book sets sail. I implore everyone to add a wave of free tickets and flowers to support it. Book reading fun on Friday. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. April 29th to May 3rd. Advertisement.